Chapter 1 Memories of a Pill God Translator Born to be who am I? I am. Long Chen. I look down on the very heavens. The arrogant nine heavens peerless pill god. Long Chen. I am someone who is cheated and bullied by everyone. A spineless, good for nothing cripple incapable of cultivating. Long Chen. His mind was a whirl of confusion. And at the same time, severe pain came from all over his body. Long Chen was unable to stop his mind's chaotic thoughts and emitted a pained groan. Chen Er. You finally awakened? Thank God. Your mom was worried sick for you. If you want to brag about how strong you are, then fine. But why did you have to go duel with those people? Novaloon.com A kind and gentle voice sounded beside Long Chen's ear. That voice was full of happiness and comfort. But towards the end, it also became choked with emotion. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. His blurry vision gradually became clearer. And a woman's face appeared before him. The woman appeared to be in her 30s and she was extremely beautiful. However, in the corner of her eyes were some deep wrinkles that did not match up with her young age. Currently, this woman was tearfully looking at Long Chen with eyes that were full of love, making Long Chen's heart feel a burst of warmth. Child, you scared your mom to death. As the woman spoke, her eyes became even redder and her tears streamed down. Mom, Long Chen looked at this familiar yet strange face. He doubtingly said this one word his face filled with confusion. Child, don't scare your mom. Don't you recognize me? The woman's face immediately became panicked. At this moment, an elderly man appeared beside the woman. He examined Long Chen and he said, Mrs. Long. Long Chen suffered a blow to the back of his head so it's possible he will need to rest a bit to recover his memories. Don't be too worried. Just now I gave the young master some medicine. The medicinal energy still hasn't completely dissolved. So just let the young master rest for a bit longer. Mrs. Long worriedly looked at Long Chen. Reluctantly, she nodded her head and followed the elderly man out of the room. Long Chen heard the elderly man advising the woman softly in the distance. Mrs. Long, the fact that young master Long managed to return with his life is already infinitely lucky. Don't force it too much. Mrs. Long tremblingly replied. Master alchemist's meaning is that my son will. The elderly man, who had been called an alchemist, sighed. The young master's hind brain received an acute shock. To tell the truth, being able to wake up is already extremely lucky. However, the repercussions will definitely still be very severe. Losing his memory is quite possible in this situation. The two people gradually walked further and further away so Long Chen could no longer hear them clearly. But what was barely audible to him was the sound of Mrs. Long sobbing. Long Chen gazed blankly at the ceiling above as he felt the severe pains throughout his body especially at the back of his head which was bursting with swollen, aching pain. Just what happened? I'm Long Chen, and so Mrs. Long is my flesh and blood mother. How could I have such an unfamiliar feeling? And all these confusing memories. Where did they come from? I have memories that I'm an arrogant, exceedingly powerful person. But at the same time, I remember that I'm an often bullied and extorted bitter trash. Pill God Long Chen? Trash Long Chen? Which is the real me? Am I the Pill God's reincarnation? Or am I a fusion of the pill god soul with a trash weakling? Long Chen's mind was full of endless questions. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I am Long Chen. Whether I'm pill god Long Chen or the old, crippled Long Chen doesn't mean anything right now. The most important thing is that I'm still alive. I have two sets of memories that have mixed together. How would I even try to fix this kind of insane problem? Instead, what I need to do now is to let myself recover as quickly as possible. Sensing his body's current condition, he quickly located many fractures. He had three broken ribs, one arm broken in two places, and most severe of all, his hind brain was injured to the point where a large portion of his scalp had caved in. He had definitely been victim to an extremely vicious assault. Huh. Although I have no way to condense energy, my spiritual strength appears to be extremely powerful. I can actually sense everything within 30 meters of my body. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. According to his garbled memories, spiritual strength was invaluable, especially to pill cultivators. Prophet, prophet, whether he was the reincarnation of the pill god or his soul just contained a mix containing the pill god's memories, the present him had definitely greatly profited. The pill god had lived an entire lifetime already, and now that allowed him to possess an exceptionally strong soul. Just what kind of awesomeness was this? However, when he carefully examined his body, his expression changed. My spiritual root has been taken away. My abdomen's spirit bone is also missing a piece that appears to have been dug out. And my heart has a hole? 
Just who would be this ruthless and take my spirit root, spirit bone and spirit blood? No wonder I can't cultivate. Long Chen was completely infuriated. His current spiritual strength was much, much stronger than his old self. It was now strong enough for him to immediately figure out the mystery of why he was a cripple who couldn't cultivate. The spirit root was located in the Danshan. It was the foundation for all cultivators. Without the spirit root, there was no way to sense heaven and earth's spiritual energy, let alone absorb it for cultivating. Spirit blood was something that people were born with. It was a trace of blood that gave you innate talent. While basically all people were born with it, the majority of cultivators didn't know anything about it. The spirit bone was found in the pit of a person's abdomen and slightly bulged out. Ordinary people wouldn't have a spirit bone. Even amongst cultivators, maybe only one in 10,000 would have won, which marked them as a genius. However, Long Chen's spirit bone was obviously missing a piece and had clear marks of being dug out by someone. His face became exceedingly unsightly. If his memories were not all mixed up, then how could he not remember who had done this to his body? Although these three things were precious to him, they wouldn't have any use once they left his body. If they wanted to harm him, why did they have to use such a harsh method? Using this kind of method was practically causing him to live a life worse than death. However, anger only brought on more anger, and since he was already missing them, being angry did not have any use. You better not let me find out who did this. Long Chen couldn't help but gnash his teeth in anger. This was an extremely great blow to him, with him possessing a spirit bone. Even if he had been an idiot, he would still have been an absolute genius. But now some despicable bastard had caused him to become a useless person who was incapable of cultivating, causing him to be humiliated and receive condescending looks from practically everyone. Just when Long Chen was about to furiously erupt, the door of the room was gently pushed open, and a pretty 13-year-old maiden walked in. This was Long Chen's maid who was called Bao Er. Young master, it's time to take some medicine. Medicine? What medicine is it? Long Chen nose sniffed slightly as he asked. This is something Mrs. Long paid an enormous price for. It's a tiger bone pill that can quickly heal young master's injuries. Bao Er replied. She opened the small, elaborate case in her hand, revealing the medicinal pill inside. It is said that this medicinal pill came from Grand Master Yun Qi. The medicinal strength is very strong. Looking at the thing, Long Chen's face became a bit strange. Even this kind of plaything could be called a pill? Its shape was extremely uneven and seemed more like a meatball. Even not talking about the shape, its color was completely black and there wasn't even a trace of luster. If it wasn't emitting a very faint medicinal aroma, then Long Chen might even suspect that it was a ball of sheep dung. After staring at the thing in his hand for a long time, Long Chen finally sighed. Someone who had ending up losing over 80% of the medicinal pill's essence could still be called a grand master? Long Chen bewilderedly wondered how someone could have created something so soft and mushy. Pills could be divided into five grades. Low grade, middle grade, high grade, top grade, and peerless grade. As for the pill in his hand, it couldn't even count as one of the five grades. Long Chen suddenly realized that this was just a defective good. It was a trash pill. Normally, alchemists would definitely not sell these kinds of medicinal pills since they couldn't afford to lose their customers. Oftentimes, they would be turned into medicinal liquids or just directly thrown out. Young master, don't daydream. In order to obtain this precious pill, Mrs. Long already sold off her own precious jewelry. You should hurry and take it, urged Bao Er. Long Chen couldn't help but feel some pain in his heart. His impression of his mother was that she loved him very dearly to the point where it was like he were drowning in love. It had reached the point where his mother would basically never refuse any of his requests. His mother had done everything and anything for him. She had given birth to him while she was still young. She had been gifted with great beauty growing up. But now she was barely 30-something years old and already had wrinkles in the corner of her eyes. Seeing those deep wrinkles, Long Chen knew that she had already sacrificed far too much for him. Looking at the medicinal pill in his hand, he observed that even though it was a defective good, at least the medicinal ingredients inside it were not bad. Impurities took up over 80% of it, but it wouldn't have any problems healing his injuries. Taking the medicinal pill, Long Chen ordered Bao Er to not leak any news of him out excluding to his mother of course, although Bao Er didn't really understand why, she still trusted Long Chen and obediently nodded, after taking the medicine, although Long Chen had no way to use cultivation to absorb the medicinal strength, he managed to guide the medicinal energy to his wounds by using his formidable spiritual strength, allowing him to recover extremely quickly, the second day, 
Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. He had a smile plastered on his mouth as he exercised his muscles. Excellent. Although that medicine was pretty bad, the medicinal ingredients themselves were of high quality. Other than my hind brain, the majority of my injuries have already healed, and the amount of energy left is more than enough to heal me completely. He slowly walked towards the mirror, looking at his reflection. He saw a nothing out of the ordinary, handsome youngster with eyebrows like swords and bright eyes. Long Chen took a deep breath. From today onwards, I, Long Chen, will no longer be the previous Long Chen. I will rise above others. Although his body was still slightly weak, walking was no longer a problem. Long Chen left the room and saw that the sun had already risen from the east. After pondering deeply for an hour, he called over Bayoer and gave her a list of medicinal ingredients for her to find. However, Bayoer's expression became a bit embarrassed. Long Chen wondered what it was before quickly remembered that the current Long family was extremely hard-pressed for money, and Bayoer had no method to get a loan. Otherwise, his mother would not have had to sell off her own jewelry, a part of her exceptionally precious story. The present Long family had already fallen into extremely dire straits. Feeling around in his pocket, he found slightly over 80 silver coins. Although this wasn't a lot, it was enough to buy those medicinal ingredients on his list. Bayoer worked diligently, and not even two hours later, she had managed to buy the medicinal ingredients. Long Chen immediately set about to measuring and dividing them into different portions before boiling them in a large bowl. Six hours later, a very thick medicinal liquid was releasing a medicinal aroma. As Long Chen looked into the bowl with the cheap medicinal liquid, a smile appeared on his face. I, Long Chen, will rise above others, starting from this one bowl of medicinal liquid. Chapter 2 Despicable Scum Translator Born to be the medicinal liquid entered his stomach, and Long Chen hastily used his mind to guide the medicinal energy throughout his body, allowing it to merge into his bones. Normal martial artists would let the medicinal energy assimilate inside the dantian in order to absorb it, and only later would they spread it throughout their body. However, Long Chen didn't have a spirit root. Thus, his dantian was completely empty and had no way to store energy. The only thing he could do was to allow the medicinal energy to scatter into every cell. Although this medicinal liquid was formed only from ordinary medicinal herbs, it displayed a surprisingly remarkable medicinal effect after going through Long Chen's pairings and proportions. As the medicinal energy rushed throughout his body, countless pores opened up. It was as if every single cell had been in a state of starvation as they all began to crazily absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Boom. A muffled explosion came from within Long Chen's body. His originally sealed meridians were all forced open and Long Chen couldn't stop himself from letting out a muffled groan. When others cultivated, they would use the Danchen's key in order to gradually open up their meridians in a step-by-step -step manner which would not cause any pain. However, Long Chen couldn't do so. He could only borrow an outer energy source. This energy was like the ocean's water flowing into a river field. Its violent and ferocious nature wasn't something that just anybody could withstand. This pain. I will definitely remember this pain. Long Chen gnashed his teeth. If it weren't for some vicious person stealing his spirit root, how could he have been forced to choose such a crazy method? Bang bang bang. Continuous explosions echoed out from his body as his meridians opened up one by one. Every time a meridian channel was opened, intense pain would wreck his body. When all his meridians were finally opened, Long Chen almost fell into a coma. He had to rest for two full hours before he slowly revitalized himself. With the pain now past him, Long Chen felt that the pores from his toes to his head were all open. With every single breath he took, he absorbed the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Excellent. I can finally practice cultivation now that my meridians have opened. Long Chen sensed his body's condition. With his meridians opened, he could finally absorb spiritual key from the world through his pores in order to nourish his body to become stronger. In fact, although his meridians had only just been opened, that single change filled his body with strength. He punched out, and the whistling wind that came with it made Long Chen smile. He hadn't endured that pain for nothing. For ordinary cultivators, they first had to enter a so-called key sensing realm. Only once they were able to sense key were they able to enter the key condensation realm. However, Long Chen had taken an alternative path. By using medicinal energy to forcibly link himself up to heaven and earth's spiritual key, he had managed to completely open his meridians, which was equivalent to stepping into key condensation with a single step. However, it couldn't be said that he had truly stepped into key condensation. Although his body had been strengthened to the point that it was on that level, 
the key condensation realm involved condensing cyclones of key within the danshan. Without a danshan, he was not truly in key condensation. Although I forcibly opened my meridians, my useless danshan is still unable to hold the true key. When I fight with others, there's no way I can keep it up for more than a few moments. This still isn't good enough. Long Chen went through his new memories. Almost all of his new memories were only about alchemy. But eventually, he found the only memory he had that pertained to martial arts. The Nine Star Hegemon Body Art. What surprised Long Chen pleasantly was that the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art was practically custom-made for him. It was a secret technique capable of excavating even more of a person's potential. It didn't cultivate the Danshan, but the Nine Stars. Those Nine Stars were contained within the body. Once they were all formed, they would be equivalent to Nine Danshans. When he saw that in his memories, he almost jumped in joy. But then as he continued comprehending this technique, he immediately felt as if a bucket of ice water had been thrown over him. To cultivate the Nine Star Hegemon body art required countless medicinal pills. In order to condense the first star, the Feng Fu star, he would practically need an endless amount of energy. If he wanted to rely on just absorbing the energy from the air, not even a hundred years would be enough to condense it. In order to condense the first star, he would need an enormous amount of medicinal pills. Without such a huge number of medicinal pills, he wouldn't be able to cultivate in it. His long family was broke, and there was no way for them to purchase a huge number of medicinal pills. I should first think of a method to make some money, Long Chen muttered to himself. After switching his clothes, he left his room. At this time it was already past noon, but there were unexpectedly few people to be seen in his huge noble estate, making it seem like an extremely desolate place. Long Chen's father was the border suppression Marquis. He was currently gone to the barbarian border. Long Chen and his mother had had to suffer many condescending gazes from everyone in the imperial capital over the past few years. Although they had the position of a noble family, compared to before, they were completely destitute. In their entire estate, there were only 10 or so maids who did some part-time work for them since they couldn't afford to employ more people. It could be said that in all the aristocracy, they were the family in the worst straits, and Long Chen himself was the most destitute of the poor. Phoenix Cry Empire was currently in a golden age of martial arts. Basically, everyone practiced martial arts, but as it had turned out, Long Chen's trash physique meant that he was incapable of practicing martial arts, making him someone that everybody would sneer at. Opposite to Long Chen was his father, Long Shiang Xiao. He was the strongest of his generation and with him guarding the barbarian border, even if the barbarian tribes were to savagely attack, they would not have the ability to step even half a foot within the Phoenix Cry Empire. Long Shiang Xiao was the Phoenix Cry Empire's military god of this generation. Whereas Long Chen had been a trash who couldn't even sense Qi, it was impossible to prevent people from feeling that this tiger father had had a dog of a son. Countless people would jeer at him, but Long Chen wouldn't care. However, that day, the savage Marquis's son, Zhao Yeo Yang, had ridiculed Long Chen by saying that he wasn't his father's son. Long Chen's anger had immediately soared to the heavens. Zhao Yeo Yang had obviously been insulting his mother as unfaithful. Long Chen's anger had even caused him to become muddle-headed and he had recklessly challenged his opponent to a duel. However, his opponent was a strong person at the seventh heaven stage of key condensation while he was just an ordinary person incapable of even sensing key. He had basically been asking to be disgraced. As a result, he later was beaten to the point of losing consciousness and almost dying. He was sent home and the news caused Long Chen to be an object of ridicule for quite some time in the imperial capital. Leaving his noble estate, Long Chen went directly to the imperial capital's hundred herb market. That was the place where all kinds of precious medicinal ingredients were sold. Right now what he needed to do was to get an understanding of the medicinal herbs market situation. Along the road, there were quite a few people and when they recognized Long Chen, they couldn't help but to point at him behind his back. However, Long Chen was already used to this, but at the same time, he smiled bitterly inside. His own father had suppressed the entire barbarian border, which was an amazing, meritorious deed that protected the entire empire. However, what had he obtained for that? This mother and son duo had been left to suffer from bullying and humiliating stares in the imperial capital, and Long Chen had almost been beaten to death. How could this be considered repayment? A group of people that were protected by his father had all gave his son condescending gazes. This was his repayment? Long Chen quickened his footsteps. Although he wasn't afraid of these kinds of stares, he would always end up a bit gloomy. 
But at this moment, his path was suddenly blocked by a group of people. Aya, are you actually Long Chen? I heard you were beaten to the point where you couldn't even recognize your own mom. So how are you so lively that you ran out today? In front of Long Chen was a 16-year-old teen wearing gaudy clothes and sneering at him with two guards. This person was also born as a noble heir in an aristocrat family and was called Li Hao. However, his position within the aristocracy was not high and his status was incomparable to Long Chen's. After all, in the Phoenix Cry Empire, nobility and status were only secondary as strength was still the most important thing. Li Hao was standing right in the middle of the road and if Long Chen wanted to go through, he would need to pass through him. If it was the previous Long Chen, he would have turned around and walked back. But today's Long Chen looked at Li Hao, shook his head, and sighed. People say even well-trained dogs know not to obstruct the road. Looks like you're not even as good as a dog. Long Chen, it seems you didn't remember the lesson that I gave you last time. If you want to be beaten within an inch of your life again, then let's fight in the martial arena. Li Hao's expression changed before taunted him once again. That's why I said you were a dog. Just go eat crap with Zhao Yeo Yang. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't want to waste his time on this kind of person. He needed to handle his own affairs. So he started to walk around him. Long Chen, you are asking for it. Li Hao's couldn't help but become angry. He was not expecting that the always cowardly Long Chen would actually act in such an unyielding manner that basically didn't even pay attention to him. He stuck out his arms to bar Long Chen's path. Long Chen frowned slightly. But just as he was about to say more, a person walked over and cursed Li Hao. Li Hao. You're the one asking for it. Just who do you think you are to dare threaten my brother? The person who had come was an extremely tall 18-year-old. His height was especially extraordinary at 7 feet tall, which was taller than either of them by over a head and very intimidating. Shi Fang, this isn't your business. It'd be best if you didn't meddle around. When Li Hao saw Shi Fang, all he could do was to act tough even though he was weaker. Shi Feng was also a noble heir whose status was about the same as his. But Shi Feng was a strong person who had reached the 8th heaven stage of key condensation while he was only at the 3rd heaven stage of key condensation. In addition, Shi Feng had an innate strength, which meant that amongst people in the same rank as him, only a few were an equal match for him. Therefore, Li Hao didn't have the guts to challenge Shi Feng. Brother Long Chen, I heard that that bastard Cao Yeo Yang beat you up. How about I go help you vent your anger? Shi Feng looked at Long Chen and his expression became indignant. Long Chen looked at the huge person in front of him, and his heart felt a bit of warmth. Shi Feng was the only one in the imperial capital who would consider him as his brother. No thanks. My enmities are something that I will pay back myself. Just don't worry about it. Long Chen faintly laughed, patting Shi Feng's shoulder. When Shi Feng heard Long Chen say this, he thought that Long Chen might be worried about his image and so he didn't raise the issue again. Let's go. Come with me for a stroll, said Long Chen with a smile and he brought Shi Feng for a walk. When Li Hao saw that the two of them considered him as just thin air, he couldn't help but angrily cursing. Long Chen, you little bastard. If you have the guts then you'll fight me in a duel. They had just walked a couple of steps when Li Hao said this and they paused. From deep within Long Chen's eyes, a strong murderous intent was radiated as he slowly turned his head. You want to have a duel with me? Long Chen's voice was extremely cold. Each word he spoke was just like ice shards that caused people to tremble in their bones. Li Hao couldn't help but shiver. For some reason, he felt that today's Long Chen was a bit different, but his big words had already been spoken so if at this time he was to act like a coward, then he would become the entire imperial capital's laughingstock. Moreover, he was already used to bullying Long Chen over and over. So with those experiences, he ignored the trace of fear that arose in his heart. Not bad. You dare to accept the duel Li Hao mocked in a loud voice. Not a problem. However, I want to add some stakes. Said Long Chen after a moment's thought. Adding stakes? Haha, <laughs> your long family is almost unable to feed yourselves. What are you going to take out as stakes? You could use your family's estate. Or how about you become my slave? Mocked Li Hao coldly. However what he didn't notice was that in the corner of Long Chen's mouth was a callous smile that seemed to have some hidden intentions. Noveloon.com brother Shi. Can you lend me your martial sword? Long Chen asked. Take it. Shi Feng did somewhat hate to part with it, but he still handed his sword over. Long Chen nodded, and he quietly recorded this favor into his heart. Towards Li Hao, he said. This martial sword isn't top quality, but it is still worth 8,000 gold coins. For today I'll just count it as 5,000 gold coins. 
If you win you can take the martial sword, but if you lose, you have to give me 5,000 gold coins. How's that sound? Li Hao's heart shook. Shi Feng's sword was made from top quality steel and was forged by a master. It was definitely worth at least 8,000 gold coins. Today, this idiot Long Chen actually decided to use such a thing as a bet. Li Hao had long since started laughing cheerfully inside. He once again sneered. I don't know. If someone were to lose, will he renege out of the bet? Don't worry. I, Shi Feng, will guarantee it. Shi Feng coldly smiled. Good. Then let's go to the martial arena to sign the contract. If today I don't beat the teeth out of you, then in the future I wouldn't be Li Hao. Li Hao couldn't help from being extremely exuberant as he high-spiritedly spoke. Long Chen's face was still calm. However, within his eyes appeared some darkness. Li Hao was just one of Zhao Yao Yang's dogs. So Long Chen never paid any attention to him. But nowadays, they were always plotting against him. Just what kind of hidden conspiracy was there? However, no matter what kind of conspiracy it was, the truth would always come to light one day. Long Chen walked directly to the martial arena outside the imperial capital. Chapter 3 Revealing His Sharp Side Translator Born to be in the Phoenix Cry Empire, martial customs were very popular, and so some disputes were unavoidable. Thus, a life and death stage had been built outside the imperial capital where people could resolve their personal differences. As long as both parties agreed and signed the martial arena contract, then once they entered into the martial arena, even if they killed their opponent, they wouldn't receive any punishment from the imperial capital. During most days, this place was filled with bustling crowds, and today was no different. However, after a couple matches had ended, two youngsters walked onto the stage and caused an uproar. Isn't that person Long Chen? Why would he come here? Yeah, yesterday he was almost beaten to death. Isn't it weird for him to be here today? HMPH. I bet he doesn't want to live anymore and wants to get someone to beat him to death here. His father Long Shiang Xiao might be called the border suppression Marquis and was this generation's military god. But the people who gave him the title military god were the poor people who had to suffer through wars and conflicts. In the imperial capital, which was filled with rich people, everyone was in peace and prosperity. Therefore, people didn't place Long Shiang Xiao, who was born in a commoner family, on the same level as them. And thus, only a few people in the entire imperial capital held respect for Long Chen. Long Chen, you piece of trash. Why did you come back? Aren't you just holding up the action for no reason? Who would want to see your martial arts? Hurry and beat it. Yeah, if you want to kill yourself then find somewhere without people. No one wants to see such a piece of trash. So stop wasting our time. In just a moment, the audience of several hundred people were all cursing loudly. None of them hid their disgust for Long Chen. However, in an unremarkable corner further away, two maidens wearing veils were rapidly watching him. Sister, that one is your fiancé? Why does he seem so lacking? There are not even the slightest fluctuations around his body, observed one of the maidens disappointedly. HMPH, if dad hadn't been so selfish, he wouldn't have arranged my marriage back when I still wasn't even born. It's truly irritating, responded the other maiden. On the martial arena. Long Chen didn't even notice the two maidens who were spying on him, and he also did not respond at all to the jeers of the crowd. He merely indifferently looked at Li Hao. Li Hao pointed out the people's uproar and sneered. See, you're an unwelcome piece of trash, and if you were smart, you would just bash your head in and die. Long Chen continued to only indifferently stare at him, not saying a word. Dong. The sound of a bell rang out, signaling the start of the duel. When that bell tolled, Life and death were separated by only a fine line. Due to the tolling of the bell, the originally rowdy crowd became silent. After all, it was a life and death battle. Who would know just when someone's life would end? Sister, this fiancé of yours doesn't seem to have any cultivation base while his opponent is at the third vestige of key condensation. Aren't you worried? The maiden asked. HMPH. What's the point of me being worried? Him dying is fine. It doesn't have anything to do with me. The other maiden indifferently snorted, but although she said these words, she had already taken out an extremely strange and ancient silk net. He he, don't say you don't care, you've already taken out your martial weapon, looks like you do still care, and you know, although his cultivation talent is trash, he's not that bad looking. How about this, if you don't want him, you can just give him to me. The other maiden laughingly joked, how can a person be just randomly given to you, if you like him? You can wait for me to withdraw from the marriage arrangement. After that, 
You can do whatever you want, responded the other woman angrily. He he. On the martial arena, Long Chen from the beginning until the end had remained as calm as water. When compared to yesterday's him who had been gnashing his teeth in complete anger, it was as if he was a completely different person. Long Chen, with your death near, you decided to suddenly become calm? Don't worry, due to the stakes you proposed, I won't beat you to death today. Li Hao was extremely arrogant and confident. You sure say a lot of crap. Hurry up and come at me. I still have things to do later, responded Long Chen in a slightly impatient manner. Because the entire audience was very quiet, every single word of Long Chen's managed to enter the crowd's ears, and in a split second everyone watching the martial arena burst into jeering derision. Li Hao, what are you still waiting for? Hurry up and beat this kid to death. He's really causing us to feel too embarrassed for him. Some of the people present recognized Li Hao, so they called out to him. A cold sneer appeared on Li Hao's face, and he was no longer hesitating. The power of his third vestige of key condensation completely exploded out. His foot pressed down slightly on the martial arena, and he immediately shot out towards Long Chen, punching out his fist. When Li Hao started attacking, the crowd below burst into cheers. The current Li Hao's appearance appeared very dashing and handsome. Nice attack. It's the wind jade tree fist. Some of the people recognized the move and cheered. However, the distant two maidens' expressions were both filled with contempt and ridicule. Long Chen similarly also sneered. This kind of idiot move, filled with mistakes, could still be used against enemies? The fist was smashing towards him and a strong wind whistled as it approached. But Long Chen seemed to not notice it at all and didn't move even an inch. Haha, <laughs> this trash doesn't even know how to dodge, sneered some people under the stage. However, just when that ridicule had just been shouted out, Li Hao's fist came to a complete stop just an inch away from Long Chen's face. The originally ridiculing crowd suddenly came to a complete silence. They noticed that one of Long Chen's legs had struck out and violently kicked Li Hao in the area between his legs. The originally beaming with happiness and elegant Li Hao now had an expression like a purple eggplant. Long Chen's kick clearly caused him an extremely severe pain, making his facial features warp and preventing him from moving. However, he might not be able to move from the pain, but Long Chen could. In just this brief pause, Long Chen grabbed Li Hao's hair, forcefully pulling on it while also strongly kicking out with his knee. Slam slam slam. Long Chen completed his actions in an extremely refreshing manner and in a short time, his strong and fast rhythmic actions gave people a very intense show. The unpleasant sound of bones breaking came out from Li Hao's body. His nose was already caved in. His whole face was covered in blood, and he himself had already lost consciousness. For a moment, not even one voice could be heard from the crowd. Nobody had expected that a strong person at the third vestige of key condensation would be beaten by a trash, who had no cultivation base, in such a quick manner. Moreover, he had done it in the cleanest and most efficient manner. This kind of result was a firm slap in the face towards the crowd that had been ridiculing him. Even the distant two observing maidens were completely shocked. Although Li Hao was nothing to them and could be easily killed with a wave of their hands, but Long Chen was not the same as them. From the very start, not a trace of spiritual energy had been used by Long Chen and he had completely relied on an ordinary person's abilities to defaturing Li Hao. Long Chen wins. A voice came from an elderly man below the stage who was often in charge of the martial arena and its registration. Long Chen's stomach fluctuated rapidly a couple of times, and it was only with great willpower that he managed to stop and suppress the killing intent inside him. Right now was not the time for killing people. He had been oppressed for such a long time, and now that he had exploded out, it was hard for him to withdraw it. But as the rest of the world saw it though, Long Chen's actions appeared to be from lack of strength like he was gasping for breath. Long Chen walked off the stage to the elderly man and received the sword that he had used as his stakes as well as a crystal card with 5,000 gold coins on it. The rules here stated that they had to hand in the stakes to the referee before the match, in order to show that it was equitable and also lowering the chance of anyone backing out during the battle. After receiving the martial sword, Long Chen directly returned it to Shi Feng, placing the crystal card into his robes. He couldn't help but become somewhat excited. Although 5,000 gold coins weren't very much, it could help settle a bit of the desperate situation his family was in. It had been very long since they had received a stipend from the Empire, and nowadays the Long family was quickly reaching the point where they couldn't even afford decent food to eat. Under the attentive gazes of countless people, the two of them unhurriedly left. The two maidens watched Long Chen leave and immediately afterward, they also disappeared. 
The news that Long Chen had beat Li Hao seemed to gain legs as it rapidly spread. In just a short time, the entire imperial capital learned of it. The news puzzled countless people. How could a trash who couldn't practice martial arts possibly have become this difficult to deal with? But even with so many people personally seeing it as well as the news that Li Hao had to be carried back to his estate, quite a few people were still incapable of completely accepting it. Long Chen had wanted to split his earnings with Shi Feng, but Shi Feng was completely unwilling. In the end, he quickly made an excuse that he had things to do before hastily leaving, not even asking Long Chen how he had suddenly become so powerful. Remembering this favor in his heart, Long Chen directly went to the Hundred Herb Market. Entering into the Hundred Herb Market, Long Chen requested a catalog of their medicinal ingredients. On it were very clear recordings of the various medicinal ingredients' names and prices. Long Chen saw the majority of the medicinal ingredients required to refine the Feng Fu pill. 1. It was quite lucky that the medicinal ingredients for the Feng Fu pill were not especially uncommon. However, looking at the price, Long Chen's heart practically dripped blood. The gold coins he had now were only enough to buy three portions of the medicinal ingredients. But he couldn't spend it all on these medicinal ingredients since he still needed to buy a medicinal furnace for refining, as well as to buy some other spare medicinal ingredients. The few gold coins he had were like a cup of water trying to put out a burning card. However, not buying it was also unacceptable. So Long Chen clenched his teeth and spent 1200 gold coins to buy a bronze furnace of the worst quality. He also bought one set of the medicinal ingredients for the Feng Fu pill as well as a large amount of medicinal ingredients for the energy recovery powder. By the time Long Chen left the 100 herb market, the amount on his crystal card was only 500 gold coins. After returning home, Long Chen went right to his own room, firmly locking the door. He ordered Bao Er to tell everyone that he was not to be disturbed. He knew that his mother would hear the news that he had once again gone to compete in martial arts, afraid that his mother would worry. He purposely told Bao Er to block her. In any case, nothing had happened to him, and his mother shouldn't become too concerned. Right now, he had to seize every second of every minute to quickly increase his strength. He was sure that the current Long family's predicament was not as simple as it seemed, and he sensed the coming of a crisis. The spiritual energy in Long Chen's body started moving, and a cluster of flame appeared within his hand. This was a pill cultivator's agglomerated pill flame. But when Long Chen saw this ball of flame, he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This flame was far too weak. The pill flame was formed from a pill cultivator's spiritual energy, and through special operating methods it was condensed into a spiritual energy flame. However, the current Long Chen's pill flame's temperature was extremely low, even when compared to other ordinary pill flames. In addition, Long Chen found that without his danshan to support him, he couldn't maintain the pill flame for more than a quarter of an hour which was far from enough time to refine medicinal pills. Long Chen bitterly smiled. However, luckily he had his backup plan, which was first refining the energy recovery powder, placing the medicinal ingredients into the furnace. He refined them one by one. This time, he didn't use his pill flame, but instead used a normal fire from the wood. When all the medicinal ingredients had been refined, he placed them into a jug of water to form energy recovery liquid and after resting for a short period of time, Long Chen took a deep breath and prepared himself to officially begin the refining of Feng Fu Pill. Chapter 4 Condensing the Feng Fu Star Translator Born to be Nine Yun Grass Refinement Complete Earth Dragon Root Refinement Complete Flame Seed Refinement Complete Over 30 types of medicinal herbs were refined one by one, using up over 2 hours of Long Chen's time and causing him to be covered in sweat. Refining pills was not the same as simply decocting medicine. Every single medicinal herb's essence had to be extracted while at the same time removing the impurities, forming a powder. However, the flame in Long Chen's hand was of far too low of a quality and the refined powder still retained too many impurities to be ideal. Still, this was the only method that he had. First of all, Long Chen's cultivation base was non-existent, and thus he didn't have the necessary strength to sustain the pill flame, making its strength weak. Second of all, currently, Long Chen didn't have the opportunity or capability to subdue a different flame, so he could only settle for what he had. But wanting to train in alchemy methods required not only a strong pill flame but also forceful spiritual energy, and the most important requirement was an exceedingly powerful spiritual strength. The other two requirements were not that difficult. As for the pill flame, as long as you made all the proper preparations, you could seize a fire attribute magical beast and gradually tame it into a house pet. 
Drawing on the magical beast's flame, you could subdue it and cultivate it to become your own flame. Over 99% of capable alchemists used beast flames. Only a handful of people, who possessed extremely ancient inheritances of powerful strength, could control those extremely mysterious and mystical spirit flames found within heaven and earth. Spirit flames were flames that possessed their own soul and according to Long Chen's memories, he had previously controlled an extremely formidable spirit flame, but no matter how formidable he was in the past, right now he could only use this trash flame for his pill refining. After all, the things in his memories were not things he could take out. After resting enough, Long Chen took a deep breath. He placed a candle into his hand and a yellow flame appeared. Not bad. After going through the refinements, the flame's strength has increased by a slight amount. Whatever, it's better than nothing I guess. After consecutively refining seven different medicines essence, he threw them into the furnace. His spiritual strength erupted out and the flame in Long Chen's hand suddenly fluctuated. Compared to before, it was now several times stronger, using spiritual strength to support the flame. If other alchemists saw this, wouldn't they get shocked to death? Long Chen bitterly smiled. Spiritual strength was the foundation of any pill refinement. At the time of refining, a large amount of spiritual strength was needed in order to control the temperature. If even a slight deviation occurred, it would waste all of your previous efforts and you would end up refining a pile of pill ashes. Moreover, if the medicinal pill had a very large medicinal strength, then you might even cause a furnace explosion. Most alchemists wouldn't start using their spiritual strength right at the beginning of the refinement. They would only use it towards the latter stages, when the pill was about to take form in order to very carefully control the flame's strength. After all, that was the critical time in the formation of the pill. At that time, the flame's temperature had to constantly change, sometimes high and sometimes low and doing so required a large consumption of spiritual strength. If at that time, the alchemist's spiritual strength was already exhausted, then the furnace of pills could basically be considered as scrapped. However, Long Chen actually started using his spiritual strength right at the beginning of the refinement. In addition, he used this precious spiritual strength just in order to increase the flame's power, treating it like firewood. Any alchemist would definitely rage and curse at him for doing so. Even if someone was a reckless and frivolous spender, no one would actually spend it like this noveloon.com but Long Chen wasn't worried. According to his memories, his spiritual strength was already not lacking compared to ordinary alchemists. Pill cultivator ranks were pill apprentice, pill adept, pill master, pill king, pill emperor, pill ancestor, pill venerate, pill saint, and pill god. The Feng Fu pill was a first tier medicinal pill and generally, Pill cultivators who had reached the pill apprentice rank could refine a first-tier medicinal pill. Long Chen's current memories also included those of a pill god, so he was completely clear on his current capabilities. When Long Chen had awoken, his spiritual strength had changed to become abnormally strong compared to his previous trash self. Therefore, Long Chen was qualified to use his spiritual strength in such a manner. The pill furnace in front of Long Chen faintly trembled, emitting a slight buzzing noise. He by increasing the power of the flame, the speed has increased by quite a bit. He hastily threw in three more medicinal ingredients into the furnace. However, Long Chen's forehead was already perspiring at this moment. Hurriedly taking out a straw, he placed one end into the medicine jar which was filled with energy recovery liquid and quickly drank a mouthful. When the energy recovery liquid entered his stomach, the pores all over his body opened and began to crazily absorb the spiritual energy between and heaven and earth. His originally about to be exhausted spiritual energy rapidly recovered. This was what Long Chen had prepared earlier. Without it, there was no way for him to refine the Feng Fu pill. With his current level, it would be a joke if he could actually refine a pill on his own without some kind of assistance. With the straw in his mouth, every now and then he would draw in another mouthful of energy recovery liquid to replenish his body's spiritual energy. With Long Chen's spiritual energy being replenished, his spiritual strength could show off how extremely powerful it was, and it was only two days later that Long Chen started to feel a bit exhausted. That was a sign that his spiritual strength had been largely used up. However, at this time, the medicinal ingredients had already been absorbed into the pill furnace, so all that was left was finishing up. The medicinal aroma was also starting to fill the air. Although Long Chen's impression of a first-tier medicinal pill was that it was so easy to refine it could be done with his eyes closed. The current him was no longer the same pill god in his memories. 
His destiny had already been completely changed and saying that he wasn't nervous would be a lie. Buzz. Suddenly, the pill furnace's interior started to vibrate, emitting a series of buzzing noises. The energy within the pill furnace also started to become berserk. Long Chen didn't become even the slightest bit panicked. On the contrary, he even started to smile. This was the indication of the pill's formation and also the most critical time of the refinement. His spiritual strength was completely activated with not even a trace of it held in reserve. The flame in his hand suddenly exploded out, and an incorporeal strength tightly sealed the entire pill furnace. This technique was called Heaven Seal Earth Lock and was something that he had come up with from his memories. It was something used in order to prevent pill explosions and also, furnace explosions. Moreover, this technique was very practical and could in the shortest period seal the medicinal energy within the pill furnace, not letting too much leak out. Normal alchemists would all do this at the last step because when the medicinal pill would go berserk, it was possible to stabilize it by taking a more gentle action, although doing so would decrease the danger by a lot, a large amount of the medicinal essence would be lost, and therefore, the medicinal pill's quality would just be ordinary. Bang! Following the full suppression of Long Chen's spiritual strength, the pill furnace emitted a smothered noise. After that, everything turned silent. The pill furnace had already turned tranquil. Long Chen couldn't help but to gasp for breath. His whole body was drenched in sweat, and he was so dizzy that he felt the sky was spinning. When he felt a bit better, he excitedly opened up the furnace. His hand was even trembling as he picked out five extremely round pills. Holding them in his hand, a dense medicinal aroma completely filled the whole room. Two low-grade pills and three trash pills. TCH. Saying it out loud really makes me lose enough face to die. Long Chen's face was showing how excited he was, but he still sighed. Staring blankly for a bit, he couldn't help but laugh. He had a mixture of a lifetime's worth of memories from a pill god along with the memories of his current self. Apparently, that pill god was truly excessively arrogant. He himself didn't care about losing any face though, and he hastily carefully examined the pills in his hand. There were two low-grade medicinal pills with their bodies completely round and their pill aroma filling the air. The aroma refreshed the mind and raised a person's spirit when smelled. Long Chen couldn't hold back a burst of elation. After all, one successful medicinal pill could be sold in the imperial capital for at least 10,000 gold coins. In addition, even the three trash pills in his hand were much better than the medicinal pill his mother had bought for him, especially since at least 30% of the medicinal essence had been sealed into the pill. A medicinal pill that had locked in 50% of the essence would be termed low-grade, and over 80% of all medicinal pills were only low-grade. If the medicinal essence reached 60% it would be middle-grade, 70% would make it high-grade, 80% would make it top-grade, 90% would make it peerless-grade. And as for 100%, he, right now Long Chen didn't think too much about it as it was simply too far for his current self. Some people might wonder about the difference between 50 and 60% content of medicinal essence. Was it a significant difference? Wouldn't consuming two low-grade medicinal pills be much more effective than one middle-grade? If someone heard you ask this question, they'd probably choke on their own spit. Inside a medicinal pill was not only its medicinal essence but also impurities. These impurities were unable to be absorbed by the body, and most importantly, these impurities would cancel out a portion of the absorbed essence. The saying that each medicine had its own side effects was not just a colloquial saying but a hard truth. During the formation of a pill, it was difficult to avoid accumulating pill toxins. These kinds of toxins, if not taken very often, would not have a large effect. But for cultivators, medicinal pills were often life-saving measures and who would know just how many pills you would consume in one lifetime. When the body's pill toxins reached a certain degree, it would become a life-threatening poison. Pill toxins were one of the most difficult to eliminate poisons. They penetrated deep into the flesh and bones and even the spirit. But the higher grade a medicinal pill was, the fewer toxins it would have. It was for this reason that the medicinal effect of a middle-grade medicinal pill was over 10 times greater than a low-grade medicinal pill. As for the price difference, it was at least a hundred times greater. After collecting the five medicinal pills and cleaning up the medicinal furnace, Long Chen could no longer endure it and collapsed into slumber. After sleeping for an unknown amount of time, he felt two hands caressing his cheek and could hear some low-pitched murmurings, but he was too exhausted and incapable of waking up. When Long Chen once again regained consciousness, it was already three days later. His stomach was growling with hunger and he wolfed down his food before once again starting his seclusion. 
consuming one trash pill. He used his spiritual strength to guide the medicinal pill's energy to enter the Yang Quan point. One, on the bottom of his foot. That was the location of the first star of the nine star hegemon body art. The position of the Feng Fu star. Bang. Long Chen's left foot shook. The intense energy came from the bottom of his foot, and the ground under it became covered in cracks. Excellent. I've already found the meridian channel as well as the exact position. Now I can genuinely attack it. Long Chen faintly smiled, and he took out a low tier Feng Fu pill and directly consumed it. The pure and perfect energy erupted and under Long Chen's pull, it went straight to the Yang Quan point on the bottom of his foot. The Yang Quan point trembled. Following the rushing medicinal energy, it was just like a dry river receiving water, and it crazily convulsed. Boom. A booming noise reverberated, and the frightening energy filled Long Chen's whole body. The tyrannical energy exploded out of its own accord, shaking the room into smoke and dust, with waves of energy surging about. As the smoke and dust slowly scattered, it exposed a tranquil and refined Long Chen, his eyes filled with excitement. He could sense a pea-sized body on the bottom of his foot from which endless energy would flow out into his body, giving Long Chen a desire to lift his head up to the heavens and roar. The activity from Long Chen's room caused the entire noble estate to be disturbed, and everyone rushed over. Seeing his mother also coming over, Long Chen hastily said, Mom, today is the day that the noble heirs can enter the Imperial College to study. I have to hurry over. After saying this, he left behind a group of dumbstruck people and a pile of destroyed ruins, as he changed into clean clothes and left directly for the Imperial College. Chapter 5 Imperial College Translator Born to be the Imperial College opened its doors one day every month for the Imperial Capital's noble heirs. In the morning, they would practice poetry and etiquette, and in the afternoon, the palace's martial arts depository would be available to everyone free of charge. The previous openings of the Imperial College held absolutely no meaning to Long Chen since even if he attended, he would just be the object of ridicule for everyone there. But now that was no longer the case. After consuming the Feng Fu pill, Long Chen had already condensed an embryonic form of the Feng Fu star. Although it was just an embryonic form and couldn't store that much spiritual energy, it was still able to store much more than what could be stored in just the body's meridians. After all, the meridians were like rivers while the Danchen was like the ocean that fed the rivers, even sometimes being called the energy sea. Although a river might appear large, its capacity was limited. Without the Danchen to support it, it would quickly be used up. But this problem was completely resolved with the condensing of the Feng Fu star. And the most important thing was that now that the embryonic form of the Feng Fu star had been condensed, as long as there was enough energy, it would eventually become a complete Feng Fu star. At that time, Long Chen would have something unique to himself to use as a Danshan. This was the most unique point of the nine star hegemon body art. When all nine stars were condensed, it would be equivalent to having nine Danshans. Anyone could understand just how powerful that kind of forceful spiritual energy source was. Long Chen was in possession of the entire nine star hegemon body art. Unfortunately, such a cultivation technique was something that defied the heavens, and his understanding of it was still very low, so he still needed to spend an endless amount of meditation on it. Once he managed to completely condense his Feng Fu star, he would be able to store an extremely large amount of spiritual energy. Then he could attempt to agglomerate his blood vessels and enter the blood condensation stage, thus becoming a true martial artist. The key condensation stage was just the first step of training in martial arts. Only by stepping into the blood condensation stage, having your blood and key surge, and having your martial powers sharply rise, only then could you be considered a genuine martial artist. Long Chen didn't know what a vestige of key condensation he would count as, but with the formation of his embryonic Feng Fu star, his body's strength had been increased by a surprising amount. The current him could let out a very simple punch, and it would cause the wind to whistle, so much so that the force it generated would have enough power to break a part of ace even two meters away. Essentially, it was like his whole body was brimming with strength. His goal in going to the Imperial College this time was to enter the martial arts depository. With his Feng Fu star's embryonic form, his body's spiritual energy had risen and he could already begin to train in martial battle skills. These so-called battle skills were all created by extremely powerful seniors. They were powerful fighting techniques that used a person's spiritual energy, ki, and meridians. Battle skills were extremely terrifying. They could allow a martial artist to release an extremely formidable power that was several times stronger than their ordinary strength. 
it was impossible to be courageous in front of them. Therefore, each battle skill was extremely important to a martial artist. Now that Long Chen had spiritual energy capable of training in battle skills, he was itching to obtain one. The Imperial College was located to the north side of the Imperial Capital. It spanned tens of kilometers, and other than the Imperial Palace, it was the grandest and most imposing building in the entire Imperial Capital. After Long Chen showed off his identification plate, he entered into the Imperial College and went straight to the Literature Hall. That was where the morning lecture took place and where the noble heirs would listen to the studies of the day o from lecturers talking about everything and anything, from etiquette to poetry, and even to ancient theories of literature. Entering into the literature hall, he saw that due to how early he was, the extremely large literature hall only had several dozen people. Haha, <laughs> Brother Long, you came. Just as Long Chen entered, several youths came over and cordially greeted him. These youths were similar to Long Chen, for various reasons. They also had no way of cultivating. Although they couldn't be considered best friends, they were still fellow sufferers who empathized with each other. In the golden age of martial arts in the Phoenix Cry Empire, these youths might not have been bullied in such a miserable way like Long Chen, but they were also frequently sneered at and suffered from a cold and indifferent treatment. Thus, these people who suffered from similar torments ended up becoming closer to Long Chen. They were especially glad to see him now since it had been a long time since they'd seen each other. Haha, <laughs> you guys came here pretty early. Long Chen laughingly greeted. With the success of the condensation of his Feng Fu star, his mood had improved greatly from the formerly depressed him. I heard a few days ago that Brother Long put up a huge display of his awesome power, defeating Li Hao. Ah, you really make us admire you. Don't tell me that Brother Long can actually genuinely cultivate now. One skinny teen extremely enviously asked. Originally, they were all the same level as Long Chen. Hearing that Long Chen could actually defa Turing Li Hao who was at the third heaven stage of key condensation, they were all extremely shocked while also feeling a slight jealousy. He, it was just luck. But most recently, I did learn a new divine technique. Long Chen didn't want to continue on this subject. So he brought up a new mysterious topic. Divine technique? What's that? Sure enough. Everyone immediately became distracted by this new change in subject. He, this little brother recently obtained a rare clairvoyance book, and after painstakingly reading this book, I learned quite a few things. Long Chen said somewhat complacently, Clairvoyance technique? Isn't that just what the fortune tellers on the streets use to scam people? Not quite. With what I learned from that clairvoyance technique, I saw that Li Hao's face had a dark omen of misfortune on it, and it was only then that I decided to duel with him. And as for the result, he, Long Chen laughed and stopped there. Everyone momentarily was dubious for a moment when someone suddenly brightened with understanding and exclaimed, It seems to be true. I heard that Li Hao seemed to have been bewitched that day, and his whole body didn't have even the slightest bit of energy before he was defeated by Brother Long. The details of Long Chen and Li Hao's battle were known to everyone, but there were many people who felt that Li Hao's defeat Ring was quite a deep mystery. Nowadays, there was a great deal of discussion over Long Chen. He, Brother Long, since you are proficient in reading faces, can you help take a look at me and tell me why my fianke always avoids me? Why won't she agree to see me? One person somewhat vexingly asked. No problem. Come, come, let's first find a place for us all to sit. Standing here is somewhat unsuitable. Their group found a table in the corner to sit at, and the table even had some refreshments for them. Long Chen pointed towards the table's desserts and laughingly told everyone, let's all eat a piece, okay. The other people didn't stand on courtesy and all took a piece. Everyone seemed a bit confused as they looked at Long Chen. How's the taste? Very good. Let's eat another piece, okay. That person once again picked up a piece and took a bite. But when he had only eaten one bite, his face suddenly brightened, and he respectfully turned towards Long Chen and said, many thanks for Brother Long's advice. This little brother understands now. I was being too greedy and Brother Long was reminding me that people need to be content with their situation. Right. Everyone looked at Long Chen in admiration. Who would have thought that Long Chen had the profound skills to use some small desserts as food for thought? However, Long Chen still sighed and shook his head. Wrong. What I wanted to remind you of is that you're already this fat, and yet you're still eating this much. Soon you won't even be able to fit through the door. The fact that your fianke is still with you and hasn't left you is already an enormous accommodation. You should be happy with just that. With a body shape like yours, any woman would be scared to sleep beside you. What if you roll over in your sleep? 
You'd crush her so hard. She turned flat. That person's face reddened. And with Long Chen's reminder, he looked at his five-foot-tall height with his four-and-a-half-foot-wide stomach. Apparently, he had previously felt that he had only fattened by a little bit. Fatty you, don't waste Brother Long's precious time. Hurry up and go lose some weight. Big Bro Long. He, how about you take a shot at reading my face? A different slender youth respectfully asked with a smile. Oh, you. Long Chen made a big show of acting very seriously as he looked at him for quite a while before saying, Your face ordains that before you are 30, you will be destitute and frustrated. But the good thing is that after you are 30, that person became jubilant, saying, Is it possible that after 30 I can suddenly rise in my cultivation? No. After you are 30 you will slowly become accustomed to your situation and will no longer be frustrated, said Long Chen. Comma everyone couldn't help but to burst into laughter. But just as they were laughing, they suddenly saw two bitter eyes staring at them, causing everyone's laughter to break off. Long Chen had long since noticed that person. Turning around, they all saw Li Hao glaring daggers at them. Senior Li Hao, are your wounds better now? Congratulations. Your outer wounds are all healed. But what about your inner wounds? Long Chen asked, seeming deeply concerned. Li Hao's face twitched. That day, his face had been smashed flat by Long Chen, and he had needed to be carried home. The Li family had hurriedly asked for the help of an alchemist from the Alchemist Guild and paid an extremely large sum of gold coins to let Li Hao recover. Having money was truly good. In such a short time, Li Hao had already returned to a point where he looked the same as a normal person. But after Long Chen brought the subject back up, Li Hao's groin started to hurt as if he was remembering that one kick from Long Chen. At that time, Long Chen's kick had been very vicious, just a little bit off from turning him into a cripple. The thing that pissed him off the most though was that only after he got carried home and healed did he notice that he was missing a certain something. When his estate noticed this, they hurriedly rushed back to the martial arena, but by that time, they found that the arena had already been cleaned, and it was reported that that something had been taken away by a wild dog. When Li Hao had woken up and heard this news, he almost died from his anger, but now there was no way to fix it, and no matter how amazing an alchemist was, there was no way for them to fix what he had lost. What had been two was now only one. Although the loss of one family jewel wouldn't tilt him while walking, the loss of the originally symmetric pair was hard on him, and now that Long Chen had brought it back up, his face became exceedingly ugly. He glared daggers at Long Chen, his teeth grinding in fury. Long Chen, you son of a BTCH, I challenge you to a life and death duel. Do you dare to accept? Long Chen's originally amused expression tensed immediately. Being called in such a way was exceedingly insulting, especially since it also insulted his mother. It really was the case of not knowing to value one's life. Fine, if you want to be free from the mortal world's worries, then I'll help you. Same thing as before, I want to add stakes. Long Chen stared back at Li Hao. Since you want to die, you had best offer me up some benefits. Although they came from the same empire, he didn't care about Li Hao, and his death would be trifling to him. Fine. No matter how high you make the stakes, I, Li Hao, will accept. Sneering in his mind, he thought to himself that no matter how high the stakes were, once Long Chen was dead, there was no way he could spend it. Li Hao was under the impression that last time he had simply been careless, and Long Chen had grabbed onto that opening and thus he had lost. Now he would definitely not make the same mistake, so this fight would definitely not go the same way as the last fight. In addition, this time was different in that he had declared a life or death duel. In last time's duel, although you would not be held responsible for killing your opponent with a blow, as long as the opponent conceded, it was not permitted to continue attacking them. But in the life or death duel, once the two people went onto the stage, it was equivalent to putting their lives on the line. Even if someone admitted defeat, it would be useless. The victor could do as he pleased. The loser's life would be in their hands. Okay, tomorrow. Three quarters afternoon, we will meet on the life and death stage. Li Hao coldly laughed, and when he looked at Long Chen, it was like he was staring at a dead person. Long Chen coldly sneered inside. Now was the time for him to kill the chicken to warn the monkeys. Seeing Li Hao leave, he slyly laughed. Careful to stay balanced while walking, don't trip. Hearing Long Chen's words, Li Hao, who had already turned to leave, stiffened, and his face became contorted as he inferred the hidden meaning behind Long Chen's words. Taking a deep breath, he acted like he hadn't heard anything as he slowly walked to a different part of the literature hall. 
But Long Chen's words seemed to be like a steel needle piercing through his sensitive parts, and every time he lifted his leg, it would trigger memories of that bone-chilling attack. He continued to act as if nothing had happened, but the more he tried to do so, the more unnatural his gait became, which caused everyone to stare strangely over at him. In the end, Li Hao waddled away similarly to a duck. One person turned to Long Chen and reminded him to be careful. Brother Long, why did you accept his challenge? This is a life and death battle you're going into. One of you will end up dying. No problem. Today I read his face and saw a dark aura of death around him. With it twisting around him. It's basically like a ghost sealing his life. He's doomed to die within two days. That's right. I now have something that I need a few people's help for. Whispered Long Chen. Everyone exchanged glances and in the end. The person who had been nicknamed Fatty Yu clenched his teeth. Brother Long. Since you've asked. I'll give you my entire savings. Saying this, he handed over a crystal card to Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't expected that this fatty Yu would actually have such a strong spirit of brotherhood with him. His crystal card had over 80,000 gold coins on it. Although they were all noble heirs, mostly they were born in far-off branches, so they weren't considered very important. These gold coins should be an extremely large sum to fatty Yu. Fine, I have 60,000 here. Take it, I don't have that much here. Only 30,000. Brother Long. I only have this little capability, I have. Originally, Long Chen had thought that just borrowing 10 or so thousand gold coins would already be quite a lot. He hadn't thought that they would actually completely empty their pockets to help him noveloon.com everyone. If by chance I were to die, then your money would basically be lost. Long Chen looked at the crystal cards in his hand, and he couldn't help but to give everyone a reminder. Does brother Long look down on us? None of us are capable of cultivating and every day we have to suffer through other people's torments. Brother Long, the fact that you dare go all out in a battle against one of them means you have the courage that none of us possess. Even if we don't have your courage, helping you out this little bit is still something we can do. When these people saw Long Chen agreed to the life and death battle, they couldn't help but become excited since they were fighting a common enemy. Seeing Long Chen begging for help, they became even more heated and in the end, they didn't even care about the consequences. Long Chen nodded. He recorded this feeling in his heart as he held the over 200,000 gold coins in his hand. At this moment, a group of people walked into the literature hall, and the originally noisy literature hall immediately turned completely silent. Chapter 6 Collecting Interest Translator Born to be Long Chen turned to look at the people entering and his eyes turned cold. This group of people was hovering around one certain fellow, similar to how the stars flocked around the moon, groveling. He seemed to be carved out of jade and appeared extremely handsome. He was none other than the person who had beaten Long Chen on the martial arena to the point where he had almost died. The savage Marquis's son, Zhao Yeo Yang. Zhao Yeo Yang was the noble heir of the savage Marquis, and his cultivation base was at the peak amongst his peers. Therefore, his popularity was very high amongst his fellow noble heirs. Zhao Yeo Yang immediately noticed Long Chen's group, and smiling slightly, he walked over. Looking at Long Chen, he said, many apologies for what happened last time. I didn't expect that my one blow would cause you to not even be able to recognize your own mother. Although he spoke words of regret, his face didn't have even the slightest trace of apology. His words were filled with disdain, just like he was a king far above looking down on Long Chen. Don't worry about it. Very soon I'll beat you to the point where you don't even recognize your own grandmother. Long Chen indifferently smiled but inside he was secretly furious. When he had awoken that day, only his mother and that old alchemist had been there. Therefore, this news must have been transmitted by that old stick. Zhao Yeo Yang's one sentence was equivalent to him telling Long Chen that the old alchemist had been one of his people. And furthermore, Long Chen's injury that day might have been extremely frightening, but in reality, it wasn't actually a life-threatening injury. Even the injury on the back of his head had only appeared bad due to the amount of blood but it was not actually too severe. Therefore, there had basically been no point in using an expensive medicinal pill in order to treat it. The old alchemist had clearly been trying to frighten his mother and make sure that he could suck up all of their savings. Something like that basically had no benefit for himself, but instead weakened the Long family's resources. With their current living situation, it was like adding hail onto snow, to think that there was actually such a hidden plot behind his back. Long Chen, are you looking to die? I think that you seem to have forgotten the pain now that your wounds have healed. Don't tell me you want to once again be beaten half dead by brother Yeo Yang. That's right. 
the trash who's incapable of cultivating actually dares to open his mouth viciously. He's obviously looking to die. What an idiot. Letting such an idiot count as a noble heir is just an insult to us. Zhao Yeo Yang didn't even need to speak before the people beside him began cursing Long Chen, their saliva spraying wildly. Long Chen, you might be a noble heir like me, but one of us is in the heavens while one of us is on the ground. You are just a small ant, and all you can do is stare up at me. Therefore, even if I am bullying you, all you can do is suffer in silence. Otherwise, the consequences will be just like last time, and you will end up being beaten into a dead dog, said Zhao Yeo Yang. Lifting a finger to point at Long Chen's nose. P.O.W. Long Chen indifferently smiled. And suddenly, he extended his hand. Before anyone could react, he tightly clenched onto Zhao Yeo Yang's extended finger. Using a slight amount of force, a snapping noise rang out. Zhao Yeo Yang emitted a miserable cry as the pain of his snapped finger shook his whole body. His ten finger one heart technique was actually so easily broken and snapped by Long Chen. Even though he was a strong person at the seventh heaven stage of key condensation, as long as a person hadn't stepped into the blood condensation realm, they would still only be slightly stronger than ordinary people. In addition, he had been taken by surprise, so he hadn't had time to defend himself, meaning he was basically no different than an ordinary person. Long Chen condescendingly looked down on Cao Yeo Yang whose face was contorted in pain, and with a questioning tone, he asked, You think you're above others? Others are nothing to you? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? The sudden unexpected turn of events shocked everyone, and Cao Yeo Yang was in such pain that he was unable to reply. Only then did the others react and throw themselves at Long Chen. Bastard, hurry up and release brother Yeo Yang. When the others following Cao Yeo Yang saw that Long Chen had dared to attack him, they all shouted and swarmed around him. Whoever dares come over will be beaten by me, just as they were about to reach him. A large figure suddenly appeared beside Long Chen and furiously bellowed at the others with a thunderous roar, shaking their eardrums. Long Chen smiled when he saw who it was. Who else could it be but Shi Fang? The noble heirs, who were about to charge forward, stopped when they saw it was Shi Fang. Shi Fang was someone who was proud and aloof, and he didn't like being pulled into any certain social group. However, his cultivation base was top tier amongst the noble heirs, and adding on his large and superior stature. He managed to intimidate everyone back. For a moment, everyone descended into silence, and the only sound in the whole literature hall was the pained moans from Cao Yeo Yang. What are you guys doing? Suddenly, an angry rebuke came over from the side, and an old man walked over. Everyone's expression became much more timid and respectful when they saw this old man. This old man was one of the lecturers of the literature hall. He was a Confucian scholar, and it was known that he was an honest and strict person a dignified man who spoke few words. Fighting within the literature hall is punishable by one month's custody. Do you guys want to try it out? The old man coldly snorted. Long Chen released Cao Yeo Yang's finger which was already crushed and bent, hurriedly turning towards the old man. He smiled. Teacher, you've misunderstood. We weren't fighting. We were just doing a test. Oh? A test hum? What kind of test? The old man obviously wasn't so easily hoodwinked and he coldly questioned Long Chen. We were testing how long the strength of one finger could hold out against the attack of five fingers. Through this test, we reached the conclusion that the power of cooperation is something that cannot be stopped. No matter how strong a finger is, it is still isolated. Its power will weaken from time to time, and only by relying on a partner can power be released in a steady flow, making it stronger and more enduring. This time's test allowed both Cao Yeo Yang and I to obtain an understanding of how to properly use the power of cooperation, and it will have an extremely large benefit towards our future cultivation. Brothers Cao, what do you think about these benefits? Hmm, Long Chen summarized, as he stared with a hidden meaning at Cao Yeo Yang. Cao Yeo Yang was angered to the point of nearly passing out, but this grievance could only be swallowed by him, or if he denied it, he would be sent into custody with Long Chen. Even a noble heir couldn't break the literature hall's rules. Yes, that's right. Zhao Yeo Yang did his best to keep his voice calm, but the pain was causing even his voice to sound rough. The old man looked at Long Chen, and a trace of ridicule flashed within his eyes. But in the end, he still nodded and said, Since it was like this, this old man won't blame the two of you. But remember, in the future, you cannot make a ruckus in here. Everyone secretly sighed that Long Chen had good luck when they heard this. 
The old man clearly knew that Long Chen was just making up nonsense, but he still let them all go. Hey, wait. Zhao Yeoyang clenched his teeth, and by using a voice that only the two of them could hear, he called out to Long Chen. Long Chen's hand attack had been extremely vicious. Not only had it broken his finger, but in addition, he had used some kind of unknown method in order to turn the meridians within his finger into mush. Otherwise, Zhao Yeoyang would not be in such intense pain and end up as such a sorry figure without the slightest strength to fight back. Brothers Zhao, feel free to come find me again to do some tests. Today is just a small payment on the interest I owe to you bastard. The worst is yet to come. But on the outside, Long Chen just courteously smiled. Over 200 noble heirs calmly and quietly took their seats. The old man nodded his head in satisfaction and started the lecture. However, his material was vague and incomprehensible to them. And basically, all of it fell on deaf ears. It caused everyone to become drowsy. But no one actually dared to sleep. Although that old man didn't have the slightest cultivation base, within the entire imperial college, he had the final say in everything. If anyone angered him, they would immediately be kicked out and could just forget about entering the martial arts depository in the afternoon. This can be compared to chicken's eggs. One has gone bad and one is still good. But if you want to eat the good egg, you have to eat the bad egg first. The old man continued to talk about all sorts of things. History. Classical works. How to rule a flourishing nation, agricultural knowledge. Even Long Chen almost dozed off. However, people like Fatty Yu actually listened very attentively. They couldn't cultivate, so they had to rely on education for the future, hopefully, obtaining some work with the government. Under this slow torment, the time slowly passed until it was noon. After eating lunch, everyone swarmed towards the battle skill pavilion. Even the people who had no way of cultivating also followed. Within the battle skill pavilion were countless battle skills and cultivation techniques, and going through them might offer them a lucky encounter. The battle skill pavilion had three floors, but only the bottom level was open to all the noble heirs. Even though it was just one floor, there were still 17 bookshelves completely packed with all kinds of battle skills and cultivation techniques. It was a brilliant sight that dazzled people. Big Brother Yeo Yang, I already have a life and death battle agreement with Long Chen. This time I'll definitely kill him to help take revenge for you, Li Hao respectfully said. Who knew when, but Li Hao had at some point stealthily ran over beside Zhao Yeo Yang. At this point, Zhao Yeo Yang had already used his energy in order to suppress the pain in his finger, but the important thing was that the meridians had been fried, and so he had to find an alchemist to help him treat it. It's still not the right time to kill him, otherwise, I would have killed him last time. Zhao Yeo Yang shook his head. Suddenly he asked, that's right, how did you end up getting beaten up by him last time? I, actually, it was just me being careless, and Long Chen happened to catch that opportunity. The result really infuriated me, to think that the trash could actually beat me one time. Li Hao answered with endless regret, that one loss had caused his reputation to plummet, and the people whispering and gossiping about him behind his back drove him crazy with anger. He believed that last time was simply a small moment of carelessness. And so this time, he definitely had quite a bit of killing intent towards Long Chen. Long Chen cannot be permitted to die, at least not for now. Don't mess this up. Zhao Yeo Yang worried that Li Hao hadn't understood, so he purposely repeated himself. Then what should I do? Just let him off like this. Li Hao somewhat unwillingly asked. Zhao Yeo Yang looked at his twisted broken finger and grinding his teeth in anger. He said, although you can't kill him, if you wanted to take back a couple of things on his body, that would be fine. When Li Hao heard this, his eyes brightened with excitement. Excellent. This time, I'll take what he took from me. And oh, I think I'll also take one his eyes too. TCH. Seeing the expression in his eyes really pisses me off. Zhao Yeo Yang and Li Hao grinned. But they didn't notice that Long Chen, who was faking interest in the tomes, also smiled. However, his smile was much colder compared to theirs. Like a leopard staring at two bleeding sheep. From Long Chen's current position, he was perfectly placed so that he could use his spiritual strength to spy on what the two of them were talking about. Although he couldn't hear what they were saying clearly, but looking at their expressions, he could still infer most of it. Observing the two of them start acting like nothing had happened and begin browsing the ancient tomes on the bookshelf, Long Chen was also disinclined to go deal with them. Instead, he switched to looking for his actual objective. By now he had realized that the pill god memories he had were actually extremely incomplete. 
other than the nine-star hegemon body art, the rest of it only pertained to alchemy. There were no battle skills, so he absolutely needed to obtain one today. Long Chen had finally settled on a battle skill and was just about to reach out his hand to take it when suddenly, a dark-faced fellow grabbed onto it before him. I'm sorry, this book has taken my fancy. That person didn't even look at Long Chen, and acting like no one was beside him, he started browsing the tome. Long Chen frowned slightly. This was done very obviously on purpose, but Long Chen didn't take action, instead switching to a different bookcase. Just as he saw a palm battle skill and reached out to take it, the dark-faced fellow who had long since been waiting to the side once again grabbed it. I'm sorry, this POW. A ruthless slap landed on that dark face, interrupting his words and sending him flying. Chapter 7 Training in Battle Skills Translator Born to be POW An extremely loud and resounding slap rang out, ruthlessly interrupting that dark-faced fellow's words. The powerful force sent him flying, and over ten teeth tumbled across the floor. I'm sorry. This tome has taken the fancy of this young master. Long Chen looked down at the dark-faced fellow with a face seemingly full of regret, apologizing with great flair. That slap was very resounding, and it echoed throughout the entire battle skill pavilion. Everyone who had been busily browsing the battle skills immediately put down the manuals in their hands and turned in shock. Who dares to be so presumptuous as to act violently within the battle skill pavilion? Suddenly, a cold shout rang out and a black-clothed man appeared from the inner part of the battle skill pavilion. His face was cold and strict as he looked at Long Chen and the dark-faced fellow. That man's blood and key surged just like a towering mountain, pressuring the others and making it difficult for them to breathe. Long Chen's eyes shrunk. A strong blood condensation cultivator. It was unexpected that this place would actually have a hidden blood condensation realm cultivator. But thinking about it some more, this place was an important part of the battle skill pavilion and having a strong person keep guard would save them some worries. It was forbidden to practice martial arts within the battle skill pavilion. This was a rule that everybody knew, and breaking this rule meant you would be taken into custody. Speak. What happened here? The blood condensation cultivator angrily shouted. If you want to know, then ask him. Long Chen didn't have the slightest amount of fear as he spread out his hands in innocence. The dark-faced fellow became indignant. It was obviously him who had suffered the blow. So why would he still need to ask him? Senior Senior, at this moment, the distance how Yeo Yang hurriedly ran over. He reported to the blood condensation expert. Senior, it was like this. Wang Mang's face suddenly felt extremely itchy. So he gave himself a slap. There really wasn't any force or battle. You can check for yourself. The dark-faced fellow who was called Wang Mang became bewildered. But just as he was about to say something, he saw the distant Li Hao doing his best to give him a meaningful glance. So he swallowed his words back down. You're the savage Marquis's son. Yes. Zhao Yeo Yang hurriedly nodded. That person nodded his head and looking at Wang Mang on the floor. He said. If your face is itchy then just scratch it. Don't make such a fuss. Clean up after yourself. I don't want to see such a situation a second time. After speaking. He turned and left. Leaving a crowd of astonished people wondering why Zhao Yeo Yang would actually help Long Chen. Haha. <laughs> Didn't you hear what he said? Hurry up and clean up your crap. Long Chen laughed as if he had totally expected this entire turn of events. Turning around, he walked away to continue looking for a battle skill. Hateful bastard. Looking at Long Chen who downplayed this event, Wang Mang was angered to the point where his eyes were practically spitting flames. That one slap of his caused him to feel extremely vexed. Wang Mang, endure it. If you were to open your mouth and accuse Long Chen of hitting you, then he would be taken into custody for one month. But after one month, he would be released safe and sound. However, if you swallow this anger now, then tomorrow, Li Hao will help you take back this face. Therefore, you must absolutely endure it. Zhao Yeo Yang informed him. Wang Mang nodded his head. He knew that Li Hao had arranged a battle with Long Chen. But having bullied Long Chen for so long, he was already so accustomed to it that it had reached the point where it was just playing around. However, today... His playing around caused him to receive a huge slap in the face, and he didn't even have a place to complain. The anger from the broken pieces of teeth could only be swallowed into his stomach. A couple of people were busily picking up the scattered teeth and wiping off the blood stains when Zhao Yeo Yang suddenly asked, The swelling on your face is very minor, so it appears that Long Chen's strength is still not very high, but how is that he managed to knock out so many of your teeth? The others were also very suspicious. According to common sense, 
Only an extremely powerful force could knock out such sturdy teeth. Who knows? It's completely ridiculous, Wang Mang gloomily said. What he didn't know was that Long Chen had used his knowledge as an alchemist. Long Chen was already as familiar towards a human body's physiology as he was with the back of his hands. His slap had been struck in a skillful way so that Wang Mang's gums would loosen, and the teeth on that side of his face had taken that opportunity to tumble out. Long Chen's attack had been very vicious. Teeth were not something that could be easily regrown. They were not like other injuries that could be healed with medicines. In the future, Wang Mang could probably only use the other side of his face to eat. Having learned from Wang Mang's mistake, everyone became much more well-behaved and no one dared to once again provoke Long Chen. Long Chen was also happy to leisurely browse through these ancient tomes. The battle skills here could only be read in the pavilion and could not be taken outside. Spirit of the Bull All battle skills could be divided into three categories. Heaven, Earth, and Mortal. And as for all these battle skills and techniques here, all of them were merely the lowest level of the mortal category. Although they were the lowest level, these battle skills were still extremely precious treasures. Even though they were only for the high-status noble heirs, it still required a blood condensation cultivator to oversee it. From this, one could see just how important battle skills were to the Phoenix Cry Empire. Although it's a low-grade battle skill, its usage of spiritual energy is clear and direct, making its effect pretty good. After completely reading through the battle skill in his hand, Long Chen nodded. This particular battle skill was very suited to him especially since he was extremely familiar with the body's meridians, meaning he could master it very quickly. He carefully read through it once again. His current spiritual strength was extremely formidable compared to a normal person, and it was a great assistance towards his memory. Essentially, he was almost at the point where he could remember anything he saw. The spirit of the bull technique was completely memorized by him. Placing it back, he saw a different support battle skill. Wind chasing steps. Wind chasing steps was a kind of footwork technique. Spiritual energy would flow through a set of specific meridians focusing around the feet, increasing one's speed and explosiveness. Whether it was traversing large distances or short evasions, this technique was extremely effective. Excellent. Another practical technique I can use. Long Chen faintly smiled and once again busied himself to carefully remember all the routes of the spiritual energy and the details of how to do so. Time's up. All noble heirs must place back the tomes. If anyone dares to secretly steal some, even death is not a harsh enough punishment. At this moment, the blood condensation cultivator once again appeared. His cold shout was transmitted to everyone's ears, and everyone hurriedly placed back the tomes in their hands. Several people, who still wanted to continue, sighed and shook their heads. The Phoenix Cry Empire was truly exceedingly strict with battle skills. Every month they would only have half a day to study here. Many people had to spend several months' time just to learn a single battle skill. But although they were discontented, no one would dare to complain. Long Chen looked up slightly surprised. He hadn't expected that the time would pass by this quick. But if other people were to learn that Long Chen had used just a short four hours to completely memorize two battle skills, they might be shocked to the point that their jaws would hit the ground. Within the recordings of a battle skill, there were the extremely cryptic and difficult to understand portions, especially with regards to some of the terms about moving spiritual energy and key around specific meridians, and what confounded people even more was attempting to practice moving their spiritual energy in such a complicated way while also reading. Leaving the Imperial College, Long Chen said his farewells to Fatty Yu and the others before going up to Shi Feng and whispering a couple things. When Shi Feng heard what Long Chen was saying, his whole face burst into shock, and although he quickly suppressed it back to his normal expression, he was unable to conceal the shock in his eyes. Returning home, Long Chen saw that the room where he had condensed the Feng Fu star had been cleaned up. However, it still wasn't safe for people to live in yet due to how heavily he had damaged it. Luckily, his family estate had many rooms, and they had prepared a new one for him. First, he went to his mother's room in order to assure her that he was all right. Many things had consecutively come up during these days, causing Mrs. Long to become agitated and worried. Ever since Long Chen woke up, it seemed like he had changed and become a completely different person, causing her to feel a bit of unfamiliarity. However, the good thing was that Long Chen had already adjusted himself now, and after accompanying and talking to his mother for a while, she calmed down by quite a bit. Nonetheless, he didn't tell her about the life and death battle that he had arranged with Li Hao. Leaving his mother's side, Long Chen returned to his room, locking his door, 
he directly swallowed the second Feng Fu pill. Following the absorption of the second Feng Fu pill, the Feng Fu star on the bottom of Long Chen's foot once again expanded ever so slightly. Along with the expansion, the Feng Fu star's ability to store spiritual energy once again increased, just like a danshan. However, the current Feng Fu star was still in an embryonic form, and in order for it to reach a fully condensed form, a countless number of Feng Fu pills were still required. That was also why Long Chen had been so dismayed when he had first gone through his memories and seen the method to train in the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Currently, he had consumed two Feng Fu pills that were worth several hundred thousand gold coins, and yet, his Feng Fu star was still in its embryonic form. He was still extremely far off if he wanted it to reach the completely condensed stage. Furthermore, it seemed there was a level beyond even that, which was something he still didn't know anything about. Just the one Feng Fu star was already a bottomless abyss that needed countless medicinal pills to fill. However, Long Chen knew that the Nine Star Hegemon body art was the only technique he could use. If not, he would be just mediocre his entire life. In fact, he wouldn't even match up to an ordinary person since he didn't have a danshan. Without using the Nine Star Hegemon body art, his only fate would be to sink down to become a weak person that would constantly be taken advantage of. It took him four hours to fully absorb this Feng Fu pill. His Feng Fu star's embryonic form had increased slightly in size, allowing him to control a greater amount of spiritual energy. By now, it was already the middle of the night. Long Chen stealthily left his room and entered the firewood room. Taking a deep breath, he began to slowly train in the spirit of the bull. Long Chen was already completely familiar with his meridians due to those pill god memories. So this low-grade battle skill was something he could master immediately without even the slightest problem. He walked over to a stone grinder that weighed over half a ton and was normally used to crush up rice crops. Holding it with both hands, he lifted. Rise. The huge stone grinder rose into the air, and Long Chen's impression was that he still had some leftover strength. Nowadays, his strength should be enough to lift around 750 kilograms worth of weight. However, his strength when Cao Yao Yang had beaten him had only been 75 kilograms. Compared to before, it was a dramatic 10 times increase. Excellent. Not including other factors and just by relying on my current body strength, I can probably match up to people at the fifth heaven stage of key condensation. Long Chen couldn't help but feel somewhat excited. And at the same time, he looked even more forward to training in the nine star hegemon body art. Right now, he had only condensed an embryonic form and his power had already raised by such an enormous amount. If he were to truly condense the complete Feng Fu star, then just what kind of level would his power rise to? Hesitating for a while, Long Chen couldn't resist the urge to continue testing. Setting himself up, the air near his foot started to slowly fluctuate, and a scorching power swept from his foot and through his meridians, slowly collecting into his fist. Fist of the bull. Bang. Long Chen's fist smashed onto the stone grinder, and with an explosive bang, the stone grinder was forced into the air and firmly slammed into the wall, causing the entire wall to break down. Long Chen couldn't help but to foolishly stare at the powerful force. Originally, he had just wanted to experiment a bit with the power. He hadn't expected that it would cause such a huge disturbance. From outside the room, other people were all awoken and alarmed. Knowing that he had caused a huge disturbance, he quickly slipped back into his room and laid down to sleep. However, he was simply too excited to sleep almost to the point of wanting to dance for joy. Nine Star Hegemon Body Art Just what level had this cultivation technique reached? If all nine stars were condensed, then just what kind of power would be produced? Long Chen was simply too excited and ended up being unable to fall asleep the whole night. When the first glimmer of the sun's rising lit up his room, he slowly opened his eyes. He, you want to take parts of my body? That's quite a big dream. Too bad you're not able to reach it. After rising and washing his face, he heard that the servants were still discussing what had happened last night in the firewood room. Welcoming the rising sun, Long Chen couldn't stop a certain thought from emerging from his heart. Today's a good day. I can accomplish anything. Chapter 8 Life and Death Battle Translator Born to be quite a few people had already assembled around the martial arena. Other than some idle people who regularly enjoyed watching, there were also a few of the imperial capital's noble heirs. Today was the day of Long Chen and Li Hao's life and death battle. Although this place would normally see a constant stream of duels and fights, life and death battles were still very few in number. 
What was even odder about this situation was that despite that the two noble heirs who were fighting didn't have any remarkable cultivation basis, countless people had still come to watch. In addition, the Yaolan Gambling Hall, the most famous gambler in the entire imperial capital, had also come to open up a public betting pool. Li Hao's victory, two times the odds. Long Chen's victory, ten times the odds. Since no kinds of counterfeit could occur during a life and death battle, and adding their high statuses as noble heirs, betting on the outcome was extremely exciting to many people. Even some people who weren't gamblers also started to place bets, but for the most part, everyone bet on Li Hao's victory. Although Long Chen did defa during Li Hao last time, at that time, Li Hao was completely off guard, and Long Chen had taken advantage of that opening. Such a miracle would not occur a second time. Only an extremely small portion of people, who liked to either mess around or were desperate, decided to take a long shot and bet on Long Chen. The betting place was located not far from the Marshall Arena, and the section to bet on Li Hao's victory was completely packed with people whereas the section to bet on Long Chen was completely deserted. 300,000 gold coins on Long Chen. Suddenly, a large and lofty man appeared and tossed a crystal card over to the person in charge of the betting. What? The handler was completely shocked by this amount. Throughout the entire morning, he had only collected 10,000 gold coins till now. Hearing this new bet, he almost didn't believe his own ears. That huge figure was, of course, Shi Fang. He had been entrusted by Long Chen to put all of his gold coins onto his own victory. Because of his status, Long Chen already knew that the Yaolan Gambling Hall would definitely open up a betting pool, and so he had already preemptively told Shi Feng to bet on him. Even if the Yaolan Gambling Hall ended up in a deficit from opening up the betting pool, he definitely wouldn't back out. Most of the money he normally earned was from his own personal bets, and as for these outer public bets, he didn't actually make much money off them. The main reason he had to hold public bets was to keep the people satisfied. And even if he were to take a loss, with the Yaolan Gambling Hall's imposing wealth, it could easily be brushed off. It was for these reasons that Long Chen decided to join the betting. Originally, he had planned on just betting with Li Hao, but now he could get 10 times the profit by betting with the Yaolan Gambling Hall. Long Chen wasn't an idiot, so of course he knew which was better. Yesterday, with the help of Fatty Yu and his friends, he had collected over 200,000 gold coins. When he had handed it over to Shi Feng, Shi Feng had seen how assured Long Chen was acting. Clenching his teeth, he increased the amount to 300,000. Shi Feng's family was actually not very rich, mostly because they had a tendency to be rather hot tempered and were not that good at handling business. The families of Fatty Yu and the others tended to be better off. In order to collect this much money, he had actually used all of his weapons and armor as additional collateral. All of this was just for Long Chen's wild and crazy bet. Shi Fen couldn't hold back having his heart leap a couple of times in nervousness. Brother Chen, you have to stay calm and steady. All your brother's belongings have all been put on the line. Li Hao arrived just before noon. With a light push on the ground, he jumped several meters into the air to land on top of the martial arena, arousing a burst of cheers. However, this time the cheers weren't for his appearance, but rather because everyone was excited to see the start of a good show. Today, Li Hao was wearing clean and neat robes that were quite attractive, and a proud thought arose in his mind. Long Chen, the humiliation you've given me will be returned to you tenfold. But even after quite a while passed after Li Hao went onto the stage, no one saw Long Chen appear. No one understood why he hadn't appeared, and some people began to wonder if perhaps he had chickened out. Just as everyone was wondering what was going on, an old man in charge of the martial arena coldly told Li Hao. Your appointment for your battle is for 12.45, so you're early by almost an hour. You can either continue to wait on top of the stage or you can come off to wait. Everyone booed in disappointment when they heard this, and the originally full of vigor Li Hao also became a bit dumbstruck as he had forgotten to check the time. Whatever, I'll just wait for him on the stage. In any case, he's a person who's about to die, so his remaining time is more valuable than mine. Li Hao indifferently smiled, and just like that. He sat down cross-legged on top of the martial arena, putting on the air of an expert. However, his attempt to maintain an expert's manner only lasted for a short while before becoming a bit strange. Because it was noon, the sun was extremely powerful, and to make it worse, the martial arena was topped with black stone tiles, and by now, it was already boiling to the point where it could fry an egg. Since Li Hao had already sat down, he couldn't stand back up or it would ruin his act. Therefore, all he could do was suffer. 
Of course, some sharp-eyed people had noticed that Li Hao's bottom had already begun smoking slightly, and in just a moment, it became very obvious and the crowd's expression became very strange. This guy is such an idiot. Is he trying to save face? The fight hasn't even begun, and his butt is already burning. A maiden gently laughed. In the distance, two veiled women were indifferently looking at the martial arena. Speaking frankly, he's just a phony, responded the other maiden, shaking her head. Sister Menki, we've already been here for several days. When do you plan on withdrawing from the marriage agreement? Asked the other one. The maiden who had been called Menki elegantly creased her brows and somewhat awkwardly said, Currently, he's in a very difficult predicament, and if I were to bring up withdrawing from the marriage to him at this time, then it would be too cruel. Even I don't know what I should do, but delaying this matter isn't a solution. Master has already urged us several times. If we don't return to the mountain soon, then we'll probably be punished. Furthermore, with Big Sister's talent, you'll definitely reach Cyanchan and be able to touch the heavenly deos. The two of you will be in completely different worlds. There's no way for you to work it out, sighed the other maiden. But I still feel that doing it in such a manner is still extremely unfair to him. Sigh. Let's just watch a bit more. Menki lightly shook her head, distress appearing within her beautiful eyes. As Menki hesitated, they saw a disturbance within the distant crowd. Turning to stare, they saw a young man in black robes with sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes slowly walk up. His body seemed to have a unique aura, giving people a very profound feeling. He appeared just like a well. On the surface, he appeared like nothing was out of the ordinary, but it was impossible to see through him. No one could manage to see through his depths, and his existence appeared like a mystery to them. Even Menki and the other maiden couldn't help but feel some fluttering in their hearts when they saw him. Compared to the Long Chen they had seen just a few days ago, it was like the difference between heaven and earth. The current him appeared to be full of self-confidence. Seeing Long Chen's arrival, Li Hao jumped up, feeling a burst of scorching pain from his bottom. Blaming Long Chen, his anger rose even more, and he angrily shouted, Long Chen, come up to die. Long Chen didn't even spare a glance for Li Hao, and instead, he scanned the crowd and met Shi Feng's gaze. Shi Feng gave Long Chen a slight nod. Not only did he see Shi Feng, but he also saw Fatty Yu and the others who had apparently come to cheer him on. Long Chen smiled over to them before turning to walk onto the martial arena. Li Hao had jumped up to show off his skill, but Long Chen decided to simply walk up. For the moment, the people who had bet on Long Chen's victory all felt that the money they had gambled was about to be lost forever. Long Chen, seeing Long Chen walk up, these two words were angrily forced out of Li Hao's clenched teeth. Idiot, your butt's scorched isn't it? Long Chen sneered at Li Hao. Actually, he had long since arrived. He merely stayed in the shade further away, and no one had noticed him. However, he had seen very clearly what had been going on on the stage. 1245 has arrived. Both parties must sign the life and death contract. At this moment, the old man took out a document, and Long Chen indifferently smiled and signed his name on top of it. This time was different from the last duel. Conceding to the victor would have no effect this time. The loser's life and death were held within the victor's hands. Li Hao also signed, and with a sinister expression, he said, You little bastard, today I will return all the humiliation you gave me one hundredfold. Now that the life and death contract had been signed, there was no more need for a referee. The current martial arena had now become the ground upon which they would decide who would die today. Looks like you don't understand. You've come to provoke me so many times, and I'm not enduring any longer. Long Chen took a deep breath. An extremely dense killing intent appeared within his eyes. Ever since Cao Yao Yang had first said that he wasn't Long Shiang Xiao's son, many people had started using the same kind of insult against him. Go to hell you son of a BTCH. Li Hao sneered, and with a loud bellow, his whole body's spiritual key started to circulate, and the spiritual energy visible to the naked eyes could be seen fluctuating around his body. All of the crowd, who was watching, nodded when they saw this. Last time. Li Hao had been extremely unlucky, he hadn't made any preparations to protect his body, and Long Chen had used one quick attack to beat him, but this time, he had properly prepared and set up his defenses. Although this was only the spiritual energy of key condensation and had no way of leaving the body, circulating spiritual energy within the body for protection meant that an ordinary person would have a very hard time to inflict any injuries. After Li Hao set up his defenses, a sinister smile appeared on his face. He charged towards Long Chen, both hands turning into claws aimed towards Long Chen's shoulders. 
These two claws of his were filled with spiritual ki, making them no different from iron fangs. If ordinary people were to be hit by it, their shoulders would immediately break. Good. Li Hao, completely crippled the son of a BTCH. From below the arena, a loud shout came from the person who Long Chen had sent flying within the Imperial College, Wang Mang. Wang Mang had now already lost half of his teeth while still a youth. And as for any bone-growing medicinal pills, those were far too expensive for his family to buy. Nowadays, he was already full of hatred for Long Chen and seeing Long Chen about to be assaulted, he couldn't hold back from cheering. But Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, and the others all became extremely worried. From the very start, Long Chen had not shown even the slightest cultivation base, causing their hearts to momentarily get stuck in their throats. Long Chen coldly smiled as he looked at Li Hao, taking one step. His whole body turned into a shadow as he charged forward towards Li Hao. Bang. Chapter 9 Alchemist Guild Translator. Born to be bang. An explosive noise rang out, causing everyone to become completely dumbfounded. No one had noticed how, but at some point, Long Chen had appeared right in front of Li Hao just like a demon. This was due to his wind chasing steps. This technique increased his speed to the max, especially in close range, and the explosiveness was something that was impossible to guard against. Li Hao's two claws hit nothing while Long Chen's leg viciously kicked out and hit him between the legs with such a ferocious force that his whole body was lifted into midair. After the explosive noise passed, a little ball flew out of Li Hao's trousers and was flung towards the crowd. Wang Mang was still imagining Li Hao tormenting Long Chen and making Long Chen suffer a life worse than death. But the current situation completely shattered this delusion of his, and his jaw dropped, dumbstricken. He was completely oblivious to a small, Great sized thing that was now flying towards his mouth. By the time he noticed it, the thing had already entered into his open mouth. Before he could even react, that slippery thing passed through his throat into his stomach, bringing with it a grotesque, foul smell. AHH. Only now did Wang Mang react and desperately began using a finger to dig at his throat, causing him to vomit. After a while, a small ball was vomited out. When Cao Yao Yang and the rest of the people beside him saw that ball, they also started retching, swiftly scattering away from it. A-H-H. On the martial arena, Li Hao was tenaciously holding onto his crotch, his face twitching and contorting. If he hadn't set up his spiritual key to protect himself, he would have long since lost consciousness from the pain. For a moment, the whole audience was completely silent. Everyone's eyes roved from Li Hao on the stage to the distant round thing on the ground, and their expressions became extremely odd. This is good for you. Now you'll be able to walk without slanting and tripping, Long Chen said, nodding his head. You, Li Hao's furiously glared at him, wanting to tear him apart. His last family jewel was stripped off him, and now that it had entered Wang Mang's stomach, it had already been corroded to the point that even if he collected it, he wouldn't be able to use it. One was taken away by a wild dog while one was no longer usable. Li Hao was now destined to become a sterile person incapable of reproducing. You fucker, go die. Stone crushing fist, Li Hao crazily roared, forcefully circulating his spiritual key to restrain the pain coming from his lower body. His fist shot towards Long Chen, the wind whistling as it passed. The full power of his third vestige of key condensation cultivation base exploded out. By now, he had already descended into madness and completely forgotten about Cao Yao Yang's instructions. The only thing on his mind was to completely destroy Long Chen. Seeing Li Hao became completely berserk. A cold killing intent appeared within Long Chen's eyes. He roared. The sound like violent thunder capable of shocking the sky, blasted the surrounding people's ears. An incorporeal aura engulfed Long Chen, not taking any actions to avoid it. He also attacked with a fist. Spirit of the bull. Boom. An explosion was followed by the sound of bones breaking. Li Hao let out a miserable scream, his blood flying everywhere. People were shocked and horrified to see that one of Li Hao's arms had been completely crushed. Long Chen was still resting in his punching position. His eyes were icy cold and completely apathetic. A terrifying killing intent spilled out from him, shaking people's souls. The current Long Chen seemed like a cold-blooded death god, his whole body brimming with an icy cold killing intent that caused everyone to tremble in fear. The whole crowd was deathly still. The amount of power that he had released just now was something that even Cao Yao Yang at the seventh vestige of key condensation felt somewhat afraid of. How is this possible? He can use battle skills. Isn't it impossible for him to cultivate? What the hell is happening? His expression is absolutely terrifying. People were unable to hold back their shock. 
and as for the ones who had previously ridiculed and sneered at Long Chen, they were all completely filled with dread. Seeing Li Hao lying on the martial arena, it was like they were seeing images of themselves. They couldn't help but to tremble, their spirits shivering. Even Long Chen himself was somewhat shocked. It appeared that even he had underestimated the nine-star hegemon body art. Otherwise, if it was a normal person using a low-grade battle skill, it would not be able to release such a terrifying strength. Slowly walking over towards Li Hao, each of Long Chen's steps rang out loud and clear. The sound of it was like the overture of a murderer, each step pressing down on the people's hearts. Step, step, step. By now, Li Hao's previous expression of anger had vanished, replaced with complete terror. Shaking and quivering, he stuttered, Don't, don't come over. Li Hao wanted to run away, but the completely terrified him only noticed now that his body couldn't exert even the slightest strength. To him, Long Chen who was slowly but gradually walking closer to him was like a nightmare which he couldn't run away from. Don't, don't kill me. It was because of Zhao Yeo Yang's instructions. Li Hao sobbingly begged. Below the stage, Zhao Yeo Yang's expression changed, and he angrily shouted, Li Hao, what nonsense are you saying? I'm not saying nonsense. You told us to handle Long Chen and that afterward, you give us some benefits. All of this is because of you. Li Hao pointed towards Zhao Yeo Yang as he hysterically rambled. In the face of death, he had already forgotten everything. Li Hao, you're asking for death. Zhao Yeo Yang's face turned ashen, and his two eyes were filled with killing intent. Zhao Yeo Yang, you bastard. You used me for your advantage. Long Chen, I'll tell you. Zhao Yeo Yang is nothing more than a henchman dog. In reality Long Chen suddenly felt a chill in the air ordaining an attack. Sensing the air of death, he quickly retreated without even thinking about it. However, even after Long Chen had retreated, it didn't appear like anything had happened. But when Long Chen once again looked at Li Hao, he saw that Li Hao's eyes had already lost focus, and he had already taken his last breath. Long Chen's expression changed slightly, turning to look at the crowd. All he managed to see was a figure wearing a conical bamboo hat who was quickly fleeing the scene. With just a few strides, he had already disappeared from the crowd. The unexpected events caused an uproar amongst the crowd. Obviously, that mysterious figure had killed Li Hao. Long Chen wins. After a brief spell of confusion, the martial arena's oversetter still ended up announcing this final outcome. Although Li Hao wasn't killed by Long Chen, Long Chen had already defeated him. If he had wanted to kill Li Hao, it would have been as easy as turning his hand. So in the end, they still announced that it was Long Chen's victory. Following Long Chen's victory, countless people sighed in regret. With this outcome, they had no way to take back their bets. As for the tens of people who had bet on Long Chen, they all crazily shouted in joy. Fatty Yu and the others shouted out especially loudly. Lying on the martial arena, Li Hao would never again be paid any attention to. The martial arena's organizers would send a message to his family and they would come to pick up his dead body. The life and death battles were all protected by the imperial capital. No one was allowed to secretly take revenge. Li Hao was only a lowborn noble whose status was not especially high. If he died, then he died. There would not be any waves following his death. This was one of the unbreakable rules of the imperial capital. Long Chen walked off the stage, receiving a heroic welcome from Fatty Yu and the others. Shi Feng tightly hugged him. You brat, when did you become so strong? and you didn't even tell anyone about it. My heart almost leaked out watching you, grumbled Shi Fang. Brother Long, no wait, elder brother Long, in the future, we'll all be muddling along with you. You have to cover for us, said Fatty Yu and the others with bright eyes. Long Chen laughed, of course. Come on, let's go to the betting place. In front of countless admiring stares and everyone's cheers, Long Chen received no less than 3 million gold coins. At the moment when the crystal card with 3 million gold coins landed in his hand, Long Chen was actually even more excited than when he had been beating Li Hao. He had known that Li Hao was nothing more than a little dog, but the words that he had said right before he had died caused Long Chen to become even more cautious than before. Originally, he had thought that all the bullying had been because of enmities with his parents' generation, but that didn't match with what Li Hao had said. It seemed that it was not such a simple affair as he had thought, most likely. He was just a single pawn. He was just a trashy teen. And his family was completely impoverished now. There was no need for someone to actively plot against him in such a deliberate and methodical manner. The clear reason would be due to someone clashing with his father who was stuck guarding the barbarian border. It seems like it's very complicated. 
but staring at the three million gold coins in his hand, Long Chen was filled with endless confidence. Was that the confidence that came with being rich? Leaving with the huge crowd, Long Chen found a tea house and invited his friends to eat whatever they wanted and returned them their money. However, the money that had been earned was kept with him. Long Chen gave his friends a promise that caused them to be endlessly excited. Everyone's future cultivation would all be taken care of by him. This caused Fatty Yu and the others to go mad with joy. They were all completely incapable of cultivating, and if someone else promised this to them, then they wouldn't believe it. However, Long Chen was originally the same as them. Now that he had managed to dispatch Li Hao in such a quick way, how could they not believe him? Hearing Long Chen promise this, everyone was overjoyed. However, Long Chen told them to keep this secret, and they all frantically nodded. Their future cultivation was something that was basically just as important as their life, and adding on to how solemn Long Chen's words were, they would not dare to treat it unimportantly. After Fatty Yu and the others left, Long Chen stayed behind to chat a bit with Shi Feng. Shi Feng was a genius whose aptitude was the greatest amongst all the noble heirs. He was already at the 8th heaven stage of key condensation and could enter into the 9th heaven stage at any time. Entering the blood condensation stage before 20 should not be that difficult for him. Through how Shi Feng had acted during these last two matters, Long Chen knew that he was definitely a person deserving his trust. After asking about Shi Feng's current stage of cultivation, Long Chen split up with him and went directly to the Alchemist Guild. The Alchemist Guild was in the south part of the Imperial Capital. It was the most sacred part of the entire Imperial Capital. Not even members of the royal family would dare to be rude towards the members of the Alchemist Guild. Alchemist Guilds were said to be spread throughout the entire world, and as for the guild in the Imperial Capital, it was nothing more than one of their branches. What Long Chen needed to get this time was an Alchemist's official identification. Having that status would mean that in the future, it would be extremely easy and convenient for him to do what he wanted. No matter where you went, Alchemists were an extremely scarce occupation. With this identification, Long Chen's status would no longer be the same. Even the Phoenix Cry Empire would have to think carefully before they would act against him. The most important thing was that he could use an extremely favorable price and get a preferential treatment when buying the Alchemist Guild's rare ingredients, letting him save the maximum amount of money. Although the Alchemist Guild only took up a few tens of acres of ground, it rose dozens of meters into the air, making it extremely imposing and causing people to revere it. Entering the lobby, Two maids received Long Chen. They were surprised when they heard that he wanted to take the examination for an alchemist identification. After all, Long Chen appeared to be only 15 or 16 years old, and he didn't have any fluctuations of a cultivation base. However, the two of them still brought him into the refining hall. At this time, the refining hall only had a dozen or so men inside. They were currently urging on their pill flames, appearing to be refining medicines. Huh? Why are you here? Just as Long Chen entered, an old man asked with an astonished expression Novaloon.com when he saw that person. Long Chen's heart erupted with a concealed anger. That old man was precisely the one who had treated his wounds. This person had clearly known that his injury had been no big deal. But by saying that he could possibly lose his memory, he managed to con his mother into selling her jewelry. I came here to take the alchemist exam. Long Chen calmed the anger in his heart. He'd pay back the bill to this old man later. Alchemist exam. The old man examined Long Chen from top to bottom. Looks like your wounds from last time still aren't healed. You should go back and heal them. Long Chen frowned slightly and insisted. I really am here to take the alchemist exam. The old man's expression sunk. I don't have time to waste on a little kid. Hurry up and beat it. Otherwise, I'll get the guards to throw you out. Long Chen's anger once again exploded. Glaring at the old man he shouted. If your ears aren't completely deaf yet. Then I'll repeat myself one more time. I am here to take the alchemist exam. By the end, Long Chen's shout was already a roar that reverberated through the entire alchemist guild. What person is making such a loud ruckus? Suddenly, a thin old man walked over with a displeased expression. When Long Chen turned his eyes and saw him, a naughty grin appeared on the corner of his mouth. Chapter 10 Disciplining the Brat Translator Born to be Long Chen recognized the old man, and it wasn't just Long Chen who would recognize him. In the Imperial Capital, there were only a few people who wouldn't recognize him the Alchemist Guild's chairman, Grand Master Yun Ki. Senior Yun Ki, this brat suddenly ran over to make trouble. I was just about to expel him. The old man hurriedly explained when he saw Grand Master Yun Ki. Long Chen rolled his eyes. 
feigning an extremely grateful expression. He said, You are Grand Master Yan Qi? Wonderful. Long Chen thanks you for the favor of saving his life. Originally Yan Qi's expression was displeased. But hearing Long Chen say this, he couldn't help but become distracted. Asking, Child, are you misrecognizing me as someone else? Misrecognizing? No, definitely not. Long Chen shook his head, pointing towards the old man. He said, Through this Grand Master, my mom paid several thousand gold coins to buy a tiger bone pill from you. Only through this was I able to recover from my wounds. This little one truly cannot thank you enough. Hearing Long Chen recount this affair, the old man's expression immediately changed and Yan Qi's expression turned cold. Looking at the old man he said, Guan Cheng, what is this about? Senior Chairman, don't listen to his rubbish. Guan Cheng hurriedly tried to explain. Huh, why aren't you acknowledging it? To think that the people of our alchemist guild are of such a noble character then they don't even put their names on the good deeds they do. Only, the matter of you selling my mother a defective grade tiger bone pill is very well known. Long Chen coldly smiled. Although Guan Chen was continuously shooting Long Chen meaningful glances, Long Chen continued to act as if he hadn't noticed. Did you really think my Long family's money was so easy to swindle? Guan Chen was currently a senior member of the alchemist guild. He was taught a bit by Grand Master Yan Qi, but he wasn't someone extremely talented. However, after Guan Chen had carefully and attentively followed Yan Qi for a few decades, Yan Qi had felt some pity for him and given him the position of an attendant with some low-grade random jobs to do in the Alchemist Guild. Occasionally, when he refined a garbage pill, he would hand it over to Guan Chen to handle. Normally, these garbage pills would have their useful portion extracted out for some medicinal liquids. They definitely would not be allowed to be sold on the market. This was related to the profession's personal integrity. If it was leaked that Grand Master Yan Qi had actually sold a garbage pill, then he would become a joke amongst his fellow alchemists. Grand Master Yan Qi sighed. Looking at Guan Chen he said, You've followed me for several decades. So you already understand my character. Leave and don't ever come back. Guan Chen's old face became deathly pale. His eyes holding a trace of unwillingness. He begged. Senior, I, go, Yan Qi indifferently responded, waving his hand. Guan Chen nearly became paralyzed and fell to the floor. Yan Qi's declaration was equivalent to expelling him from the alchemist guild. An originally high and aloof attendant in a flash became someone completely lacking of anything. Guan Chen appeared to age several decades. Hey, I'm talking to you. Stop faking. You've cheated and swindled people for so many years outside this guild. Right now. You've already earned so much evil money that you won't even be able to spend it all before dying. Why are you acting like you're so deserving of pity? Long Chen disdainfully said. As an attendant of the Alchemist Guild, this old man had become extremely close to quite a few noble families. After muddling along for so many years, he had definitely obtained many benefits. Looking at his face caused Long Chen to feel sick and disgusted. Guan Chen's expression became furious, his eyes filled with bitter resentment. However, he didn't say anything and merely slowly walked out with his head down. Watching Guan Chen go away, Grand Master Yan Qi shook his head. Towards Long Chen, he said, Thank you young man. Otherwise, this old man would still be completely in the dark. He, that old man was someone who cheated my family of one of our fortunes. I purposely came for revenge. There's no need to be so courteous. Long Chen laughed. Contrary to one's expectations, Grand Master Yan Qi replied, Haha. <laughs> Not bad. A young fellow who is so straightforward is clearly not suited for a treacherous and deceitful life. Haha. <laughs> How could this youngster's intentions and manner be concealed for a whole lifetime? Since it's impossible to conceal, I might as well act like a good person. Long Chen spread out his arms candidly as he replied. Grand Master Yan Qi couldn't help but laugh. Over his last few years, everyone would treat him with reverence. This was the first time someone would speak to him in such a joking manner. So now it was quite an enjoyable experience. Little fellow, surely you didn't come to my alchemist guild just to report this complaint. Of course not. I came here to take the alchemist exam. After saying this, Long Chen held out his right hand. Puff. A tiny flame leaked out of his fingertips. In order to leave a deep impression onto the Grand Master, Long Chen's hand trembled, and the flame started to act like a wild monkey, playfully leaping around. Not bad. Originally, when he saw the flame, Yan Qi had only faintly nodded his head. Being able to agglomerate a pill flame at that age could be considered not bad. But Long Chen's following actions caused him to actually be somewhat moved. 
the ability to control the flame relied mostly on the amount of spiritual strength one had. Long Chen's ability to control it in such a lively manner demonstrated that his spiritual strength had surpassed an ordinary person by quite a bit. What he didn't know was that Long Chen was still holding back. If he were to bring out the secret arts from his memories, then he might completely terrify this Grand Master. Very good. Your spiritual strength is at least twice as strong as an ordinary person, making you a good sapling to learn pill refining. Yun Qi nodded. Hearing Yun Qi said this, Long Chen felt a weight fall off his shoulders. Being able to hold as much hidden strength as possible was still the best. Come, I'll bring you to do the test. Saying this, Grand Master Yun Qi brought Long Chen away. Looking at the two people leaving, everyone who had previously been in the hall refining medicines with their pill flames couldn't help being stunned. What? He didn't need to be appraised before directly going to do the test. How is this possible? Is he a relative of Grand Master Yun Qi? Nonsense. He's not a relative. Isn't that kid the Imperial Capital's famous trash? Long Chen. The ten plus people in the hall were all there in order to take the alchemist exam. But according to the usual convention, they had to meet the requirement of refining a certain herbal medicine first to show that they met a certain qualification before advancing to take the exam but Long Chen immediately skipped over this step, causing them to be incessantly furious. However, there was no alternative for them. This was the alchemist guild, a supreme existence. No one would dare do a thing. They could only swallow their anger into their stomach. In an underground room of the alchemist guild, Grand Master Yun Qi pointed towards a water crystal in front of them. Use your flame on it. Long Chen nodded. Extending a finger, he condensed a flame and placed it on top of the water crystal. Several lines appeared on the water crystal when the flame touched it. Grand Master Yun Qi faintly said, Your pill flame has reached the low one class. Just barely meeting the standard, pill flames were split into Xi'an, D, Zuan, and one class, with each class also having three ranks. Long Chen's pill flame was agglomerated from himself and was not a beast flame or a heaven and earth spirit flame. Therefore, being at the low one class was very normal. Grand Master Yun Qi then brought Long Chen to a shallow water pool. The water pool was only half a foot deep, and the bottom was covered with hundreds of sparkling pearls. Circulate your spiritual strength and see if you can cause the pearls to float up. Obviously, this water pond wasn't a real water pond. Close examination revealed that the water was clearly spiritual mercury water. When Long Chen carefully touched it, he discovered that the water magnified his spiritual strength by greater than 10 times. This immediately relieved him as his current spiritual strength was not strong enough to move objects without touching them. Apparently, he had been worrying too much. Circulating his spiritual strength, he immediately found a dozen or so pearls being influenced by his spiritual strength as they slowly floated up. Suddenly, Long Chen noticed that Grand Master Yun Qi's expression was completely bewildered and shocked as he looked at those pearls. Damn, I'm about to be exposed. Long Chen hurriedly released his spiritual strength. He used spiritual energy to make his face extremely pale like he was about to collapse, faking that his spiritual strength was overdrawn. Grand Master, what rank do I count as? Long Chen gasped for breaths as he asked. Zuan class. Grand Master Yun Qi murmured. It was as if he hadn't even noticed Long Chen's current overdrawn state. Only a while later did Yun Qi notice that Long Chen was already weakly lying on the ground. If one had to give Long Chen's acting skills a rank, he would be god of acting. Not only was his face as white as paper, but his eyes seemed weak and listless, giving him the appearance of someone who had excessively overexerted himself. Excellent. Your spiritual strength is exceptionally strong. Your talent is definitely moldable. I've definitely found a good sapling this time. Yun Qi smiled. Long Chen's eyes brightened when he heard this. Grand Master Yun Qi, this little one very much wishes to study the Dao of the Pill. Is it possible for me to become your official disciple? Yun Qi shook his head. I can't. Go carefully train and later, I will present an opportunity for you that will let you jump to the peak of the Pill Path. Hearing Yun Qi's refusal, Long Chen laughed with embarrassment. Actually, the main thing is I want a higher reputation so that no one will dare to bully me again when I go out. Yun Qi stared blankly before bursting into laughter. Someone like Long Chen, who spoke so directly, caused him to not know whether to laugh or cry. How many years had it been since he had met such an interesting youngster? However, Long Chen's abnormal spiritual strength did cause him to have an excellent opinion of him. Don't worry. Later, I'll give you a pill apprentice identification plate. Who would dare continue to bully you? Yun Qi laughed. 
Long Chen became excited. Normally, if a person wanted to join the Alchemist Guild, they had to first pass the exam to become a medicinal expert, and after that, they had to wait another year before they could obtain the qualifications to take the test to become a pill apprentice. Medicinal expert was just an entry-level rank, but it still caused countless people's eyes to turn red in envy. As for pill apprentice, it was the actual start of pill cultivation. With your current pill flame and spiritual strength, it's still quite difficult for you to refine a pill. However, within a year, you will definitely be able to refine pills. So this can't count as violating rules. I'm simply giving it to you a bit early, smiled Yan Qi. Long Chen was extremely grateful. Although in terms of technique and skill, he had enough mastery to look down on anyone. Yan Qi was definitely a senior who was worthy of respect. Grand Master Yan Qi personally made a pill apprentice identification plate for him. And then in addition, he also gave him a medicinal cauldron and a set of pill robes. The pill robe was extremely luxurious, and there was a single embroidered pill star on the abdomen, the sign of a pill apprentice. The medicinal cauldron was made of fire copper and pure gold, and its design was very elegant. It was many levels higher than the old cauldron he had bought. Other than these two things, what pleasantly surprised Long Chen was that Grand Master Yan Qi had even given him a spatial ring. This was a miraculous kind of ring. As long as you sent your spiritual strength into the ring, you could open up an interior space connected to the ring and store any random things. As for its value, it was an extravagant commodity worth hundreds of thousands of gold coins. Before, Long Chen hadn't even dared to dream about obtaining one. Inserting his spiritual strength into the ring, he found that the space inside was three meters wide, causing him to be extremely grateful. Under Grand Master Yan Qi's advisement, Long Chen used his identification plate to buy medicinal ingredients for half the price. He could also study the senior generation's pill refining experiences free of charge. Long Chen suddenly had a feeling like he had leaped from being a chicken to being a phoenix. Within the Alchemist Guild, he bought a large amount of the Feng Fu pill's medicinal ingredients and some other herbs. By the time Long Chen left the Alchemist Guild, he felt like a completely different person than when he entered. Previously, he had been worthless but now he was worth millions. Even his back was held completely straight. In the future, he could look down his nose at others. When Long Chen finished collecting this vast harvest, he returned home. Just as he entered, he saw Baoer at the entrance. As soon as she saw Long Chen, she straight away brought him to Mrs. Long's room. As soon as he entered, he became dumbstruck, his heart jumping wildly in chagrin. Chapter 11 Flawless Beauty Translator born to be an absolutely beautiful woman was standing before Long Chen. She had willowy eyebrows over limpid clear eyes, cherry red lips popped over her pale skin, and a cascading waterfall of hair descended all the way to her waist. When she saw Long Chen enter and their gazes met, Long Chen was struck dumb. That young woman appeared like a fairy from out of this world. It was as if due to her very presence, the entire room had become a fairyland. For a moment, Long Chen was unable to do anything but stare foolishly at her. Her cheeks reddened slightly, and she turned away from him. When Mrs. Long saw this, she scolded. Chen Er, hurry up and greet Men Qi. She's your future bride. Mrs. Long's face lit up with happiness when she said bride. But Long Chen was extremely startled since he had never even heard of such a thing. Greetings Lady Men Qi. Seeing his mother's stare, Long Chen finally recovered and bowed to her. A slight blush crept over Men Qi's face, and she also curtsied back slightly. Although her cherry lips moved slightly, she didn't say anything back in response. Seeing all this, Mrs. Long smiled and said, Men Qi, you and Long Chen are both youngsters. You two can go chat for a bit while I go prepare some food. Giving Long Chen an encouraging glance, Mrs. Long withdrew, leaving only the two of them in the room. Facing such a beautiful woman, for the first time, Long Chen had a feeling of having no idea what to do. After a long pause, he finally managed to choke out a single phrase. Please, sit. Men Qi shook her head. A complicated expression flashed over her face when she glanced at Long Chen. I have something to say to you. Can we change locations? Long Chen frowned slightly, but he still nodded. The two of them left the Long Estate and found a more secluded spot. Once they arrived, Men Qi reached into her robes and slowly pulled out a seal. Long Chen almost cried out in shock when he saw it for he recognized it to be a summoning contract that only beast tamers could use. A fluctuation rippled through space, interrupting Long Chen's thoughts. A huge monster over 10 meters long with the head of a lion and body of an eagle appeared in front of them, a majestic aura coming off of it. 
Although Long Chen was unable to cultivate before, he still had managed to study up on illustrations of magical beasts. This beast was called the Lion Eagle, a terrifying second-rank magical beast. The Lion Eagle in front of them had clearly not reached its complete maturity, but in terms of battle strength, ordinary blood condensation cultivators were not its match. This normally vicious beast was exceptionally docile in front of Menki as it quietly lay on the ground. Menki lightly walked up onto the Lion Eagle's back and then said to Long Chen, Come up. Long Chen glanced at Menki, seeing a hint of haste in her expression. He muttered quietly under his breath and walked on. This was the first time Long Chen had ever climbed onto the back of a magical beast, and he couldn't help being a bit nervous that it might accidentally go crazy and start eating people. The Lion Eagle suddenly spread its wings, and its huge body brought the two of them soaring into the sky. Long Chen was almost thrown off when it leaked into the air. Fortunately, a pale hand supported Long Chen, letting him awkwardly recover. But when he saw a faint amusement on Men Qi's face that seemed to want to laugh, Long Chen couldn't help but feel embarrassed. Ahaha, I'm just a bit clumsy. Long Chen smiled slightly and found a lame excuse. Men Qi laughed at that, but she quickly felt embarrassed and turned around. The Lion Eagle's flying speed was very quick and in just a few minutes, they flew out of the Imperial Capital and descended onto Sunset Mountain. The setting sun spilled out a blood-red color that covered the entire Imperial Capital. An extremely beautiful scene. Both of them stood at the peak of the mountain, neither of them saying anything. As Long Chen stared at the Imperial Capital, a trace of helplessness flashed in his eyes. Long Chen. I. Men Qi hesitated a long while before finally sighing and opening her red lips. Are you here to get out of the marriage? Long Chen didn't turn to look at her. His gaze stayed focused on the Imperial Capital. Men Qi's heart shook and a trace of disbelief appeared on her beautiful face. You. You already knew. I guessed. Long Chen slowly turned to look at her beautiful, flawless face and said, Thank you. You're thanking me. Men Qi asked in confusion. Thank you for not bringing this up in front of my mother. You didn't hurt her old heart. And you also let me save my face. So I thank you. Long Chen smiled. Men Qi carefully looked at Long Chen. A couple of days ago, she had already learned about Long Chen's situation in the past few years. She had thought that he would become angry when he learned why she had come and maybe even go completely mad and wildly curse at her, but she had never thought that he would give this kind of response. I know you're a proud and gifted woman, for you are already able to control a second-rank magical beast at such a young age. As for me, I'm just a normal person. We're from two different worlds, so you're not wrong to want this. There's no need for you to feel bad about it. Long Chen laughed lightly, and his smile was very warm and comforting. But when Men Qi looked at this smiling expression, her heart ached in an indescribable way. This young man, practically a boy, had already suffered so much misfortune, and now she was personally leaving another scar on him and pressing the salt onto the wound. Was this not too heartless? Give me a couple of days and I'll convince my mother to decline this marriage. I promise you that it won't take too long. After saying this, Long Chen slowly turned around and walked away. The setting sun illuminated a slim figure on the middle of the mountain path, making him appear somewhat miserable. Looking at Long Chen's fading figure, tears streamed out of Men Qi's eyes, and her hand covered his cherry lips. Was I right to do this or was I wrong? A young woman slowly walked over from behind Men Qi and quietly consoled her. Big sis, now that everything's been said, it's already over. Although, this Long Chen really does appear pitiful. The two women stared at Long Chen's back until he completely disappeared. Once Long Chen descended the mountain, his mood became increasingly depressed. From the first moment he saw Men Qi, he had felt a strong feeling of love and attraction. Someone like Men Qi was like a fairy from heaven. For a normal man like Long Chen, it would have been strange if he wasn't attracted to her. But just as this love surfaced, it was doused in icy water before it could be expressed. Long Chen's spiritual perception was exceptionally powerful, so he was exceptionally sensitive towards other people's emotions. The moment Men Qi had shown her personal power by calling the Lion Eagle, he had already known things were not good. I've lost love before I could even fall in love. Long Chen was miserable inside, so much that he wanted to scream madly. He had suffered through so much repression and injustice, but he had never let a single cry out. However, this time, he truly did feel an urge to weep. He could sense that Men Qi was a kind woman. Otherwise, there was no need for her to do it like this, and she could have directly declined the marriage. It wasn't as if he wanted to have the marriage arrangement annulled. But what could he do? He could scream and cry at the heavens all he liked. 
but what was the point? Yes, maybe if he had begged her, then the marriage might have gone through, but at that point, it wouldn't even mean anything, it was better to just let it go, although his heart ached, he could still bear it, by the time he got home, night had already descended, his mother immediately began to rain questions down on him, what did the two say, did they make any progress, were there any feelings between them, doing his best to answer and brush off the questions for a while, Long Chen finally managed to ask, mom, how did Menki and I end up in an arranged marriage, and why didn't you tell me about it? Pain appeared in Mrs. Long's eyes when he asked this, but it was quickly concealed again. She told Long Chen that their two families were initially on very good terms. Their fathers were life and death friends and they decided that their children, if they were both males, would be brothers, if they were both females, they'd be sisters, and if they were one male and one female, they would be husband and wife. Long Chen sighed. So your generation was all happy and carefree, but now when it comes to us, all we have is bitterness. Mom, I feel that I and Menki aren't suitable for each other. Long Chen thought about it for a long while, but in the end, he could only face it head first. What? Mrs. Long stared at Long Chen in disbelief. Ah, Mom, don't get too emotional. What I'm saying is that Menki and I just aren't suitable. After all, Long Chen couldn't continue. No, that's crazy talk. Menki is such a beautiful woman, how is she unsuitable for you? Mrs. Long was angered so greatly that she couldn't help but swear. Mom, listen to me, love requires that both parties are willing. You didn't get our consent before setting this up for us, that's just too arbitrary. You, are you trying to anger me? Mrs. Long couldn't even understand Long Chen's words anymore, and she was angered to the point that tears were falling. Long Chen was extremely embarrassed, but it wasn't as if he could say the truth. All he could do was to stand there as Mrs. Long cursed and cursed. Suddenly, his mother asked, Chen Er, tell your mother the truth. Is it Men Ki who wants to get out of this? How could that be possible? Men Ki is a good lady. It's just me. I feel that this is too sudden and I can't accept it. Hastily replied Long Chen. No need to say any more. Child, it's your mom and dad's fault. Mrs. Long wasn't stupid. She naturally knew what kind of character her son had. After thinking about it for just a moment, she knew that the situation wasn't as simple as he said. She hurriedly hugged Long Chen and cried bitterly. Mom, it's not as bad as you think. I just think we're not suitable now. That doesn't mean we might not get along better in the future. Laughed Long Chen. It's all part of my plan. First, annul this marriage arrangement, and then let your child use his own skills to pursue her back as a daughter-in-law. Wouldn't this be the best case situation? HMPH. What part of that is easy? Menki is a beautiful goddess. Who knows how many people are pursuing her. Without this marriage contract, when will you ever get your chance? She sighed and continued. But you're also right. This kind of thing can't be forced. Since it's your marriage and you're now old enough, you can decide for yourself. Thank you mom. Long Chen finally relaxed. Mrs. Long took out an old wooden case from under her bed, taking out a thin piece of paper from within it and handing it to Long Chen. This is your marriage contract. If you want to get out of it, just tear it apart. Receiving that thin piece of paper, Long Chen's heart ached. An absolutely heavenly beautiful woman was about to be lost in such a way. It really was lamentable. Chapter 12 A New Gold Translator Born to be at Op Sunset Mountain, the sun was just beginning to rise when Men Qi saw Long Chen walk back with the marriage contract. Despite this being what she wanted, she couldn't bear to do it. Her hand trembled but she simply couldn't take that piece of paper. Long Chen smiled slightly, gripping her hand lightly. He handed the marriage contract to her. When he touched her beautiful hand, his heart shook and it took a huge effort to keep himself calm. Take it, you're a kind girl, and although the situation is as it is, I don't hate you in the slightest. With one hand in the grasp of Long Chen, Men Qi's body shook. At first she wanted to take her hand back, but it was as if she couldn't control her own body. Long Chen's words caused her heart to ache, and the tears within her eyes spilled out. She choked out. Long Chen, I'm sorry, you really are a nice person. I should make my move now while I have a chance. His heart was plummeting, but his expression was still warm and calm. He acted in a brotherly manner, reaching out and gently wiping away her tears. It was only with his greatest strength that he managed not to become engrossed with her beautiful face. Her charm was truly just too astonishing. Without his powerful spiritual strength, he would have already become enchanted. But at this time, he had to continue resisting. With a faint smile, he said, Menki, this isn't your fault. 
If you want to blame someone, you should blame our fathers. Those two old conquerors played a practical joke on us. The originally sobbing Menki couldn't help but laugh when she heard his unfilial and ridiculous words. The smile that blossomed on her tear-streaked face was like a dew-covered spring flower. Her beauty was something that could not be replicated. Gazing at that face, Long Chen blurted out, Menki, you really are beautiful. But he regretted it as soon as he said it. Despite his attempts at self-control, his male wolf side still appeared. Long Chen was so angry he wanted to punch himself. Luckily, Menki didn't become angry after hearing Long Chen's praise. Her face turned red, and she rolled her eyes in a cute way which was another kind of beauty. Crap. Crap. Long Chen, if you miss out on such a beautiful woman, what would be the point of living? Right. I just have to do everything I can. Don't worry about danger or saving face. Long Chen sighed, and let go of Menki's hand, leaving the marriage contract with her. Actually, with your current status, you didn't even need to notice my existence. We're two people in two different worlds, but you still came. I know that you came because you didn't want me to harbor any false hope and have me waiting forever till the end. For you to want this is completely faultless. On the contrary, I am extremely grateful to you, Long Chen. Are you just saying this to try and make me feel less guilty? With the marriage contract in her hand, her voice trembled slightly. No, I'm saying the truth. But from today onwards, I have a distant goal now, laughed Long Chen. What is it? Asked Men Qi. From today onwards, I will put all my effort into cultivating. Once my strength is great enough, I'll come and find you. The current marriage contract has become invalid, but I'll start to chase after you again starting now. Although he was smiling. His eyes were filled with determination. No one could doubt his resolution. Menki was speechless. This was the first time she had ever met someone who would so boldly confess to her. And even more shocking was the fact that this person was a man who she had personally delivered deep grief to. Her thoughts were in complete disorder and she didn't know how to respond. Should she decline or accept? You don't need to feel any pressure as this is just my own wishful thinking. A kind woman like you is someone worthy for me. Long Chen to guard with my life. But before I can pursue you, I have to properly cultivate and become a true expert. Only then will I have the qualifications to protect you. In order to get those qualifications, I'll cultivate with all my might. It doesn't matter whether you accept or decline me. I'll still continue like this, said Long Chen with resolve. Men Qi's face was completely red. Although she had previously come from a humble origin, ever since she had entered into a cultivation sect, everything had changed. This was the first time anyone had dared to confess so brazenly to her. Seeing Long Chen's determined expression, her thoughts were in a wild tumble and she was unable to say anything. There's hope, thought Long Chen in satisfaction as he looked at the bewildered Men Qi. Right now, the most important thing was for Men Qi to not feel any dislike with him. That would already be considered a success and a small step forward. The next steps would be to continue stirring her emotions until he moved her core. Long Chen was about to continue when a terrifying aura exploded out. Men Qi's expression changed and she stepped forward, placing Long Chen behind her. She readied herself, prepared for anything. She waited for a moment as she assessed the situation before relaxing slightly. A huge wasp appeared in front of them. It was over 15 meters long, and its body was covered in gaudy lines that would cause people's scalps to turn numb. Long Chen was alarmed as that was not only a second-rank magical beast but an exceptionally violent bloodridge wasp. Even a third-rank magical beast wouldn't easily go provoke it because even they would at least be gravely injured if pierced by its stinger. But after a brief moment of fear, a certain thought arose as he looked at Men Qi's beautiful back. You may be able to stand in front of me this time, but I will stand in front of you for a lifetime. That huge bloodridge wasp landed onto the ground, its terrifying cry still lingering in the air. Suddenly. A man jumped off from its back. The man appeared to be in his twenties. He was tall and very proper, giving off a noble feeling. But arrogance was written all over his face, destroying his image. As soon as the man saw Men Qi, his eyes lit up with an unconcealed adoration. Junior apprentice sister, master is very displeased that you haven't returned in so long. So he sent me to bring you back. At first, he was smiling brightly. But as soon as he saw Long Chen, he frowned and asked, Who is this? Could it be? Coldness resurfaced in his eyes, but he once more concealed it. Don't be crazy. I'm just asking this young master some questions. Men Qi evidently wasn't good at lying and panic flashed in her eyes. Turning to Long Chen, she said, Young master, thank you for your help. 
Her gaze towards Long Chen held many things, but before Long Chen could carefully see what those things were, Men Qi had already gotten onto her steed and flown up. That man glanced at Long Chen and coldly snorted. With just a point of his finger, a transparent arrow appeared in front of him and shot towards Long Chen. Long Chen was still thinking about the look Men Qi had given him. He hadn't expected that man to suddenly attack him, so he was completely unable to dodge in time. That arrow had been condensed from spiritual strength and so was completely incorporeal. If ordinary people were to be struck by it, their spirit would immediately break and they would be reduced to a simpleton. Since he was no longer able to dodge due to his surprise, he could only hastily use his spiritual strength to block it. Although his spiritual strength was great, he had never cultivated any soul arts, so he had little chance of being able to block it. Suddenly, another arrow shot out and blocked the man's attack. A powerful explosion blew Long Chen back several feet. Senior apprentice brother Shi, master would be quite displeased to learn that you attacked an ordinary mortal like this. At some unknown time, another woman had appeared beside the two of them. This senior apprentice brother's eyes expression changed slightly, but he still laughed. Junior apprentice sister, you misunderstand me. I'm just testing him out a bit. How could I possibly really hurt him? Long Chen's expression was extremely ugly. With his spiritual strength, he could clearly tell that this bastard had intended to cripple him, but it wasn't just that he had attacked him. The look he had given Men Qi had also caused Long Chen to feel a burst of anger, adding the attack onto that and Long Chen was now fuming with anger. Young master, this is an inner disciple of our Wind Spirit Pavilion. His cultivation is very high, so you'll have to work hard. After she said that, she purposely winked at Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Shi, let's go. Although she said this, she was clearly waiting for him to go with her. He glanced at Long Chen and indifferently laughed. Stepping onto the Bloodridge Wasp, the two of them departed. Long Chen couldn't help but curse. This damn crap brother Shi, I won't forget this. After releasing his anger, Long Chen calmed down. No matter what, he had at least gained something from today. Although the marriage arrangement had been annulled, he had at the least given Men Qi a good impression. The most important thing was that when Men Qi had left, she had placed the marriage contract carefully within her robes and hadn't immediately torn it apart. That had left him with a great deal of hope. But at the same time, it gave him a great sense of urgency. How many could withstand the charm of an outstanding woman like Men Qi? Plus, there was that crap brother she beside her. His hopes could be dashed at any moment. And even if he got rid of crap brother she, more crap brothers would also come. No matter what, he had to quickly raise his cultivation base. Although he had gained the Alchemist Guild's emblem, the Alchemist Guild was a neutral power that didn't participate in any fights. He would have to rely on himself for everything. His past few miserable years had raised his wariness. He suspected that someone was possibly using his mother and him to control his father. At this point in time, his father had refused to answer the royal family summons several times. Most likely, he already knew something was going on. The longer things stretched out, the less value the mother-son duo would have, and the greater danger they would be in. After returning home, Long Chen locked himself in his room and ordered that no one was to disturb him. He then took out the medical ingredients that he had stored in his spatial ring. Last time when he was at the Alchemist Guild, Yan Qi had given him a copper gold cauldron which was a great aid to him. Cauldrons were an essential tool for alchemists, and there was a great deal of knowledge and technique involved with them. Long Chen's old cauldron was complete trash and not only did it waste a great deal of heat, but it also used up a large amount of Long Chen's pill flame. And in terms of quality, the greatest difference was that the old one couldn't seal in the spiritual key of heaven and earth. Spiritual key would rush out while impurities would rush in. Such a cauldron could not possibly produce any good pills. Cauldrons required a skilled artisan to forge. And as for Long Chen's old cauldron, it had been made by just an ordinary worker. But there was no way around it. A decent cauldron cost several hundred thousand gold coins, maybe even millions. There was no way for Long Chen to afford it. As for the cauldron Yan Qi had given Long Chen, it was a first-tier medicinal cauldron. Only pill apprentices and other pill cultivators had the qualifications to use it. With this new cauldron, Long Chen was finally properly equipped. I have to pick up the pace. Otherwise, even my future wife might leave me in the future. Chapter 13 Feng Fu Initial Condensation Translator Born to be with a muffled explosion, the pill furnace shook briefly before calming down. Nine plump medicinal pills lay quietly within. A dense, refreshing pill fragrance came from them. Long Chen smiled in satisfaction. 
He reached in and took out one of the medicinal pills. It was completely smooth and round with a faint luster, and there was even a layer of faint lines. Although the pill lines are faint and its color isn't at its peak which means that the pill has lost some spirituality. It is just barely at the middle grade pill level. This was the first batch of middle grade medicinal pills that Long Chen had refined. The quality of a medicinal pill was dependent on the pill furnace, the pill flame, the spiritual strength, etc. Not a single one of them could be lacking. Long Chen's current spiritual strength was definitely good enough, but the pill furnace was too weak. And as for the pill flame, well that was even worse. To use an average first-tier pill furnace as well as the worst kind of pill flame to refine a middle-grade medicinal pill. Well, in the entire pill refining world, perhaps only Long Chen who had fused with the pill god soul could do such a thing. In just a short time, he had refined 20 batches of pills, creating over a hundred low-grade Feng Fu pills that were now quietly lying within his spatial ring. Long Chen had been quietly listening to what was happening outside his seclusion. Li Hao had been killed. So naturally, he wasn't a threat anymore. The imperial capital had offered a reward for the capture of whoever had killed him, but the urgency surrounding this case had faded extremely quickly. Long Chen sneered. Even if they were just putting on an act, they should have at least followed through. Did they think that Long Chen was an idiot? A noble heir had been killed just like that. To simply end the affair just like that, it was crazily bold and easy to see through. Although he knew this, Long Chen didn't dare to take action now. Without a certain amount of strength, he had to wait to keep himself protected. His father was currently guarding the barbarian border and didn't know anything about what was going on here. Furthermore, according to the rules of the imperial capital, all generals that were stationed outside were not allowed to have their families leave the imperial capital. To be honest, this was just to force them to follow orders. Long Chen knew nothing about what was going on with his father at this time. All he knew was what he had inferred so far. His father would not be coming back to his side. Their noble estate used to be extremely rowdy and busy. But as he grew up and his father continued to fight on the border, less and less people would come to visit. Eventually, their estate wouldn't even have friends come over to celebrate the new year. Over the past few years, the Long household had continuously declined, its position within the imperial capital becoming lower and lower. Furthermore, Long Chen had become the target of all his fellow noble heirs. But not even the slightest news came from the border suppression Marquis. Long Chen couldn't help but feel a bit resentful to his father, but he was always fiercely reprimanded by his mother whenever he brought that up. After his awakening a few days ago, Long Chen had finally realized that something was wrong. He had been thinking far too simply about the situation before. For his father to refuse multiple summonings, he naturally had to have his own reasons. It couldn't be just because of the battle against the barbarian tribes. If he had refused just once or twice, that would have been one thing, but he had refused to answer his summons multiple times, causing many of the nobles in the imperial capital to feel dissatisfied with Long Shiang Tzu. There were also people who secretly spread rumors that he was plotting a rebellion, but no matter how wildly these rumors spread, no response came from Long Shiang Tzu. Three years ago, the royal family ceased to issue any further summons to him, but from then on, the days of the Long household became even worse. First, the Long family's stipend was cut. No income came in any longer, immediately forcing them into poverty. Then, even the noble heirs started to bully Long Chen. Also, the last time Long Chen had been beaten, that old swindler had conned the Long family of so much money. With that, Long Chen had finally realized that something was up. Someone was slowly forcing him and his mother into desperate straits. It was obviously to force Long Shiang Tzu to surrender, but as for what secrets were behind this, Long Chen had no idea, but what he was sure of was that there was at least one person in the shadows who was conspiring against his father, and he was definitely extremely powerful. I can't deal with that now. A hungry wolf will eventually reveal his fangs. What I need to do now is to increase my strength. After giving Baoer a few simple instructions, Long Chen immediately began his seclusion. The Feng Fu star's embryonic form had already been condensed. So what was next was simple. All he needed to do was to continuously feed it with medicinal energy. The Feng Fu star on the bottom of Long Chen's foot was continuously absorbing the Feng Fu pill's medicinal energy and was quickly growing larger. Under Long Chen's crazy consumption of the pills, the originally small Feng Fu star became several times larger over seven days. It was as if an entirely new space was forming on the bottom of Long Chen's foot. After growing to the size of a longan fruit, it no longer continued to grow. 
Under the continual absorption of medicinal energy, countless faint lines had started to appear over the Feng Fu star. The faint lines began to slowly revolve. Boom. When the final middle grade Feng Fu pill was absorbed, that originally completely silent Feng Fu star finally trembled and started to wildly absorb the outside world's spiritual energy. Yes, I finally succeeded. Long Chen roared as he felt his entire body become full of energy. But right now it's just the initial success. According to the nine star hegemon body art, each star requires nine transformations to become perfect. My Feng Fu star has only just reached an initial complete form. So if I were to describe it as how the outside world cultivates, it might not even be as far as reaching the first heaven stage of key condensation, letting out three punches into the air. The wind's roar shook his eardrums as the wall wildly shook and nearly collapsed. He was able to release such a force without using any spiritual key and relying solely on the strength of his physical body. Long Chen couldn't help but go mad with joy. Although there were drawbacks, the main one being how slow training in it was. The nine-star hegemon body art strength was absolutely amazing. At only the first heaven stage, the current him was already so much stronger than when he had crushed the stone grinder with just a single fist. He, if I can continue like this, I'll definitely be able to take back my Fianke soon, laughed Long Chen. Thinking about Men Qi's face, a burning desire lit up within him. Next time I see that damn crap brother Xi, I'll beat him up so badly he won't know up from down. Suddenly, Long Chen clapped his head. After focusing on his seclusion so much, he had forgotten that today was the day to go to the Imperial College. Seeing that the day was already starting to brighten, he hastily put on a new pair of clothes and rushed to the Imperial College. He had a bright smile along the entire journey. He had happily found out that his Feng Fu star was able to store an extremely great deal of spiritual ki. When he refined pills in the future, he wouldn't have to worry about his spiritual ki being insufficient anymore. Last time he had fought with Li Hao, Long Chen had used Spirit of the Bull and had found it to be extremely powerful. He had defeated Li Hao in just one blow, but that one blow had consumed almost all of his spiritual ki. Now he wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Sensing how much spiritual ki was stored in his Feng Fu star, he estimated that he had enough to use Spirit of the Bull dozens of times. This was the difference between the embryonic and initial Feng Fu star, the greatest impact. However, was that with the increase of his cultivation base, his physical strength had also risen rapidly. Although he hadn't tested it, it was definitely enough to intimidate his enemies. In the midst of his self-celebration, he arrived at the Imperial College. He once more became well-behaved as he walked through its gates and hurried over to the literature hall. As soon as he entered, the originally noisy literature hall became completely silent. Li Hao's death was something many people had trouble accepting. All the noble heirs had personally gone and witnessed Long Chen's single domineering fist. The noble heirs that had originally ridiculed Long Chen now couldn't help being afraid. Haha, <laughs> Brother Long, Fatty Yu and the others all laughed and hastily came over to him. Brother Long, you're becoming more and more handsome. Brother Long, please sit. Brother Long, have some tea. Brother Long, I'll give you a back massage. Long Chen laughed and scolded. No need for all this nonsense. But if you can get me some food, that would be good. I still haven't eaten any breakfast. Long Chen found a corner to sit at. Fatu Yu had already brought over the refreshments, and all the rest of them were completely fixed on Long Chen. He really was hungry at the moment. As for the past few days, he had basically only consumed pills to the point that he was sick of them now. He quickly devoured the refreshments. After eating for a short while, Shi Fen also arrived and waved at him. Once he walked over, Long Chen handed him a jade bottle. Take this. In just a short time, you'll become our generation's first blood condensation cultivator. Long Chen's voice wasn't very loud, but Fatty Yu and the others clearly heard it. They were shocked speechless. Shi Fen was also shocked and hastily opened the jade bottle. An extremely dense pill fragrance wafted out the instant he opened it. A single round medicinal pill could be seen inside. What is this? Long Chen smiled and indifferently said. Condensation pill. Others might not know what a condensation pill was, but the 8th heaven stage of key condensation Shi Fen knew. To 9th heaven stage key condensation cultivators, the condensation pill was an absolute treasure that they all dreamed of obtaining. It had a great deal of energy that could allow someone at the peak of key condensation to quickly break through to the blood condensation realm. Condensation pills were extremely precious to key condensation cultivators, but had no use whatsoever for the later stage cultivators. It was extremely difficult to refine. 
the failure rate was extremely high, especially at the most crucial pill condensation point. It was a nightmare to refine for most alchemists. An ordinary condensation pill would be worth more than a million gold coins, and there were basically none on the market. A million gold was something Shi Fen would never be able to obtain. Long Chen, this, don't worry about it. Since I've given it to you, take it. I didn't hesitate to take what's yours, so don't get all sentimental on me now. Long Chen waved his hand. Shi Fen nodded. At this point, there was nothing more to say. Pushing down his strong emotions, he said, Fine, I'll consume it as soon as I reach the ninth vestige of key condensation. There's no need to wait. Can't you see the lines on top of it? You can take it as soon as you get home. You'll quickly rise to the blood condensation realm. Only now did Shi Feng notice that the medicinal pill had faint lines on it. He almost shouted in surprise. This was a middle grade medicinal pill. That meant the value had multiplied several times. Hurry up and take it. Amongst us brothers, there's no need to say useless things, said Long Chen. Shi Feng's eyes turned red as he took the medicinal pill. Compared to the medicinal pill, Long Chen's friendship moved him far greater. Brother Long, Brother Long, Fatty Yu and the others might not know what the condensation pill was, but they naturally knew that medicinal pills were treasures. They were now staring at Long Chen like hungry wolves. Their urgent shouts caused goosebumps all over Long Chen, and he quickly stopped them, saying, Don't worry. I've already said that I'll handle your problems. The real reason why these people were unable to cultivate was due to how deficient their spirit roots were. It was due to this that they were unable to sense key. Others might have no solution. But who was Long Chen? He had the fusion of a pill god's memories. If he couldn't handle something as simple as that, how could he possibly have been called a pill god? Each person take a bottle. Take three drops a day. No strong foods. No alcohol. And no sex. You'll see the effect in seven days and should be able to sense key within half a month. As for how long it'll take to enter key condensation, that'll be up to how hard you work. Long Chen handed each of them a bottle of medicinal liquid that he had personally made. The medicinal liquid wasn't very valuable, and it should just barely be able to have an effect on these people's spirit roots. Long Chen wasn't a god. There was a limit to how great the effect would be. It wasn't a problem to let them enter key condensation, and as long as they weren't unlucky, they should be able to enter the blood condensation realm. However, any future advancements past that were impossible. But to Fatty Yu and the others, just that was something of unimaginable value. They all stared hungrily at the bottles, wanting to take a drop right now. Brother Long, if this really can let us cultivate, wouldn't that bring trouble to you? Fatty Yu might be fat, but his brain wasn't small. He was the first to realize the problem. If Long Chen really could help them who were considered trash, it might have a negative impact on Long Chen. If some unscrupulous people were to notice, then it would be troublesome. Fatty Yu's intention was to ask whether they should help Long Chen hide this matter. But Long Chen laughed. No need to worry. These medicines were all made by Grand Master Yun Qi. If they want to, they can go find Grand Master Yun Qi. Grand Master Yun Qi. All of them were shocked and were about to ask whether he was joking when steps sounded behind them. Turning their heads, several of them became panicked. Chapter 14 Seventh Prince Translator Born to be the person who had come over was a youngster around 15 years old. He was wearing yellow robes and a very impressive golden crown. Greeting Seventh Prince. Everyone hastily kneeled down when they saw him arrive. Even Shi Feng extremely unwillingly kneeled. The youngster's name was Chu Feng. He was the seventh son of the Phoenix Cry Empire's current emperor. The youngest of his sons. The rumors were that by the time he was born, Emperor Chu Xiangkuo had already entered seclusion. Even now, he had yet to exit that seclusion and Chu Feng had never actually met his father. Long Chen had heard quite a bit about Chu Feng. He knew that he was the son of the Western Palace's Empress and was spoiled rotten. He was extremely domineering and unreasonable. And other than the Crown Prince, there was supposedly no one that he feared. No one could guess as to why he had come here today. But when Long Chen saw Hao Yeo Yang by his side, he immediately knew that it was another attack on him. According to imperial etiquette, all noble sons had to kneel when seeing the royal princes. Fatty Yu, Shi Feng, and all the others were all kneeling. Unless they broke through to the blood condensation realm, there was no way to avoid this. Long Chen frowned. Some random relative wished to force him to kneel? Other than his mother and father, another person who could force Long Chen to kneel had yet to be born. Chu Feng indifferently looked over everyone, but his expression immediately darkened when he saw Long Chen sitting there acting all grand. How bold Long Chen. 
The seventh prince is here yet you actually refuse to follow etiquette and kneel. Are you trying to rebel? Zhao Yeo Yang and the others surrounding the seventh prince had never expected that Long Chen would be like this and actually so boldly refused to kneel to the seventh prince. Wang Mang, who had previously already taken a blow from Long Chen, celebrated inside when he saw this. He was the first to shout out against him in order to give Long Chen a bad name. The others were all extremely startled by his actions, especially Fatty Yu and them. They all started to sweat profusely. Battles between noble heirs were small things. But if you committed an offense against the seventh prince, you might very well be executed. Long Chen's actions were extremely rebellious. Zhao Yeo Yang became excited. He had a slight friendship with the seventh prince. Every now and then, he would accompany the idiot prince for food or amusement. He had had a sudden thought today to bring the seventh prince to see if he might suppress Long Chen. Even since Long Chen had defeated Li Hao, his fame had soared in the imperial capital. As for Zhao Yeo Yang and the others, they had received a slap in the face as they had placed practically all their money on Li Hao's victory. Their group usually spent all their time indulging in drinking and pleasure. Now that they had lost all their money, those days were lost. He hadn't expected that the current situation would actually be even better than he had imagined. There was no need for he himself to instigate anything. Long Chen had already provoked the seventh prince's anger. Hearing Wang Mang's angry roar that was supposed to incite the seventh prince's anger. Long Chen smiled contemptuously. In a fake concerned voice, he asked, Wang Mang, how did Li Hao taste? Seeing how healthy and plump you are, I'd say that that egg you ate suited you pretty well. Wang Mang's expression immediately changed. His stomach heaved violently. What had happened then had left behind a strong aftertaste. Now, whenever he ate, he would always think of what had happened that day and involuntarily vomit everything back up. He was basically unable to eat anything due to that memory. In fact, he had already quite obviously lost weight. So Long Chen's words were obviously sarcastic and just to insult him. His face turned purple from rage, but he didn't dare to say even a single thing. He was doing his best to control his stomach, and he was afraid that if he opened his mouth, he would start vomiting. Long Chen, a small noble heir like you without an official rank or any achievements dares to not kneel when seeing this prince. The seventh prince angrily demanded. The seventh prince was normally overbearing and spoiled and even his fellow princes and princesses didn't wish to provoke him. He naturally was unable to hold back his anger when seeing a small noble heir be so rude to him. Looking back at this youngster whose baby features had yet to recede, Long Chen indifferently said, You're just a child so I won't bother with you. Go scram back to wherever you came from. What? Everyone's expressions changed. Was Long Chen asking for death? If he hadn't kneeled down, then the normal punishment was at most being locked up for a few days. But now that he had said such an insulting thing, it was the death penalty. Had Long Chen gone mad? You, you're asking for death. Arrest him for me. The seventh prince angrily ordered the people around him. Those people were all Zhao Yeo Yang's group, and they all celebrated when they heard the seventh prince's orders. Without even thinking, they all charged at Long Chen. They might have some misjivings during normal times, but with the seventh prince's order, they no longer had to worry. With such a strong supporter, even if they killed Long Chen here and now, there wouldn't be any punishment. As they charged over, Long Chen kicked forward the table in front of him. That table was made from wood over a thousand years old and was as heavy as iron. Its weight was shocking, yet it was still sent flying by Long Chen towards the charging people. Zhao Yeo Yang bore the brunt of the table, roaring and using his entire strength to punch at the table. With a boom, that sturdy table was pulverized by Zhao Yeo Yang's strength. He was definitely worthy of being a strong person at the seventh vestige of key condensation. His power would definitely shock ordinary people. But Cao Yeo Yang was still slowed down by the table, and Wang Mang zipped past him and was the first to reach Long Chen. Looking down on this idiot charging towards him angrily, a strange smile appeared on Long Chen's face before he punched out. His speed was practically inconceivable. No one even saw him move before they heard Long Chen's punch land on Wang Mang's face. Wang Mang was sent flying in a graceful arc through the air, but what was most shocking was that as he flew out, a dozen teeth were scattered from his mouth, his body smashed into a wall and he fainted, but his mouth was still wide open, and everyone could clearly see that he was now completely toothless. Zhao Yeo Yang paused slightly when he saw Wang Mang sent flying, although Wang Mang's cultivation base wasn't that high, for him to be handled so easily still caused him to worry, but this wasn't the time to retreat. Zhao Yeo Yang roared, 
and the power of a seventh a vestige of key condensation cultivator exploded out. Sextuple Yang fist. A fist followed along with Cao Yao Yang's shout, his fist covered with a faint green light from his battle skill. The sextuple Yang fist was one of Cao Yao Yang's finishing moves that he had practiced for a long time. One fist had the force of half a ton. Without any hesitation, Long Chen sent a palm to receive his fist. When the fist and palm met, energy exploded out everywhere. But what caused people to be stupefied was that Cao Yao Yang's unstoppable fist was indifferently swatted away by Long Chen. How is this possible? Cao Yao Yang was the most startled one here. He felt as if his fist had met a huge mountain, and the pit of his stomach started to ache. As for Long Chen, he didn't blink an eye. He coldly said, It's my turn now Cao Yao Yang. Cao Yao Yang suddenly turned numb. He felt as if he were being stared at by a huge vicious beast. His heart jumped violently as he hastily retreated, but he was unable to do so. Long Chen grabbed his fist tightly, and no matter how he struggled, he was like a dragonfly trying to shake a tree, unable to move him in the slightest. Cao Yao Yang was completely astonished. Just what was this power? Long Chen was a monster in human form. Without the slightest use of his cultivation base, he had completely suppressed him with just the strength of his physical body. But Cao Yao Yang was also a strong person. He had followed his father's people to go kill a magical beast before. He was someone who had seen blood and wouldn't panic in the face of danger. Seeing that he was unable to escape from Long Chen's grasp, he raised his leg and kicked out at Long Chen's stomach. This was an extremely vicious attack, but Long Chen didn't even look at that kick. Using a single hand, he blocked it. With a loud roar that shook people's eardrums, Long Chen lifted Cao Yao Yang high into the air. In front of everyone's appalled gazes, Long Chen threw Cao Yao Yang crashing onto the ground. Bang! The entire ground shook, and at the same time, the sounds of bones cracking caused everyone to turn cold. Cao Yao Yang vomited out three mouthfuls of blood, in addition to countless bits and pieces of some of his internal organs. Seeing him vomit out blood and the smashed ground, everyone was completely silent. Long Chen finally felt a knot of anger within him being released. That anger had been stewing for a long time. Over these years, the person he had hated the most was Cao Yao Yang. He was like a never-ending nightmare that had tormented him all day long. The entire hall was silent for a while, including the seventh prince. All the noble heirs that had been charging towards him gulped deeply, their bodies trembling involuntarily. As for Long Chen, he had maintained a calm expression throughout the entire ordeal, but the calmer he seemed, the more frightening he was to the others. The impression he gave the others was that of a merciless death god. Long Chen couldn't help but smile when he looked at Cao Yao Yang. Turning his gaze to the seventh prince, he slowly started walking over. The seventh prince had always been spoiled. He had bullied many people, but as for being bullied, that had never happened before. Seeing Long Chen walk over with an evil smile, his face immediately turned white noveloon.com What are you thinking? Get back. His voice was trembling with fear from the icy killing intent in Long Chen's eyes. He felt as if a knife was being held to his throat. It was as if as long as Long Chen wished it, his head would roll to the floor. Long Chen didn't say anything. His smile was still frighteningly calm as he slowly walked over. Now everyone was stunned. What did Long Chen plan on doing? Was he planning on killing the seventh prince? No, no, don't come over. The seventh prince was continuously retreating, but now his back landed against a corner and there was nowhere else for him to run. Seeing Long Chen come closer and closer, the seventh prince's eyes were filled with fear. He could smell the scent of death. You shouldn't have forced me. Don't blame me. Long Chen pitifully shook his head. His hand slowly reached into his robes before his fist suddenly approached the seventh prince's face. No. The seventh prince emitted a terrified screech that reverberated throughout the entire literature hall. Chapter 15 Split the Heavens Translator Born to be no. The seventh prince's miserable howl echoed throughout the literature hall. Everyone's hearts were jumping wildly. Was Long Chen really planning on rebelling? But what caused everyone to be dumbstruck was that Long Chen's hand had stopped before the seventh prince's face. The seventh prince had already shut his eyes in fear, but after waiting a while without feeling any pain, he eventually opened them. He saw that Long Chen was holding a jade tablet and was faintly smiling, compared to the previous him who seemed like a death god. He was like a completely different person. Seventh Prince, look closely. This is an alchemist's identification plate. So tell me, would I still need to kneel to you? The Seventh Prince had already been frightened to death. 
So how could he possibly bother with checking to see if the tablet was counterfeit or not? No, there's no need at all for that. The seventh prince looked at Long Chen in fright. When he had felt Long Chen's unrestrained killing intent, he had sensed the fear of death. For a spoiled prince like him, the fact that he hadn't wet himself was already a brave point for him. Many thanks for understanding, seventh prince. Long Chen smiled. All you had to do to handle some entitled brats was to scare them a bit. Even with an alchemist tablet, there was no way someone would dare to act like this to an imperial prince. After all, this was the Phoenix Cry Imperial Capital. Let me help you up. Long Chen slowly reached out a hand. The seventh prince had been frightened to the point that he was now sitting on the ground. Having been frightened like this, he momentarily didn't react before nervously grabbing the extended hand. After all, he was a royal prince. If Long Chen really did cause the seventh prince to feel angry about him, then that would just be playing into Cao Yeo Yang's hands. Although Long Chen didn't care about that really, being manipulated by people certainly wasn't a good feeling. Him acting like this now was giving the seventh prince a way out. The seventh prince was only 15, and although he was arrogant, he hadn't experienced much. Now under Long Chen's bad cop good cop actions, he was completely at a loss. After he got up, he didn't know what to say. Seventh Prince, do you want to sit down with us? Asked Long Chen. A-H-H. No, that's, no, I have some stuff to do, so I'll go. After saying this, the Seventh Prince hastily turned and left. But once he walked out of the literature hall, the Seventh Prince felt that his legs had turned soft. Now there was a great fear of Long Chen in his heart. That calm death god smile of his had made him sense that his life or death was entirely in Long Chen's hands. Seeing the Seventh Prince leave. Long Chen also turned to look back at the group of noble heirs that had previously participated in attacking him. After seeing him beat Cao Yeo Yang to such a miserable state, they were all terrified and unmoving. Seeing Long Chen turn his gaze to them, their expressions all changed and they retreated. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to deal with such a group of people. Although they had previously bullied Long Chen, the current him was no longer on the same level as them. And so the bitterness and anger that he felt were also no longer as strong. He slowly walked up to Cao Yeo Yang whose breath was becoming increasingly shallow. The light in his eyes was fading as if he might die at any moment. Long Chen, you shouldn't kill him. Let's send him to the Alchemist Guild. They should be able to heal him, advised Shi Fang. After all, this place wasn't the martial arena. This was a private fight. And if someone died, Long Chen would be unable to escape punishment. Don't worry. Look, his eyebrows are like messy grass. His forehead is practically caved in. A small person like him won't die so easily. His complexion is still rosy. See, said Long Chen. Fatty Yu and the others were speechless. Zhao Yeo Yang was actually quite a handsome young man. So Long Chen's descriptions were clearly off. Those changes were caused by how heavily Long Chen had thrown him onto the ground. As for his expression still being rosy, that was due to being choked with his own blood. Yes, it was rosy, but it was actually almost purple. It was completely different from the rosy complexion of someone healthy. Reaching into his robes, he took out a medicinal pill and placed it into Cao Yeo Yang's mouth. Slap. Long Chen slapped Cao Yeo Yang's face twice, forcing the medicinal pill down his throat. Noveloon.com Although Long Chen hated Cao Yeo Yang to the extreme, he still remembered to act properly. It was true that he had heavily injured Cao Yeo Yang, but he definitely wouldn't let him die. With his personally refined healing medicine, his internal organs would all be protected. As for his outer wounds, well those were the problem of the Cao family. All Long Chen needed was for him to not die. You guys, if you don't want Cao Yeo Yang to die, hurry up and bring him away. Coldly said Long Chen to the noble heirs who were just standing there in shock. Only then did they recover and carefully lift Cao Yeo Yang onto a table and bring him away. They also conveniently brought along Wang Mang who was unconscious against the wall. You, you, and you. Come and clean up the blood on the floor. Long Chen pointed to several other noble heirs. These people had often mocked Long Chen before. And although Long Chen wasn't planning on attacking them, making them do some work for him also relieved some of his anger. Those people who were pointed out by Long Chen all shivered uncontrollably. Not daring to make a single sound, they all quickly cleaned up everything diligently. In just a short time, the floor was completely clean and even Wang Mang's teeth were all found. What was outside Long Chen's expectations was that the old lecturer only came an hour after the cleaning was done. That lecturer looked at Long Chen in confusion for a moment before starting his lecture. Long Chen couldn't help but curse. 
That old bastard was definitely paid off by Cao Yeo Yang. Otherwise, there was no way he'd be so late. He had originally thought that all scholars were good people inside, but this thinking of his was shattered today. Feeling cheated, the good impression Long Chen had had of the old man was completely lost. After enduring the boring lecture and eating lunch, they all hurried to the battle skill pavilion. Fatty Yu and the others didn't go. They were heading home to take the medicine instead. Seeing Long Chen's actions today had shocked them. Yet at the same time, it had given them hope for their own futures. So they couldn't wait any longer. Long Chen perused several battle skills but felt they were all inadequate. Ordinary battle skills were no longer worthy of Long Chen's attention. He read through the battle skills very quickly. And in just two hours, 900 battle skills were all browsed through by him without a single one satisfying him. No wonder they were free to them. They were all trash battle skills. Some were fragmentary or overly complicated while also not being very strong. But the second floor of the battle skill pavilion could only be accessed by blood condensation experts. Additional battle skills of such low level weren't of much use to Long Chen. For movement, he had the wind chasing steps. And for battle, he had the spirit of the bull. Even the best battle skills on this floor weren't much better than them. So learning them would be of minimal use. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. He was about to just give up on wasting time here when his gaze suddenly fell on the bottom corner of a bookshelf. Other bookshelves were all properly aligned so each book had its own space. But here there was a random pile of tomes. They were also battle skills. But some were already torn up and the others were all incomplete. In short, they were trash. But throwing them out would be too much of a waste. Thus, they had just left them in this corner. A certain page had drawn Long Chen's eye when he had looked at that corner. That animal hide page was very worn, but with Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength, he sensed an extremely ancient aura coming from the page. He reached out and took the page from the pile of trash, but when he did, his heart trembled. Maybe others didn't know what was so different about this animal hide, but with his powerful spiritual strength, he could clearly sense a terrifying power coming from it. The marks on the page were already ruined and faded. It had clearly been eroded by countless years of time. Long Chen guessed that the owner of this animal hide was an extremely terrifying existence. Otherwise, there wouldn't be such a terrifying will left behind after all these years. It was completely ridiculous that such a terrifying thing had now been thrown with the trash. Long Chen hurriedly started to study it. All that was on there was a diagram. With the words on the diagram being extremely ancient and blurry, there were three words. Split the heavens. What an absolutely domineering title for a battle skill. That was simply too arrogant, wasn't it? Long Chen frowned when he looked at the diagram. All he could see was that there were nine dots on it. Between the nine dots were some indistinct threads. But it was too ancient and he couldn't tell whether it was originally like that or due to the cracks from age. Time's up. All nobles' heirs must put back their manuals. A cold voice rang out just at this moment. Everyone couldn't help but sigh. The time had passed too quickly. They were only allowed to come here once a month. Looking at the ruined page in his hands, Long Chen couldn't bear to part with it. His time was just too precious, and he couldn't wait another month. Seeing everyone leave, Long Chen slowly started walking with them, but he kept the ruined animal hide in his hands. The blood condensation expert's expression turned colder, but Long Chen spoke up before him. Senior, I want to bring this destroyed animal hide page back home to study. Also, please accept this, not letting him refuse immediately. Long Chen first took out a medicinal pill for him. The blood condensation expert was just about to scold him when he realized what the medicinal pill was. Reaching out to take it, he was astonished to find that it was a blood condensing pill. It was precisely the thing that a blood condensation cultivator like him required. And most importantly, this was a middle grade blood condensing pill. It was tens of times more valuable than ordinary blood condensing pills. Blood condensation cultivators needed to borrow the spiritual key of heaven and earth to improve their blood vessels, allowing their blood and key to become more domineering and strengthening their physical body. As for the blood condensing pill, it could increase the efficiency of condensing one's blood several times. Such a pill could save at least half a year's worth of work. The expert's expression changed in the face of it, and in the end, he was unable to resist the allure of this medicinal pill. Remember, I didn't see anything. How could Long Chen not understand what he was saying? If he was found out, he wouldn't admit to any fault and Long Chen would be accused of stealing. Long Chen simply accepted this. Only after Long Chen left with the animal hide did the expert carefully examine the blood condensing pill in his hand. I really never would have imagined that he had such a treasure. 
I have to find out more about him. After saying this, the blood condensation expert disappeared deeper into the battle skill pavilion. Long Chen went straight home. Since he dared to take out the blood condensing pill, he was naturally unafraid of any investigation. The current him needed others to know that he was an alchemist, one close to Grand Master Yun Qi, that would hopefully prevent more troubles. Using this method, he was telling his unknown enemy that he, Long Chen, was no longer the same person. If they wanted to bring out small fries to deal with him, they'd have to think about the consequences. As he walked back, Long Chen was continuously contemplating just who was behind the curtains. At some point, he ended up walking into a small alley. Suddenly, a huge net descended from the sky. Before Long Chen could even react, he was completely enveloped and whisked away. Chapter 16 Enmity with the Princess Translator Born to be just as Long Chen was wondering how he could draw out the puppet master behind the curtains, a huge net descended from above and completely trapped him before he could react. The net's design was extremely intricate. It immediately tightened up as soon as it enveloped Long Chen, firmly trapping him within. Just as Long Chen was about to struggle, he was whisked high into the air. Only now did he realize that there was a huge hawk eagle above his head. The hawk eagle was not a magical beast, but a regular wild beast. But due to how large and docile it was, it was the favorite for experts to ride on. This hawk eagle was clearly just a mount, but it was too late for any regrets from Long Chen. He had been careless and deserved to have been ensnared. Soaring hundreds of meters into the air, Long Chen felt queasy just looking down and didn't dare to move an inch. He hoped the net was strong enough. If it broke and Long Chen ended up falling to the ground from this height, even ten lives wouldn't be enough. Falling from such a height would turn him into a flat paste. HMPH. What a bold slave to dare bully my little brother. A clear, lovable voice rang out from atop the hawk eagle. The voice was very beautiful, but the anger contained within it caused Long Chen to realize something. The situation definitely wasn't good. No matter how Long Chen tried to move about in the net, he was unable to see who was atop the hawk eagle. He was afraid to say anything because if this woman were to angrily let go, he would be screwed. Long Chen closed his mouth and didn't say anything letting the person assume he was afraid. That woman also didn't say anything in response to Long Chen's silence. Seeing a large mountain, she urged her mount to fly over. That mountain was exactly Sunset Mountain, but the situation was completely different from when Men Qi had brought him. Last time he was at Oppa Mount, this time he was carried by one in a trap. And furthermore, this time the descent was extremely unsteady, a far cry from last time's slow and stable descent. The treatment this time also wasn't so good. Just when there were 30 meters left, Long Chen was dropped down. Although he had made some preparations and protected his body, to be thrown from such a height still caused him extreme dizziness. HMPH, you brazen slave, if I don't give you a proper lesson today, you won't know how to respect your masters. Fury blazed in Long Chen's eyes. Now that they were on the ground, if he didn't properly give her nose a twist, then she wouldn't know who was her master Long. Although he had known that she was a woman. When his eyes finally fell on her, he was completely shocked. She was a slender 17-year-old with large curves in all the right places. She was wearing white robes with a jade belt that caused her chest to become even more pronounced. What stunned Long Chen most of all was her willowy eyebrows, her peach-like eyes, her jasper nose, and her small mouth that had a trace of anger which gave her a different kind of beauty. Hey, slave, where do you think you're looking? Angrily said the woman when she saw Long Chen's eyes continuously roving around her. His originally fading anger was once more aroused when she called him a slave again. Long Chen sneered. Little girl, have you taken the wrong drugs? Or did you eat so much you started talking crap? Why have you brought me here? Or is it that you've become enticed by this master's looks that you can't help wanting to take the errant path? The angry and regretful expression that he had along with his words angered the woman so much that her whole face turned red. You shameless bastard. You dared to bully my little brother. Today, I'm going to relieve my brother's anger for him. And with a face like yours, even if this lady was struck blind, I wouldn't even consider you. Angrily retorted the woman. Your little brother. Long Chen was a bit confused. HMPH. My little brother is the seventh prince Chu Feng. I'm taking revenge on you for harassing him today. That woman was Chu Feng's blood sister Chu Yao. She was the empire's third princess. The Phoenix Cry Empire had seven princes and three princesses, and Chu Yao and Chu Feng were the youngest of them. Chu Yao had seen Chu Feng come home completely frightened and acting very strange. 
When asked what the problem was, Chu Feng had been so frightened that he wouldn't tell anyone anything. Chu Yao had learned of what happened through other means. She quickly learned that the savage Marquis's noble heir had invited Chu Feng, and from there, she quickly found out everything that had happened. As his big sister, Chu Yao refused to let the matter of Long Chen frightening Chu Feng go. But as a princess, she couldn't act too excessively in public. So she had captured Long Chen secretly on his way home. Novaloon.com Long Chen had been busy thinking of other things and hadn't expected to be acted upon within the imperial capital. Due to his guard being down, he had been completely ensnared in someone's trap. I seem to recall that I didn't actually do anything to your little brother, frowned Long Chen. You slave. You scared my brother witless. The penalty for this is death. Do you not even understand who is royalty and who is not? Coldly asked Chu Yao. Being repeatedly called a slave, Long Chen's anger soared and he cursed. You idiot woman. Don't think that just because you're a lady I won't dare to handle you. Don't press Master Long, or Master Long won't hesitate. You, you, you absolute bastard. In all of Chu Yao's life, there had been no one who would speak to her like this. Her entire body was trembling in rage from being cursed by Long Chen. A jade palm came down to attack Long Chen. What surprised Long Chen was that Chu Yao was actually a strong person at the ninth vestige of key condensation. That palm carried with it a blazing explosion. And what most astonishing was that it was at least a mid-grade mortal battle skill. Long Chen was able to sense a strangeness from that palm. And although he wasn't afraid, he preferred not to clash with her using brute force. Just when that jade palm was about to land on Long Chen, Long Chen used his quick footwork and lightly pushed on her hand, causing her palm to go wide and hit nothing. Long Chen had gently and easily dispatched Chu Yao's attack that had contained all her power. All of her force seemed to have hit a bunch of cotton and was dissipated. Bastard, you dare to run. Chu Yao cutely raged and quickly turned on the ground. She was like a graceful butterfly as yet another palm shot towards him. Long Chen was once more infuriated by her insults. How could such a pretty woman say such vulgar things? But despite his stomach of anger, he couldn't be so ruthless to such pretty woman. If it had been Xiao Yeo Yang, he would already have been completely trampled. He continued to dodge over and over, noticing that although Chu Yao's cultivation base was high, it was extremely superficial. Perhaps she couldn't even match someone at the fifth vestige of key condensation. Although her attacks were powerful, they were too inflexible. She also continued to use only one move against him over and over. Whether he dodged or blocked, she only continued with that one attack. As this continued, Long Chen eventually started to smile. Bastard, what are you laughing about? Having failed to strike Long Chen after so long and seeing Long Chen's stifled smiles, her anger could no longer be contained. You bastard, you don't even know any martial arts. Come fight me head on if you have any skills. Long Chen finally couldn't suppress his laughter anymore. His previous anger vanished into smoke. This was the first time he had ever encountered such an interesting woman. Chu Yao's face turned green, viewing Long Chen's current actions as the greatest kind of insult. You bastard. Suddenly, she gave up her martial arts attack and came at him like an ordinary person without any training. This was greatly out of Long Chen's expectations. He had never seen such a method of fighting before. He hurriedly reached out his arms and tried to push her away. The current Chu Yao had gone crazy and she didn't even seem to see Long Chen's hands as she continued her charge. Long Chen's large hands then ended up, tightly grabbing onto Chu Yao's chest. The soft unfamiliar feeling caused Long Chen's eyes to open wide. As for Chu Yao, when she felt a pair of large hands there, it was as if she were struck by lightning and she went completely rigid in disbelief. Sorry, sorry, it was a mistake. Long Chen hastily tried to explain as he quickly took back his hands. Bastard, I'll kill you. Chu Yao suddenly grabbed onto his arm and bit down tightly onto his shoulder. No matter what Long Chen tried, she wouldn't let go, and it was becoming increasingly painful. Angry and pressured, Long Chen didn't even think before using his hand to suddenly spank Chu Yao. The soft feeling enraptured Long Chen, but the pain from his arm quickly brought him back to his senses. Let me go or I'll continue spanking you, threatened Long Chen. A sharp pain came from his arm as Chu Yao lightly snorted. She continued to bite down tightly. Furious from the increasing pain, Long Chen raised his large hand and spanked her three more times, each with great force. She let out a pained groan and tears even started coming out. On one hand, she felt pain, but on the other, she felt wronged. But no matter what, she wouldn't let go. However, 
What surprised Chu Yao was that after he swatted her bottom three times, he stopped. No matter how she continued biting, he no longer moved. Quite a while passed. Maybe it was due to how her mouth was starting to hurt or maybe it was due to her being tired. But Chu Yao slowly loosened her cherry lips. Long Chen's arm and clothes were completely covered in blood now. Long Chen sighed. Have you relieved your anger? Chu Yao looked at Long Chen and saw that there wasn't any anger on his face. Instead, there was a faint, sad melancholy. For some unknown reason to her, this caused her heart to tremble slightly. You, why'd you stop? For some reason, Chu Yao actually decided to ask this. She regretted it as soon as she said it and her face turned completely red. Ah, I'm not that good at hitting a woman. There was no anger in his voice. He tore off his sleeve, revealing that a part of his flesh had practically been bitten off. He then tried to use that torn off sleeve to bandage himself. That one sentence of his caused her face to turn even redder and her anger actually faded away. Seeing that Long Chen was completely unable to properly bandage his arm with one hand, she unexpectedly reached out her hand and took the bandage, gently saying, Let me help you bandage it. Chapter 17 Cold Killing Intent Translator Born to be I'll help you. Chu Yao took the cloth from Long Chen's hand and gently wrapped up his arm. She quietly mumbled. Sorry, Long Chen was somehow different from anyone else Chu Yao had ever met. Her impression was that he was the only lower person that dared fight back against her. She could tell from Long Chen's wild and coarse eyes that he was a man who did not fear heaven or earth. He would rather have himself in pain than to hurt Chu Yao. This had touched on Chu Yao's soft inner heart. When she carefully thought about it, perhaps Long Chen really hadn't done anything wrong. Or maybe she just didn't know the whole story. This was the first time in all her years that she started to feel a trace of guilt. I, Long Chen was just about to say something. You don't have to apologize. We, today we'll call it even. I bit you, and you. Her face turned red. Her chest still felt different from before as she hadn't forgotten that previous feeling. No, I want to say Long Chen shook his head. Everything that needs to be said has been said. This is over. What more do you want to say? Chu Yao said a bit angrily. Oh pretty woman. What I want to say is that you bit my left arm. Why are you bandaging my right arm? Only now did Chu Yao notice that in her carelessness she had bound the wrong arm. Not only did her face turn completely red, but seeing his helpless expression, she softly cursed. Scoundrel, why didn't you tell me before? She unbound and bound Long Chen's other arm. It was just a flesh wound. So other than hurting a bit, it couldn't be considered serious. Long Chen was laughing inside. This beautiful woman at least had a bit of a conscience. His strategy of hurting himself to gain her trust had worked perfectly. Actually, he had healing medicines within his spatial ring, both for outer and inner wounds. But he didn't take them out in order to put on a proper show. Originally, Long Chen hadn't been expecting his plan to work this well. If his soft approach hadn't worked, he had been completely prepared to deal out harsher reprisals. Fortunately, she had fallen hook, line, and sinker for his trap. This had greatly surpassed his original expectations. It was also the first time that he gained a faint favorable impression of the royal family. He gently said, Your little brother was being used. Zhao Yao Yang wanted to use him to pressure me. He then recounted what had happened between him and Zhao Yao Yang briefly. This time he didn't need to arouse her emotions. All he did was indifferently explain a bit of what he had been through. I'm sorry Long Chen. It was I who wronged you. Chu Yao felt guilty now feeling as if she had gone too far. Don't worry, I'm already used to this, indifferently said Long Chen. Although his speech was very flat, combined with his sullen expression, it gave people a powerful moving visual. Long Chen's expression caused Chu Yao to feel even more guilt. It was as if she had rubbed salt into someone who was already covered in wounds. Haha, <laughs> don't take it so seriously. I'm just tricking you into sympathy, smiled Long Chen. She didn't know why. But seeing Long Chen's smile caused her to feel even worse for him. Even tears started to stream down her face. Crap, don't cry. I'll stop talking about it. Long Chen might not fear heaven or earth, but he was afraid of the tears of a woman. He immediately became flustered and didn't know what to do. Can you forgive me? Brokenheartedly asked Chu Yao. She felt as if she was the worst person in the world. It's okay. This wasn't your fault. It was all caused by a different bad person so don't blame yourself consoled Long Chen. But, no buts. Leave the past in the past. Keep the happy days and forget the sad days. That's how I've done it as long as I can remember, said Long Chen. Thank you, Long Chen. Chu Yao dabbed her tears. 
and a smile appeared on her beautiful face. Long Chen's heart trembled a bit when he looked at Chu Yao. Although she might be just a smidge inferior to Men Qi, her beauty was enough to topple cities. Especially when she laughed, no males could remain unmoved. Seeing Long Chen suddenly foolishly stare at her, Chu Yao asked in confusion, Long Chen, why are you looking at me like that? Haha, <laughs> it's because you're too beautiful. Please don't take any offense. Long Chen's face reddened as he replied truthfully, Am I really beautiful? Chu Yao seriously asked as she pushed her fine hair behind her ear. Long Chen was surprised, asking, Of course, you're beautiful. Could it be that you didn't know? Has no one else ever told you? Chu Yao shook her head, saying, People tell me that every day, but I don't trust them. I don't like those people who are fake to me every day. She appeared helpless as she said this. It was a pitiful sight that caused Long Chen's heart to hurt for her. Compared to the girl who had attacked him, it was like two different people. Long Chen hadn't expected Chu Yao to have such a side to her. Let's find a place to sit. Standing like this is awkward. Long Chen found a clean boulder to sit on, and Chu Yao nodded. But as soon as she sat down, she suddenly jumped back up with a cry. What's wrong? Chu Yao's face was completely red. She angrily replied, It's all because of you. Long Chen quickly realized what it was and felt guilty, but behind his back, he rubbed his right hand a couple of times, reliving that wonderful feeling from before. Chu Yao took out a long blanket from her spatial ring and covered the boulder before gently sitting, but she still knit her brow slightly when she touched the surface as it was still slightly painful. About that, ah, uh, I'm sorry, Long Chen apologized in embarrassment. Those actions of his didn't exactly fit with the image of a noble gentleman, but at that time, Long Chen hadn't been expecting to have to act like one. Plus, he had been very pressed when being bitten. His unadulterated actions weren't really to take advantage of her. I've never met someone as terrible as you. This is the first time anyone's ever hit me. Chu Yao's eyes reddened with grievance. Hey, don't cry. How about I let you hit me on the bottom too? Hastily joked Long Chen when he saw that she was about to cry. Ha, huh, who would want to hit you there? You're such a bad person. Chu Yao immediately laughed at that, a complete reversal in emotions. He relaxed slightly now that she wasn't about to cry. Hitting a princess really had been audacious, even for him. Long Chen, although you're a bad person, I feel like you're not a cheater who will lie to me just to curry favor. Can we be friends? Seriously asked Chu Yao. Of course, as long as you don't put me into a net again next time. Truthfully, I was really afraid that you were going to let go and let me fall, laughed Long Chen. Chu Yao also laughed, remembering how sorry a figure he had looked like when she had dropped him previously. After laughing together, the distance between the two of them had become much lesser. Chu Yao actually began to talk about things that she and her little brother had gone through. Perhaps it was due to this being the first time she could say whatever she wanted, but she actually told Long Chen many things. Chu Yao, how long has it been since you've seen His Majesty? She shook her head. I haven't seen him since I was three years old. My little brother has never seen him even once. Long Chen nodded. He hesitated a bit, but in the end, still decided not to ask her certain questions. His friendship with Chu Yao had only just started, so he couldn't suddenly ask sensitive questions. But he really did want to know what the situation was with the Imperial Palace. Who was actually targeting the Long family? The Emperor had been in seclusion for five years before summons came out for Long Shiang Xiao to come back. But it was at that time that Long Shiang Xiao had started to refuse the imperial commands. Just what had happened during that period? Moreover, his father hadn't sent any messages back in over 10 years. Why? Had he really abandoned his wife and son? Although his memories of him were somewhat vague now, Long Shiang Xiao's steadfast image was deeply imprinted in Long Chen's heart. He definitely wasn't such a person. But then what was going on? Long Chen was stuck in a huge puzzle. But he also couldn't rush solving it. Because the closer he came to the truth, the more dangerous it would become. Before he had the proper strength, Long Chen needed to continue lying low. Long Chen continued asking a few roundabout questions. What was going on with the other princes, etc. Chu Yao didn't seem to guess Long Chen's intentions and thought Long Chen was just interested in her. So she continued to answer. He was a bit ashamed to trick such a woman. So he stopped asking in order to avoid piling on the guilt. Since he was getting closer and closer to the truth, the most important thing was for him to quickly raise his strength. Now that his Feng Fu star's initial condensation was complete and his spiritual energy had increased, 
he could increase the rate at which he refined pills and continue nourishing the Feng Fu star. Once the Feng Fu star reached its perfect state, he could attack blood condensation. Only after reaching the blood condensation realm would a person become a true martial artist. Right now, he was just too weak. The other thing that pleasantly surprised him was that as the Feng Fu star grew larger, his physical body also changed with it and became stronger. The Feng Fu star was just like a spring nourishing his whole body. His current transformation made him greatly different from his old self Novaloon.com His greatest support was the 9-star hegemon body art, but this technique was too mysterious. All that was in his memories was how to cultivate it. There was nothing else about it. Chu Yao continued to chatter for four full hours before starting to feel embarrassed and starting to ask questions of Long Chen. Long Chen laughed and talked about a couple of interesting things. He didn't say anything about his bitter suffering. Apparently, Long Chen had an exceptionally talented eloquence and mouth. Bright laughter occasionally rang out from Chu Yao. That rough and willful princess had now changed to become a yearning lady. The two of them only realized how much time had passed when the sun started to set. Chu Yao asked, Long Chen, can I come to find you in the future to hang out? Long Chen hesitated slightly since he was afraid of being too close to anyone from the imperial family. But seeing Chu Yao's eyes filled with hope, he couldn't help agreeing. Of course, but it'll have to be a secret between us. Her face reddened and her beautiful eyes looked away. She hurriedly whispered, then I have to go. You go back first. I'll walk home. If the princess was being noticed to have a male companion on her mound, it would definitely bring great trouble. Chu Yao seemed to also understand and whispered a goodbye to Long Chen before flying away on her hawk eagle. Seeing her figure gradually fade away, an uncomfortable feeling arose in his heart. Only after a long time later did he sigh and start walking back. But just as he arrived at his family gate, he saw countless elite troops had already completely encircled the Long Estate. His face darkened and killing intent immediately surfaced. Since you've come seeking death, I won't hold back. The fury in his heart could no longer be suppressed, as he directly charged at the elite troops which were surrounding his home. Chapter 18 The Savage Marquis Translator Born to be hundreds of troops had surrounded the long estate, forming a tight encirclement. An armored middle-aged man on top of a horse was arrogantly looking down on Mrs. Long. Mrs. Long was pale as she spoke to that man. While Bayor and the other members of the household were all terrified as they cowered from the troops. When Long Chen appeared, that man's eyes brightened and he coldly shouted, Long Chen, you needlessly injured the noble heirs Hao Yeo Yang extremely heavily. We've received orders to capture you. Will you go willingly? These troops were all elites that had heavy bloody auras. How could Mrs. Long have ever seen such a display of killing intent? She was as pale as a sheet of paper as she tottered, about to collapse. She would have really collapsed if Bao Er didn't go to support her. Long Chen completely ignored all the troops as he walked to his mother. His heart hurt to see how afraid she was. Mom, don't worry. This is just a dream. Once you are awake, all of this will be gone, said Long Chen gently as he took her hand. A gentle spiritual strength came out with his words. Mrs. Long's eyelids felt heavy, and she fell into a deep slumber. Bao Er, Shang Ma, can you help me bring my mother in? Long Chen couldn't bear to see his mother so frightened, so he had used his spiritual strength to directly force her to sleep. Otherwise, as a normal mortal, it would be easy for her to fall ill from experiencing such a fright. Bao Er and Zhang Ma carried Mrs. Long back inside, while Long Chen told everyone else to close the doors. Looking at the person seated on the horse and sensing the faint blood key from him, a ridiculing smile appeared on Long Chen's face. So it's just half-step blood condensation. Seeing Long Chen act high and mighty without the slightest intention of leaving quietly, the man rolled his eyes. Long Chen, you've committed a grave crime, a crime so severe that no one can protect you. Are you waiting for me to personally capture you? He coldly shouted. Huh? You're just a sergeant. A dog like you wants to personally capture me? Don't make me laugh, ridiculed Long Chen. Sergeant was the lowest commanding rank within the Phoenix Cry Empire. Someone like that had no past accomplishments or true power. It was just a small team leader role. But this particular fellow had become so excited about reaching that rank that he couldn't shut up about it. As soon as he had risen to sergeant, he had become accustomed to his role. Long Chen's words now were like poisonous arrows that shot into his heart. His face immediately became unsightly. He came from a low origin and had suffered for over 10 years in the army camp before an opportunity finally came for him to break through to the blood condensation realm, and only after that was he promoted to sergeant. 
His current greatest achievement was now being viciously insulted, causing his killing intent to soar. Long Chen, don't force me to kill you. The man ground his teeth and his hand went to the sword on his belt. If you dare to draw your blade, I will let your head fall to the ground. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back. His tone was extremely serious. It wasn't loud and lacked the slightest anger, sounding just like a strong expert with endless confidence. You're asking for death. The man roared and shot forward off the horse, sending his fist punching at Long Chen. Blood key circulated throughout his body, and a red glow appeared on his body, clearly showing that he had used a trace of the blood condensation realm's power. Long Chen's gaze was electric, and his face cold. He took a step forward while also unleashing a fist. Boom. Gale wind surged when the two fists met. Both parties were sent several steps back from the explosion. You're actually so insolent with just this little ability. Long Chen coldly mocked. The man's expression changed. To be ridiculed by someone called a cripple caused him enough fury to explode. Go die. He unsheathed his sword and sent it slashing at Long Chen's neck. A whistling wind pierced people's ears, causing them to feel a chilliness inside. As if waiting for this exact moment, Long Chen's foot tapped the ground and retreated several feet in a ghostly manner, completely avoiding the attack. This retreat had used the newly learned wind chasing steps, although he was still at the initial training level of it. With Long Chen's fused pill god memories came an incomparable understanding of the human body's meridians. With such an understanding, it was as if he had already been practicing it for tens of years. With a single step, he arrived in front of a soldier and reached out. That soldier was extremely surprised and hastily raised his blade to block, but unexpectedly, his hand shook and the blade disappeared. The next moment he could see Long Chen, he was viciously slashing his sword at the sergeant. The sergeant was still off balance from his swing and had still yet to ready himself. Long Chen's retreat, seizing of a blade, and attack had all happened in just a breath. The whistle of the blade slashing towards him shocked him and he quickly used all of his strength to block it. Boom. After the explosion. The sergeant felt some kind of energy he couldn't contend with, and he was knocked back several meters as soon as he managed to stabilize his body. His stomach dropped. With his years of experience of life and death battles, he unconsciously raised his blade. With another huge explosion, sparks flew everywhere as a cold light flew dozens of meters away into a tree. Previously, that sergeant had used his surprising intuition to block one of Long Chen's slashes, but he had been unable to resist Long Chen's terrifying strength. The web between his thumb and forefinger split and his sword was sent flying. Now the sergeant no longer had his previous arrogance. He was completely stunned and despaired as a cold light flashed in front of his eyes, appearing like the scythe of the Grim Reaper. No, that terrified scream hung in the air as the sergeant's head flew through the air. His face twisted in an expression of shock and unwillingness. Just as his consciousness was fading, he suddenly remembered what Long Chen had said before. If you dare to draw your blade. I will let your head fall to the ground. He now finally believed that Long Chen hadn't been trying to intimidate him, but had just spoken the truth. Unfortunately, his realization came too late. His headless corpse collapsed to the ground. The head tumbled through the air a long time before finally falling to the ground and rolling further away. As for all the soldiers, they were all dumbstruck. The weapons in their hands felt much heavier at this moment. They were all people who had seen blood before, but never such a ruthless scene as today. Long Chen had had a completely expressionless face from start to finish, completing the kill without even batting an eye. It was even more frightening than if he had been seething with anger. Long Chen, you dare to kill my trusted lieutenant. Do you believe me when I say I'll destroy the entire Long Estate? An angry cry suddenly came from afar, as a dignified middle-aged man walked over with dozens of experts. Have you finally come out? Long Chen coldly laughed inside. As soon as he had arrived. He had used his divine sense to scout the surroundings and noticed those people hiding and watching from a distance. Savage Marquis, you really are worthy of your name. An unreasonable assault like this is just what I'd expect from someone of your reputation, said Long Chen lazily as he leaned against a stone lion in front of his house gate. Today at the literature hall you committed a crime against the seventh prince, heavily injured my son, and now you've killed my trusted lieutenant, HMPH. No matter how you try to spin it, I'd like to see how you get out of this one. Let's see who will come to save you now, shouted the savage Marquis angrily. Looking at this person who was as famous as his father, a ridiculing smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Someone with such weak methods was also as famous as his father? What crap? Zhao Weeking. Did you get stupider the older you lived? Do you really think that I, 
Long Chen, and someone who needs rescuing? You really are an idiot. Taking out the jade tablet from his robes, he said to him, Open your dog eyes. Can you see what this is? When Cao Weeking who was also known as the Savage Marquis saw the pill furnace diagram carved into the jade tablet, his expression changed to one of complete shock. How is that possible? How can you have the tablet of a pill apprentice? Is it a fake? Demanded Cao Weeking angrily. Idiot. You really have gotten senile. Fine. For someone as stupid as you, I'll give you an extra close look. Long Chen directly threw the jade tablet to Cao Weeking when he carefully examined it. His expression grew even more shocked. As a powerful nobleman, how could he possibly not be able to tell the veracity of the Alchemist Guild status tablets? And it was precisely because he recognized it that his expression was so shocked. The person who had signed this tablet was actually Yun Qi. Everyone in the Phoenix Cry Empire with a brain knew of that Grand Master's name. Even the successive generations of the royal family had to be respectful to alchemists. The Alchemist Guild held an extremely high level of influence in the Empire. Do you see now how weaking? Can you hand my tablet back to me? Laughed Long Chen coldly as he looked at the dazed Cao Weeking. The savage Marquis's expression was extremely ugly. He wanted to crush the jade tablet in his hands and capture Long Chen, but he didn't dare do so. He didn't know how Long Chen had obtained this tablet, but having it meant Long Chen was one of the Alchemist Guild's people. Those were people above the Empire's laws, and he didn't have the power to butt in. Cao Weeking was at a complete loss. He returned the tablet to Long Chen. But at that moment, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed and he coldly shouted, Zhao Weeking, today you surrounded a pill apprentice's home with blades, a vicious crime. If you don't give me some recompense, I will go to the Alchemist Guild tomorrow and fill out an application for the Phoenix Cry Empire to punish you. Zhao Weeking's expression immediately changed. The Alchemist Guild's punishments were definitely something to be afraid of. They would cut off the Empire from medicinal pills which was the same as choking the lifeline of the empire. It seems that I don't have a clear understanding of what went on today. I'll immediately go back and investigate to give you proper compensation. With Long Chen's current status, Zhao Weeking could only swallow his anger. This was the first time Long Chen had ever admired this savage Marquis. His ability to swallow his own crap was quite amazing. No wonder despite the passing of over 10 years, he still remained in the blood condensation realm. He must have spent all of his time training how to swallow crap. No matter how or what you investigate, before I am awake tomorrow, my estate had better be completely cleaned up. Otherwise, well, you know what will happen. Long Chen coldly snorted and no longer bothered with this treacherous fox. He directly went inside his estate and slammed the door shut. He was extremely irritated from today's affairs. In the morning at the literature hall, in the afternoon at Sunset Mountain, and in the evening at his estate gate. Fighting three times in one day was definitely enough to irritate someone, but at least what had happened during the afternoon had been a bit more alluring. After Long Chen left, the savage Marquis's expression became ashen. He hadn't achieved the slightest bit of his goal in coming here but instead incited great trouble for himself. Master, what should we do? What should we do? Hurry and start cleaning up this crap. Even if you have to lick off the blood stains on the ground to get them off, hurry up and do it. With a stomach full of anger and nowhere to release it, the savage Marquis took it out on his soldiers, cursing and raging. In the end, he left alone. Crap, how did that little brat get into the Alchemist Guild? Now it'll be troublesome. The savage Marquis muttered inside darkly. Seeing no one around him, he started walking towards the Imperial Palace. Chapter 19 Facial Rejuvenation Elixir Translator Born to be in a small side room of the Imperial Palace. A handsome man in his twenties was quietly listening to the savage Marquis's report. This happened too suddenly and was completely out of my expectations. So your servant didn't dare to act on his own. I beg for fourth prince's forgiveness and guidance, said the savage Marquis. That handsome man was the fourth prince Chuzaya, but what separated him from his other princes was that he was just the son of an imperial concubine. Although he was also a prince, his status was much inferior to the others. But due to his low-profile nature, he didn't incite the other's jealousy, and so he had a very good relationship with all the princes. Practically all the aristocracy in the empire felt that the fourth prince had the best aptitude for inheriting the throne. But unfortunately, he wasn't born to the right mother. The fourth prince Chu Zia nodded and said, You were right not to act. The fact that Long Chen managed to become an alchemist out of nowhere is definitely a bit surprising. Yes, when I saw his tablet, I couldn't believe my eyes. 
For that trash to become an alchemist is just too outrageous. The savage Marquis was also shaking his head and even now he was somewhat in disbelief. It's interesting. After this Long Chen was heavily injured by your son, he seems to have completely changed and is now so much stronger that he is able to kill a half-step blood condensation expert. There might be more than what meets the eye here. The fourth prince paced around for a bit before saying, go back and carefully observe the Long Estate's movements. See if anyone suspicious goes in. Remember, don't get caught. This servant will handle it. But as for Long Chen, the savage Marquis hesitated slightly. Don't bother him for a while. He's just a chess piece. As long as he doesn't jump off the chessboard, even with the patron, he won't be able to escape his fate. His current status is something we must be sensitive about. Get your son to temporarily back off. That's right. How are your son's injuries? Asked the fourth prince. Thank you for your concern fourth prince. After his recuperation, he's already out of the woods. Hurriedly replied the savage Marquis. But speaking of which, when Cao Yeo Yang had been carried back, the savage Marquis truly had been frightened greatly. Those injuries had been so severe that he hadn't even recognized his own son. But what fortunate was although the injuries appeared frightening, the inner injuries weren't very great. That was because Long Chen had made him consume a medicinal pill to preserve his life. In just a short time of recuperation and after spending a great deal of gold, Zhao Yeo Yang was already able to get up and walk. Other than being temporarily unable to fight with others, he already didn't have any great deficits. Hmm, that's good then. Go back and remember what I said. Watch them closely, and as soon as anything strange happens, immediately report it to me. Yes, your servant is excused. After the savage mark was left, the fourth prince went to the window. Staring out into the pitch darkness, a smile appeared on his lips. The black curtain of the night cannot last forever. The sunlight will quickly arrive. Long Shiang Xiao, just how long can you resist? The next day's morning, when the people of the Long household opened the great gates, they found that the floor had been completely retiled, flabbergasting the estate's people. What they didn't know was that the savage Marquis's people had completely dug out all the tiles that had been stained with blood. Seeing the uneven ground after the tiles were excavated, that person who had been cursed by him considered it and ordered the people under him to completely retile the floor before he felt reassured. Long Chen smiled mockingly when he saw this. Those childish men would bully the weak and only fear the strong. Now they would be more well behaved. The first thing Long Chen did after getting out of bed was to go see his mother. When she awoke, it was as if everything that had happened yesterday had been just a dream. Chen Er, what happened yesterday? Although she saw that Long Chen was completely safe, she was still a bit nervous. Mom, your son has already grown up and become a true man. Just the same as my father. I can also shield this family from wind and rain, said Long Chen solemnly as he held his mother's hand. He didn't want her to know too much. She was just an ordinary mortal after all. Before this, Long Chen had already examined her body. The meridians she had been given by the heavens were simply too short. And it wasn't just that she had a bad spirit root, but that she didn't even have one at all. Furthermore, his mother was now almost 40 and had no way to cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art. Besides, the nine-star hegemon body art was a yang cultivation method. Women were unable to train in it. No matter how long Chen tried to defy the heavens, he had no way to change his mother's natural constitution. All he could do for her was to let her not worry. Seeing her son seem to just grow up overnight, it was as if she were seeing the image of her strong husband. Mrs. Long couldn't help being moved and tears started to flow down. Good child. Mom won't ask you anymore. Mom trusts you. Long Chen quickly wiped away his mom's tears, laughing. Mom, your son has grown up. You should be happy. I prepared a gift for you. He then touched his spatial ring, causing a jade bottle to appear in his hand. Before he could say anything, Mrs. Long asked in surprise. Where did you get a spatial ring? Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Why did his mother's expression seem so suspicious? Of course, he knew that always hiding things from his mother wasn't a solution. In order to handle his mother's worries, he told her about his status as an alchemist. In any case, people would learn about it sooner or later, so he had no need to hide it. Long Chen also took advantage of this to say that after he had been beaten, luck had shined on him and he had opened his meridians meaning he could cultivate now, and he had even managed to cultivate a pill flame and obtain the qualifications to become an alchemist. When he had gone to the alchemist guild, he had by chance met Grandmaster Yan Qi. He had immediately leaped at that chance, using his pity to get closer to him. 
Long Chen used his tears to move Grand Master Yan Qi, who finally ceded and made an exception to let him become an alchemist. Hearing these shocking words, Mrs. Long was completely mystified. But Long Chen solemnly swore it was the truth and also took out his tablet for his mother to examine. Only then did she believe it. Although she wasn't a cultivator, she knew about alchemists. That was a supremely grand occupation. For Long Chen to become one was worth several generations of luck. Novaloon.com Mom, don't move. I'll help you apply this. From the bottle, he took out a couple drops of medicinal liquid. He gently dabbed it onto his hand, causing a fresh scent to fill the room. Just one breath of it could completely relax a person. Seeing how serious Long Chen was now acting, Mrs. Long didn't move at all. Long Chen gently applied the medicinal liquid on her face. A cool and relaxing feeling immediately spread across her face. Chen Er, just what is this? It feels very good, whispered Mrs. Long. She closed her eyes and relished the feeling. He, this is a special treasure your son got for you. Just stay still, laughed Long Chen. Naughty child. Hearing him laugh and refuse to answer, Mrs. Long smiled. Her heart grew warmer. She had raised Long Chen since he was a baby, changing diaper after diaper. Now that he had grown up, he finally understood what filial duty was. So Mrs. Long's heart rejoiced. Okay, you can open your eyes. Mrs. Long slowly opened her eyes and found that her dressing mirror was being held in front of her eyes by Long Chen. What? Looking at her own reflection, she couldn't help but exclaim in shock. Turning her head left and right, she found that it definitely was her, but she now appeared much younger. The wrinkles near her eyes had faded greatly. Her original skin that had been starting to turn dry had become extremely sleek, and she now appeared at least a decade younger. Chen Er, am I dreaming? Mrs. Long couldn't believe her eyes. I don't know whether you're dreaming or not, but if you keep looking at yourself like that, it'll be lunch in no time at all, laughed Long Chen. Mrs. Long turned red and lightly tapped Long Chen. Bad child, you dare to tease your mom? It's not that late. Long Chen smiled. Not only did her face appear younger, her heart had also become much lighter. Mom, I refined this facial rejuvenation elixir just for you. Although the medicinal ingredients are just average, it's not a problem for it to make you look like how you did when you were 30. The facial rejuvenation elixir normally required a facial rejuvenation fruit as the main medicinal ingredient. But those were too rare and Long Chen was unable to obtain one in a short time. He had used a kind of facial rejuvenation herb as a substitute. The effect was much worse than the fruit. And so it couldn't return people back to their youthful days. But to reverse a few years of aging was no problem. Really Mrs. Long was delighted. Which woman didn't cherish her looks? With her husband essentially in another land from her and with Long Chen having an innate handicapped physique. Her heart had been extremely strained and that had caused her to age quickly. Seeing his mother so worn, guilt washed over Long Chen. His mother had truly paid far too much for this family. Mom, I'll leave this bottle with you. I'll also give you some medicinal pills for you to use. I guarantee that in less than a year, no one who didn't know us would believe that you are old enough to be my mother. They'd think you were my sister. Haha, <laughs> laughed Long Chen as he clasped his mother's hands. This flippant child, don't forget what we agreed on. Men Qi is a wife you cannot let get away. I don't care what method you have to use, you must bring her back. Although she was happy now, this matter continued to always weigh on her mind. Back when Long Chen had brought up about leaving Men Qi, she had already roughly guessed what had happened. A woman as beautiful as Men Qi was someone no man would give up. She couldn't help having her heart hurt when she thought of what Long Chen had done with the marriage agreement. To be frank, it was precisely because of her own powerlessness that her son had to suffer through that. In truth. Mrs. Long had been starting to feel more and more upset inside, but Long Chen had never brought it up again. When he now displayed his capabilities to her, she immediately thought of that matter. Before, Long Chen was unable to match up to her, but now that he was an alchemist, his status had leaked up. She couldn't help but to bring it up. There should be a chance now. Mom, don't worry. Do you really not know my character? Who would dare to snatch something from me? Back when we were young. Didn't I end up biting my cousin so hard when he stole my toys that he started to cry and shout? Laughed Long Chen. Although Long Chen laughed for a moment, his laughter faded quickly. He saw the distress within his mother's eyes. Ever since his father had been stationed at the border, he seemed to recall that his mother had never once visited the family on her side. Her own family was already in a miserable situation, so his mother had never tried to go there to beg for help. Long Chen held her hand and said, Mom. Your son is now an alchemist. Our hard days are over. 
so don't think about such sad things. After accompanying his mother for some more time and seeing her mood gradually relax, Long Chen went to the Alchemist Guild. Chapter 20 Line of Credit Translator Born to be as soon as he arrived at the Alchemist Guild, Long Chen tried to go to Yun Qi's refining room, but he was stopped as soon as he entered the inner division. The Alchemist Guild was divided into inner and outer divisions. The outer division was open to the Empire. The examinations to become an alchemist were all held in the outer division. However, the inner division was the true alchemist guild. Last time, Long Chen had only managed to enter the inner division for his test because Grand Master Yun Qi had been leading the way. So naturally, he hadn't been blocked back then. Unqualified people cannot enter the inner division. The guard in front of the door was a youngster not much older than Long Chen. He was wearing medicinal apprentice robes, and his expression was arrogant as he looked down on Long Chen. Long Chen faintly smiled and flashed his tablet to him. He then walked right in under his shocked expression. Seeing his arrogant expression change so quickly to shock, Long Chen couldn't avoid being somewhat pleased. It seemed that the old him had been suppressed for just too long. Now that he could finally raise his head, he had started to become undisciplined and selfish. But he knew inside that he didn't have time to waste on such petty things. When he entered the inner division, Long Chen slapped his forehead. He had forgotten to ask whether Grand Master Yun Qi was even present. If he wasn't even here, wouldn't this entire visit have just been a waste? Just as he was regretting it, a young lady walked past him. Without even thinking about it, he stopped her and asked, Excuse me, do you know where Grand Master Yun Qi is? That young lady had been walking with her head down, and she appeared slightly irritated to be stopped out of nowhere, raising her head. She saw a thin and weak youngster looking at her. She coldly said, Why are you looking for Grand Master Yun Qi? Long Chen became slightly distracted. This woman was extremely pretty. She might not be comparable to Chu Yao and Men Qi, but she was definitely a rare beauty that could only be found one every thousand miles. But although she was pretty, her gaze caused people to feel a bit unwell. Her gaze contained an unconcealed arrogance that made it difficult for people to feel well about her. I just want to know where Grand Master Yun Qi is. Can this young miss tell me? Long Chen might be a bit displeased inside, but he still continued asking very politely. Just who are you? Why are you looking to see Grand Master Yun Qi? She guardedly asked. Being questioned twice instead of being answered, Long Chen shook his head and no longer bothered with her. He went deeper in to look for someone else to ask. Hey, I'm asking you a question. Why are you so rude? She became angry when he didn't reply despite her asking twice. Long Chen only just took a couple of steps before turning to look at her. You're here for medicine right? What? She asked distractedly. You must have a mental illness. So don't run around all over the place. Long Chen's cold reply had just rung out, and he was just turning to leave. When unexpectedly, a strong gale appeared behind him. Her palm charged toward his heart along with an angry shout. Brat, you're asking for death. Long Chen was quite startled inside. That lady had appeared weak and frail, but her attack caused wind so powerful that it made it difficult for him to breathe. She was shockingly at the peak of key condensation. As for the palm attack she sent towards him, it contained her absolute strength. Because all of Long Chen's spiritual energy was hidden within his Feng Fu star, he appeared like a very weak scholar. Even ordinary key condensation cultivators would be heavily injured by such a palm. If he really was a normal mortal, it would be very possible for him to die. This uncalled for attack was extremely vicious. Since Long Chen was already irritated with her, he also didn't hold himself back and sent out a kick. Bang! Before her palm could even reach Long Chen, his kick smashed into her stomach and sent her flying back. The woman was sent several meters back before colliding into a drying shelf for medicinal ingredients. The tall shelf collapsed, and all the ingredients on it tumbled down and buried her beneath them. With an angry roar, the medicinal ingredients exploded out as she rushed out, her hair a complete mess and covered in traces of medicinal powder. Die. Flames were practically shooting out of her eyes and the aura around her body exploded out. Slamming her hands together, a golden ripple appeared from her hands and she rushed towards Long Chen. Long Chen cursed his bad luck at encountering such a brutish woman. How did he end up encountering such a lunatic today? This attack was clearly a battle skill with extremely great power. Seeing that she wanted to take his life, Long Chen's face turned cold. He had a pill god soul, and so he had some superficial battle experience from that. But describing it as superficial was only in regards to a pill god. She was really just an ant to him. His superficial experience was more than enough. 
Having such an experience gave him great skills, and handling her was a piece of cake. The only reason she wasn't injured from his kick was because he hadn't suffused any spiritual energy into it, but she wasn't grateful for this and instead wanted to kill him. Killing intent gradually condensed within Long Chen. Seeing this woman charge at him, he might not kill her, but if she dared to come at him, Long Chen would teach her an unforgettable lesson. Stand down. A cold shout suddenly rang out. That crazy woman immediately seemed to have been struck by lightning and didn't dare move an inch. Master, she hastily called out respectfully. The person who had arrived was surprisingly Grand Master Yun Qi. Long Chen was shocked. This crazy woman was actually his apprentice? Grand Master Yun Qi shook his head. I've already said that I, Yun Qi, will never accept an apprentice in this lifetime. You wasting your time hanging around here is useless. Master, I'm a weak woman. I've traveled thousands of miles in order to study pill arts from you and I've already stayed at the Alchemist Guild for three months. Do you really think I'm not sincere enough? Said the woman somewhat aggrievedly. You can go back from where you came. Said the unmoved Grand Master Yun Qi indifferently. No, I won't leave. You can refuse me every day, but I'll stay here until you finally accept me, replied the woman stubbornly. Up to you. But remember, physical force is not allowed within my guild. If you break this rule again, I'll expel you, said Yun Qi coldly. He then turned to Long Chen and said, Come with me. Long Chen was dazed for a moment. So this crazy woman actually wanted to study pill refining with Yun Qi, but Yun Qi was not the slightest bit tempted. Seeing her bitter gaze, Long Chen suddenly realized that she had mistakenly assumed him to be another person wanting to have Yun Qi as a master, and that was why she had questioned him. Long Chen shook his head. Who would dare take such an apprentice? Following behind Grand Master Yun Qi, the two of them entered a training room. Once they entered the training room, Long Chen quickly bowed and said, Sorry, this youngster was disrespectful. Yun Qi smiled slightly. No matter, that wasn't your fault. I saw everything that happened, but you really do cause me great shock. You were able to kick a peak key condensation expert flying without the slightest spiritual energy. I also saw that you didn't use even half of your strength. Otherwise, that girl would definitely have been heavily injured. You really hid yourself deeply. Long Chen was startled. Apparently, he had underestimated Grand Master Yun Qi. As expected, this old fellow was extremely sharp. For a moment he didn't know how to reply. Child, everyone has their own secrets. This is nothing. However, a person like you cannot waste his time. Otherwise, such a great talent will be completely wasted. Grand Master Yun Qi seemed to hint some kind of deeper meaning. Long Chen quickly realized that Grand Master Yun Qi was trying to tell him that he hoped Long Chen would focus all his attention on the cultivating the pill path. Many thanks for the reminder, Grand Master. Long Chen understands, no matter how he put it. Grand Master Yun Qi definitely had good intentions for him. Whether he took his advice or not, this kindness was appreciated. I heard yesterday that you used just three strokes of a blade to kill a half-step blood condensation expert. Is it true? Asked Grand Master Yun Qi. Yes, it's true. Long Chen could only nod. But at the same time, some doubt arose within him. Back then, he had been completely surrounded by soldiers. According to common sense, no one else should know about it. As if seeing through Long Chen's doubt, Grand Master Yun Qi smiled and said, People from the Imperial family came to investigate here yesterday, asking if Long Chen really was one of our alchemists. I told them yes, and I also said you were my student. They then disappeared. Long Chen couldn't help being stunned that the Grand Master Yun Qi who personally said he would never take an apprentice would take this moment to recognize him. He was naturally extremely moved. Many thanks. Teacher. He. It wasn't much. My symbol is something that only has value if used. So feel free. In addition, a student is not the same as an apprentice. Grand Master Yun Qi calmly smiled. Although calling him his student took just a slight effort from Grand Master Yun Qi, but to Long Chen, it was incredibly helpful. With Grand Master Yun Qi as his support, he now had a huge trump card available. He would be able to stand with his back much straighter now. Child, I've also learned a bit about your circumstances. The Alchemist Guild has its own rules, and we are unable to involve ourselves in secular battles. So I can only help you this much, sighed Grand Master Yun Qi. Grand Master, you've done so much for this little one that I cannot thank you enough. As for the battles in the secular world, I will handle them myself, smiled Long Chen. With the reputation of Grand Master Yun Qi behind him, his affairs would become much more convenient. 
the safety of the Long Estate would also rise by a great deal. Although the Alchemist Guild wouldn't interfere in battles that didn't involve them, as long as Long Chen really became a part of it, he would still gain the Alchemist Guild's protection. Once Long Chen gained enough strength of his own and didn't need the Alchemist Guild's protection, then he could personally resolve the heavy fog surrounding the mystery around him. Although he had some clues now, he didn't dare to take action right now. Maintaining the current situation was the best choice for him. So why did you come here today? Asked Yan Qi. Only now did Long Chen remember his true purpose of coming here. This youngster wishes to buy some medicinal ingredients on credit with the guild. And once I refine them into pills, I will pay it back. Withdrawing medicinal ingredients on credit was quite common for alchemists within the guild. They would be able to pay it back easily with medicinal pills the next time. This was a good deal for both alchemists and the guild. With the guild's tablet, he was able to buy medicinal ingredients at a discount. But at the same time, he had a duty to first sell his refined pills to the guild. This was the agreement struck when the guild handed him the tablet. You can refine pills. Yun Qi was somewhat shocked. I would like to ask some pointers from teacher. Long Chen smiled just slightly, but that smile was full of confidence. 